my hello. No, it's not my birthday. Don't listen to them. You're being rused. You're being rused. Do not be rused by Chet. Do not be rused. No, it was not my birthday. My god, Xerxes. The hundred gifted sub- What? <laughs> the stream hasn't even started. What? What is even happening? What do you mean a hundred gifted- What? My dude. I saw you get the hype train to level 21 on the ferret stream. I watched that. That was ridiculous. Thank you. It's your first stream. Welcome to... Welcome. To me waking up. Any news on fiber? No, we're waiting on the, the county, man. County's gotta approve it. Tell the county to hurry up, dude. I want him to like you wouldn't believe. I'm gonna be real with you. The moment that the county finishes it, like, does the thing, I'm moving all my shit. Like, the moment that internet is in, I'm out. <laughs> I don't want to commute anymore. <laughs> uh, commuting on a 12-hour, like, stream day every day is just a mess. Would you be doing it midstream? Instantly. The moment that internet's hooked up, I'm like, I'm out. We're going. Oh, my God. What is that long dog emote? Is that a ferret? Oh my god, it's so long. Long. We need some more emotes. Where am I streaming? The old house. Which is composed of lots of half packed bullshit everywhere. And then my computer. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a democracy later today. Face reveal win. Why would I ever show my face? How dare you? Pants optional. My answer to that is optional. Do you own two houses right now? Yes, I will not be getting rid of this house because I got it at a 2.75% rate before the pandemic. So selling it would be really stupid. So instead I'm going to rent it out for dramatically less than everyone else is renting because rent is too high. Rent is dumb. Yeah. It, it, yeah, I got it at 2.75%, dude. It was before the pandemic. I bought it before the pandemic. So it was like, okay. Back when... Even 2.75% back then was like, ooh, that's a bit high. Because it was supposed to be 1.3. And now it's like 8. Which <laughs> is like, what the hell? This is 5.9? Yeah, it's insane. Landlord arc? I don't know. Lord of the land, dude. It's likely going to be rented to the moderators. Likely. And stupid reduced rates because I, I was watching I was watching some shit where people were like trying to find places here in Washington and it's just stupid. Like the costs are just dumb. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like $5,000 a month for a house that's like smaller than this one. Like what the hell is that shit? <laughs> 
It doesn't make any sense. Or like $1,200 for a room. Like, like what the hell is that? My rent is horrible, almost 3000 Dude, what the shit? That's insane, man. Yeah, nah, screw that shit. Should have gone on House Hunters, maybe. No, yeah, no, it's super broken. Our economy kind of imploded over the last two years, man. It's not been good. It's not been good. Can't find anything for less than 1k? Yeah, no, it's too much. It's way too much. And that's before, that's before utilities, too. That's before utilities. It just, it blows me away. You pay 7500 Hmm. What are these prices? We're talking about rent. $600 a week. What did you just say to me? $600 a week? Who the hell pays rent weekly? What the hell kind of hellscape is that shit? That's insane. A week. Just imagine your landlord coming out and just... Where's my week? Where's my weekly rent? All Australians do? Screw that shit. That's insane. We pay monthly here. What the hell? A week. Weekly. Jesus. Sorry, man. I get paid every two weeks and I had to buy food this week. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh. It's collected monthly, but you owe weekly. That doesn't make any damn sense. That freaks me out. What? Wait a minute. Hold up. Evil Befall, Xerxes, and Netzavar. What are you doing? All of these bits, all of these subs, you absolute mad lads. Holy shit, man. Come to Bulgaria? What's in Bulgaria? Yeah, no, I, I like, I like Tiny House. I'm down with that. I need room for my computer, and that's about it. Good internet, running water, shower. That's what I want. Yeah, what's in Bulgaria? You done moving stuff? Most of it. I got one more desk next to me, and then I got this desk. But this isn't going to move until the city unshits itself and allows us to build our internet. It's, it's just going to take some time. We got to get the thing. The company that I'm working with to do all the construction is like running the internet. They're doing a great job. We just have to wait. I'm just going to check in with them every week and be like, yo. You said before it's mostly Shea stuff? Yeah, Shea stuff is mostly still there. Shea owns a lot of shit. Like, Shea owns a lot of shit. Good old bureaucracy, yeah, a little bit. I know, the queue is insane. What are you guys doing? You guys are mad lads. I'm not... There's no way. What time is it for me? It is midnight and 14 minutes. So 12, 14 a.m. Why is the rum always gone? Because I have a jar of dirt. That's why. It's true.
Hmm. Oh yeah, Henry's okay. So, Shay was using a colander to uh, weigh the ferrets that had been used for a long time. The reason why Henry was having a problem, he had gotten his nose caught on it and he, sh he cut his nose. And we didn't realize it because he didn't bleed out of the wound. And today it's finally like scabbed up. So that, that was the problem. That was the issue. He's okay now. He's totally fine. It was just, he got hurt. And he didn't react like a normal ferret did. So we didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, we didn't know what was wrong with him. It was weird, but like he's not a normal ferret. Like he's he's got issues. So, yeah. What is this? Henry chilling with the giant ferrets. Yeah, I was trying to find out what was going on. He was just so sad. I hadn't seen him sad. I hadn't seen this ferret act like that before. But he's he's not a normal ferret. So, yeah. Are any ferrets normal? Yeah, some of them are more normal than others. What do you mean? Henry's got some, uh, what's called vestibular disease. And basically what it is, is he has had middle ear infections and outer ear infections for 75% of his life before he came to us, and they were untreated. So he doesn't walk normally. His body shakes all the time. His head wiggles all the time. He doesn't know how to move. And it, uh... It has affected him socially and physically. And that's, you know, he's not, he's not normal. He's, he's learning to be a ferret at the age of two, which is not good, you know. But he'll get there. Just taking him some time. He finally gets to have a life, basically. Now. How long have we had him? Oh, man. I think it's only been like a month, maybe a month and a half, somewhere there. Not a huge amount of time. Yeah, it's not been very long. Will he recover soon? Don't know. Don't know if he ever will. Look, it's me. I exist. Hmm. What's the life expectancy for ferrets? For ones in the U.S., it's usually about five years. So imagine... Imagine you're like 40 years old and then you finally learn how to walk, right? That's the equivalency here. Yeah, a face. A face. And now look, it's gone. And now it's back. Has time to all vanquish anyone today? I don't know. I don't think so. No, it's at zero. Yeah, Heimdall is level zero today. Have you streamed and shredded it a little bit, yeah. And 57 alerts, Jesus. What is this music? All the music is from Heartbound, our game. Uh, you're hearing combat music from one of the scenes. This one is called Bitter Shadows. Time zone am I in? Uh, PST. I live in Washington State. West side of the United States. Other than ferrets, any other animals you care for or share a similar passion? Insects. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> Ones that people usually don't care about, frankly. The good old buggos. 
What language am I using? I'm using what is called Game Maker Language, very similar to C Sharp or Java. And I was actually working on some piracy detection stuff, which is fun. It's good. Let's see. This is done. I don't think we have anything left in here. Let me go look at this. Time to go play it and see what's broken. Dude, those arms are so creepy. I love that. You guys know that Felix is a criminal? It's true. You gonna love Barbara and Hank at Alveus? So for those who don't know, I actually went to college to be an, a, uh, an entomologist. Like... I, I love the hell out of those, dude. Like, I'm super into bugs. I'm really into bugs. I caught myself watching one of the Alveus Sanctuary videos, and I, I think it was the one with Ludwig on, and I was like, Oh, that's one of those! And then... And then Maya is like explaining it. <laughs> like, I, I think the only thing it would be funny is like maybe it wouldn't even be entertaining if I went to Alvy's Sanctuary because like I already like all of the things and I know what they are. <laughs> I was like, I know what this is. Sick, right? You know, like, I don't know, man. You have a phobia of cockroaches? Then it extend to any other bug. Can I show you something and see if that you're afraid of it? Can I show you something really pretty and see if you're afraid of it? Would that be okay? A lot of people think of cockroaches as really, really gross. But what if I showed you... This little guy. Look at him. That is a magnificent emerald cockroach. That's a roach. Magnificent emerald is what they're called. They're called magnificent emeralds. You can go look at it. Yeah, they're shiny. Super shiny. They shine in the sun. It's wild. Yeah, they're really neat. Really, really neat. Really cool shit. Love the hell out of them. Scientific name, it should be Pseudo... God, what the hell was it? Pseudoglomerus Magnifica? Pseudoglomerus Magnifica. I think. I think so. Maybe? I might be right, right about that. I might be wrong about that. Pseudo, Pseudoglomerus Magnifica is what I think it is. Yeah. It's been a while. Can you find them? I actually don't know where they come from. I have no clue. That part of my brain is not activated. Not yet. No, not, not glamorous. Glomorous. It's funnier. Yeah, they're neat, dude. I really like those. Magnificent emeralds are cool as shit. I like them. I, I think the one thing about roaches is there there's so many species of them. Like, just an insane amount. So, at current count, there are 4,500 species of cockroaches in the world, but only 30 are considered pests. And that's it. Most of those you've never seen. You've likely only seen four of those species. Yeah. It's like all birds and then pigeons. <laughs> you've never seen a baby pigeon, have you, Chet? Because birds aren't real. It's true. Never seen one. You have? Government spy. That one right there. Get him. Only way you could see a baby pigeon is if you're in the labs where they're creating those drones. Added yourself. Spotted the fed. Yeah. Yeah, birds aren't real, dude. Chase right into the food bowl? That one's pretty good, actually. It was me, it was, yeah. I was like, rah, rah, spooky hands, rah, rah, rah. And he's, he just, uh, he ran right into the food bowl. 
And he was like, why is my foot all foody? He's like eating it off of his foot. <laughs> why- Why is my foot covered in food? What are you watching? This is from, uh, this is our ferret software stream, dude. Yeah. Thor's legs? No, oh, couldn't be me. What time is it for me? 12.26 a.m. If birds are not real, what are chicken nuggets? Moreover, why did we take chickens, turn them into mush, turn that into a nugget in the shape of a dinosaur, when dinosaurs turned into chickens over time? That's like the weirdest thing that we've ever done as human beings. It's true. It's weird and it's true. And I hate it. It's a very strange cycle. It's kind of... it's Okay, it's a little bit metal, to be honest with you. It's a little metal. Be like... It's like the greatest form of disrespect. I'm not just going to eat you. I'm going to turn you into a tiny little caricature of how badass you used to be. And then eat you. Like, what? That's grim, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, like... Some Genghis Khan shit. A little bit, yeah. Freaks me out. Nice. Yeah, Xerxes gifted a ton of subs earlier. I can't thank you enough, dude. That's so nice of you. That's outrageous. I can't even keep up when you do that, because it's right at the beginning of the stream where my brain's not even on yet. It's just insanely nice of you, dude. Thank you. Seriously. Love your content so much. Thank you. You're awesome as hell. Now, if you like spiders, I'm not... So, Shay is really into tarantulas. Shay has two different tarantulas. I don't actually know the species that Shay has. I'm not that into tarantulas. I'm not that into spiders. I never really have been. I think the only ones I like are jumping spiders because they're so intelligent. Like, ridiculously so. You can... They'll identify you. They know who you are. They're really, really cute. Smart. Incredibly smart animals. Yeah. Yeah. What are you playing today? Well, today I'm working on stuff. We're going to be playing stuff later, though. Hate spiders, not my thing. I can understand that. That's fine. Spiders aren't everybody's thing, you know? They have jumping ones? Yes. Have you never seen a jumping spider? One moment. One moment. I want to find the one. There's a... There's a little dude. So jumping spiders are generally quite small. They're very tiny. But they do this thing where they try to basically wave at you. They do a little threat display. They're like, ah! Because they're, they're tiny, but they're highly intelligent creatures. Insanely intelligent. And they won't attack people generally. They'll leave you alone. They're mostly, and I think the thing that's really interesting about jumping spiders is they exhibit curiosity, unlike very many other creatures. They exhibit so much curiosity. It's so interesting to me. Like, really, really interesting to me. Lol. Very funny. Hey, look, the new tool is working. Nice. Did those get auto bit? Oh, Kronos, you got it because they didn't even make it to chat. Nice. We have a new tool in place. And the way that the new tool works is you don't realize this, but there's a very slight delay every time you type a message in chat. Very slight delay. And what's happening, it's not Heimdall. It's not. It's before Heimdall. It is literally a tool that is reading the messages before it shows up. I know. It's, it's like a two-second delay. You don't even realize it's there. A lot of the times. Some of you will notice. But it's a very tiny delay. And it checks the message before it gets sent to the rest of chat. And then shits on it. 
<laughs> before anyone else even gets it. This is something that Twitch allows you to do that is actually in the system, which is quite cool. So during that time period, it can actually restrict the message so it doesn't go out to anybody. It's kind of like um, when you have like a live broadcast, like on TV, and they have like a person on there, and they have it like in before it reaches the rest of everyone else's TVs, it'll have like a 15 second delay. It's exactly the same system. It's so good. Yeah. It's a two second, it's actually two second delay from when you type it out and when it shows up in chat. I don't even know what it looks like from the viewer perspective, but no one seems to be complaining about it. Isn't this Automod? No, it is not. We're using our own moderation tools using Twitch's two second delay option, which is what Twitch has. Twitch actually has a two second delay option, and we're going to see what it does to chat because it looks like it's working really, really well already. I don't even know if you guys got to see that wall of spam that went through. I don't even think you did, because no one even reacted to it. I was like, ooh. Heimdall didn't even get a chance, dude. He didn't even see it. Now, the really interesting thing is, I think this kills it before even things like um, 7TV and, and Better Twitch TV can even see it. So instead of the message showing up and then getting deleted, it never even shows up for you. Ah. Which is great. Love that shit. We're getting faster, chat. We're adapting. We're evolving. Does that mean we get an extra sniff? I'll check the budget. No. No, they're not getting an extra sniff. Ridiculous. Extra sniff of what? Bread? They can't have that. We can't give them an extra sniff. They'll grow too powerful. Imagine mods with vitamins. Can't do that. Insane. Oh, that seems like a mistake. Let's go fix that. <laughs> mods with vitamins. You know what I did all, yet, all day yesterday? On my day off? I went to six hours of meetings. Six hours of meetings. And I found out that I have to get a tax withholding identification number from all of the states that the U.S. moderators live in. And that means I have to go to the Department of Revenue for every one of those states. And I have to make an account for all of them. And all of their workflows are completely different. And I managed to do two of them yesterday. <laughs> and one of them, I don't even know if I did it right. I already have an EIN. Yeah, it's not a problem. That's not the issue. Department of what? Revenue. Because every state in the United States is like a tiny little country. And all of them run all of their bureaucracy completely differently, using their own website and their own bullshit put up there. And sometimes they take something like, oh, you know what? We're going to get a tax ID. Let's call it something else, like a withholding ID or a tax withholding ID or an income tax withholding ID or 15 different names for the same shit. And then we're going to shove it into the armpit of our website and you'll never be able to find it. It's great. It's fantastic. It's my favorite. Yeah, it's very good. I love how in the EU, at least Spain, it's all very centralized. That's because Spain is a country. Yeah. The United States is a collection of tiny countries that we call states. That are all... Some of them are larger than Europe, like Texas. Oh, hi, Bezos. I did it. I made the logo smaller so you guys can see things now. Do you like living in the United States? The problem with being American is that the moment you start talking to people from any other country in the world, you start realizing, why the living shit do we do things this way? And then you're ruined. You're ruined forever. That's... that's <laughs> it's like, why do we do taxes like this? I don't know. Because we love effort, right? Like, why do we do healthcare like this? I don't know, because it's great to go homeless when you break your leg. Like, why do we do retirement like this? Because we hope that you die before you get there. Right? You know, it's just... It's real weird. It's real weird living here once you find out how the rest of the world works, dude. Like, it's just some shit. It's not great. Yeah. 
It's called freedom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that, it's that old American dream thing. Because you have to be asleep to believe in it. That's, yeah, that's... It's rough, dude. <laughs> that's a scary-ass thing. Ugh. Europe is 15 times bigger than Texas? Which part of Europe are you counting? Because I don't know if you know this. You may not realize this, and this, this may be a surprising thing to you. Um, but NASA has actually produced an image of Texas. I'm about to show this to you. I'm going to wait until the ads are over. Okay, this is important to understand. So someone in chat said that, that Europe is 15 times the size of Texas. But I... I have to show this to you. You may not have actually seen this. This was produced by NASA and is an accurate representation. This is Texas right here. This This is the true size of Texas. And if you if you don't agree with this, then you're just denying science. It's outrageous to think that you would deny science. What's the matter with you? Outrageous, dude. No, that's Texas, dude. It's it's always been Texas. The whole yeah. The whole thing. What planet is that? It's Texas. Yeah, the, the Earth just exists within Texas. Always has been. Always has been, yeah. Yeah, it's all Texas. It's all Texas. I'm from Texas, it's true. It's true, yeah. See? You would know. Technically, we're all from Texas, right? It, it's, just like, it's just like everything is America, right? You got North America. You got South America. You got East America and West America. See? It's all the same. All the same shit. USA. USA. What's that working on? Dude, I don't even remember that's working. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, is this. There we go. Oh, man. USA. How was your tree whispering? That was good. I, got, I found another puffball mushroom. This one was like twice as big as the other ones, which is great. Yeah. You were working on your freedom. Dude, I'm always working on my freedom. In fact, how is the freedom going? I need to go look. What are we looking like? So the automatons have started fighting less, it looks like. Kind of. They're minus 1% an hour. What was the major order? Is there even a major order going on right now? Is there a major order? What the hell is this shit? We're taking Marto? Alright. Is that it? Two billion bugs? Is it done already? I feel like that would go really fast. It ended in 12 hours? <laughs> Jesus, dude. Did the whole community just turn over and just kill all the bugs and then go back to fighting robots? Like, what happened there? A hundred and... Wait. So there's 15,000 players there. There's 52,000 players fighting the bugs. People don't want to fight the bots, man. People just don't want to fight the bots. Hellmire is back in the enemy's hands? Really? Oh, God. You remember when we took Hellmire and they were like, wow, we'll never have to go back to Hellmire. Hellmire does suck, dude. Hellmire's creek, like Bug Creek. That's what it is. Hellmire is Bug Creek. It is the worst. It is the worst goddamn set of planets. I haven't been to Penta yet. I want to try that place. Well, it looks like we took Menken. And Vernon Wells, that's good. And Marfark. So I guess it's Martel and Matar. Once we take those, we've at least pushed the, the bots back into two different zones. Yeah, we just keep having to go back to Helmar. Yeah, Helmire's butt crack. True. Yeah. It's the worst, dude. I agree with that. Yeah, I really don't like that Helmire just keeps coming back from the dead. 
It's like awful, frankly. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering if you're wondering about how how this works, all of this is also within Texas. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's start him up. Furion 3456 has obtained the cursed quest. Oh man. The cursed quest. Bile Titan's just your average wolf spider. Oh, settle down now, Australian. Alright. That's you keep your insanely large insects to yourself. Just because you guys have bile titans in real life over there is not, you know, you don't have to share them. Ridiculous. Whoop. That was not the... <laughs> Alright. Do you want art, cooking, or interpretive dance? You're in, you have to choose. I got held ever because of you, I'm doing my part. It's a very fun game. I really enjoy it. Interpretive dance. I desire art. Alright. Art it is. you're in, choose a material. Choose a material. It could be anything. It could be ants. As an art material, anything. Choose a material. Could be hair. Could be asbestos. Could be cheese. Yeah. Could be tungsten. Giraffe. I guess that's technically a material. Right? Technically a material. That's... Okay. Alright. Alright. This is gonna get weird. This is much weirder than I thought it was gonna go. No, not giraffe meat. Giraffe. As a material. It could have been anything, and he chose giraffe. That's brilliant. Alright, let's think about this. Choose another material. In fact, I want... I want three different materials. You chose giraffe as the first one. Locked in. We need two more. Tungsten is rapidly approaching your location. Oh. Shit. Only Furion can respond. Obsidian and cheese. Alright. Here's what you need to do. This is going to get weird. You need to find photos of giraffes, obsidian, and cheese. You ever see one of those, like, you ever see, like, a ransom note? And they, like, cut out all the letters and they put it in the thing and they glue them all together? You ever, like, with a glue stick? You ever seen that shit? Where they make a ransom note? Yeah. Yeah, one of those? Yeah. You're gonna make one of those. You're gonna use gira pictures of giraffes, obsidian, and cheese. You're gonna print these out. You're gonna cut them out. You're gonna use a glue stick. You're gonna make my face with that. You're gonna build my face out of giraffes, obsidian, and cheese. Yeah. It's gonna get real weird. You chose this, too. This, you could... I don't even know how that's gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna be a collage, dude. You're making a collage of my face. Ransom note style. 
bonus points if it contains a ransom note underneath it. And then the FBI will be rapidly approaching your location. That'll be fun. Then it won't that won't be my problem. That'll be your problem. But but yes. You into collage? Good. Good. You can't use Minecraft to do a collage. It's a physical item. An actual physical item. Bonus with Texas. If you include Texas, I, I feel like the chat will be very happy about it. Beer in. Let's see. Did you accept? I am about... I am so about this, I accept. The contract is sealed, chat. Contract is sealed. Wonderful. Wonderful. Horrifying. Horrifying. Yeah. He already has this pre-made. Honestly, I feel like I feel like one of you does. There's like a weird shrine and someone's like, it's my moment. But the quest isn't mine. You know, like there's There's gotta be at least one, right? It's weird. It's weird. Oh, by the way, um, shout out to the Target guy that I met today that recognized me in the store and then helped me buy a USB cable. <laughs> I was looking for a USB cable charger for my phone and the dude was like, your videos are awesome. <laughs> it's like, thank you. It's very nice of you. And then he just get, he just kind of like, he helped me through the whole thing, but you could tell he was like, like a little bit, a little bit freaked out. But it was very funny. <laughs> it's, it's just nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Target. Thank you, Mr. Target. Yeah, it's just it's just funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, every once in a while somebody will notice me. And like there's a couple of different ways that they notice me. Um, one way people will just go like that, and then and then they just don't ever say anything. They just do one of those, and I'm like, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's I, that's me. And they just, you know, like that, that sort of a thing. And they just, they get real weird about it. And then sometimes they're like, Hey, I like your videos. And I'm like, thanks man. And then it's cool. And then, yeah, I, I like the second one. The first one is weird. <laughs> Please don't do the first one. Oh. Probably shocked by Giant Thor. I don't know. Ads are ruining the Rickroll. Trying to do my friend in a Python code? F. You know what's funnier than six? Seven. How dare you. Let's judge some quests. Let me look at the quests real fast. Let me see, which, let me see how many quests we got. There's probably a bunch of them. The problem we kept having is some people were turning in ones with copyrighted music, which is an issue. You can't do that. And we can't use them. How old is this one? Let me listen to this. Holy shit. Dude, one moment. They used AI to make me sing Life is a Highway. What the shit? What the living shit? It sounds good. It doesn't sound shit at all. I'm really afraid of this. What the living shit? I hate this. <laughs> it's AI. It, they use the AI of my voice to sing this. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna play like two seconds of this. What is this? QT Cinderella. Hello, QT Cinderella. What's up, QT? How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for the raid. That's very nice of you. What were you doing? 
What were you streaming? What were you streaming? I read that Ludwig... Was it Taylor Swift? I read that Ludwig gave you new headphones because yours died. <laughs> I saw the tweet. Oh. How you guys doing? For all you new people, my name is Thor. I make video games on the internet, and then I teach other people to do the same. And right now, someone has sent me an AI that is making me sing Life is a Highway. And it's deeply horrifying. It's actually, it's, listen to this. This actually doesn't sound shit. It freaks me out a little bit. It's kind of that, that like, really weird freak out sort of a thing, but, like, listen to this. Now, come on, give me the, give me the lyrics. Here in the next day gone. Sometimes you been, sometimes you stay, sometimes you turn your back to the wind. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good that I can't play it because YouTube will demonetize me. Holy shit, dude. It sounds so freaking good. D this is what happens when there's ten th tens of thousands of hours of your voice on the internet. That's some scary shit is what that is. Yeah. I'm gonna post it in Discord. That's freaking insane. This is made by Waikabar. That is so wild, dude. That is so wild. What is this? I've necroed three submissions for your review as well. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Please necro all of them. This is nuts, dude. Okay. This is, I'm just gonna do... God, which, where's my button for this shit? The way that we choose our VIPs is by having them make horrifying things. I think this is the right button for this. Is that... Yeah, there it is. Is that cursed enough? Just play... Because I can't play you the whole song because it's gonna... Dem it's too good. It's gonna get demonetized. I'm gonna release this on our Discord. That's where it's... It's gonna go in a stream shot of the Discord. It's an AI of me. Singing Life is a Hot... This is so freaking insane, dude. That is bonkers shit. Where is this? It's going to stream chat on Discord. I've... It freaks me out. <laughs> it's so good that it freaks me out, man. Oh, okay, it's going in. It's a web. It's now in stream chat on Discord. You can have it. It gets the twang in it, man. I think that's the thing that's in life is a series of potholes. Okay, it's cursed enough. It's cursed enough. VIP. Waikabar. Oh, but wait a moment. We're full up on VIPs. You know what that means, right? That means that we have to go into here. We have to show last modified. Go all the way to the bottom. Lawless 109, you've been a VIP for two years. No longer. No longer. That's right. Waikabar is now a VIP. You've served your time. No longer do you have to carry the cursed diamond that you can't actually remove in chat. <laughs> and by the way, Twitch, never change that because if you do it, it'll ruin the whole joke. Don't do it. Don't ever let them hide that diamond. Don't you do it. That's the whole point. I don't know what I'll do if we do that. Don't. We need that. We need that to be unhideable forever. <laughs> Specifically for this stream. Ooh, okay, that's good. That one's done. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill that that thread. Sorry it took so long. We have so many of these. We have to go through a couple of these now. Okay, next one. What is this one? Oh, that one's a fixed suggestion. They never pinged me. I can't even show that one. Kronos. Kronos, I can't show the one on 25. I feel like I'd get banned for that. It's definitely cursed. The chorus is amazing. But I... No, I can't show that. Waikabar, it's amazing. Kronos. Kronos, what do I do with that one? I can't do anything with that one. I 
I don't, I don't even know what I could do with it. I can't show that. It doesn't break any TOS. Oh, dude, I'm getting... Oh, dude. Yeah, it does. No, that's definitely... I think my lead moderator is trying to get me to get banned. <laughs> I'm not believing you. I'm not doing it, dude. No. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll show the head. Hold up. Oh, it almost opened live on stream. I'm so glad I didn't show that. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to show the whole thing. I'm just going to slide this onto stream. Slowly but surely. There it is. There. <laughs> That's the amount of it that I'm going to show. Because it's wearing a... <laughs> it's wearing a bathing suit below that. That I do... I'm not showing that part. It's already grim. It's already- we're gonna do a curse coin- that's- that's where it's staying. It's already horrifying. We're just- It's definitely art. Is it cursed enough? Choose- choose on the poll. <laughs> if they won't let us have Dumpy, they're not gonna let me have this. You could have the URL. You could find that on your own. That's not my problem. This becomes your problem immediately. It is not my problem because it's not on the broadcast. That's your problem. It's your problem. This doesn't need to be animated. It's grim. Grim is what it is. That is certainly cursed. I know, Crux. It is. You open the URL? I know, dude. What is doing? Either? Don't worry about it. Chat is voting on something. It's, <laughs> it's fine. Just don't think about it too much, alright? Don't say Don't owe my Christ. 92%. Ah. You got to see it for only a moment. It's not TOS, but it might as well be. It's grim. It's grim. All right. That's definitely cursed. Yellow show. Congratulations. You've been released. You've been released. No longer. No longer. And now, Scourge in. You are now a VIP. Congratulations. VIP. Okay, next one. We need to go to curse number 28. I'm glad to see that the moderators have posted Homer Simpson bleaching his own eyes in response to whatever this is. <laughs> That's... Oh. <laughs> oh, let me hide the screen real fast. Oh, dear God. What... What am I even looking at, dude? What, e what even was this quest? Okay, so this is actually relevant. This is actually relevant. Because I was... we were. T this was back in the streamer awards. And I was talking about Ludwig wearing the Balenciaga Crocs. You remember this? And it, it reminded me of... It reminded me of Spongebob. The whole time I was watching him wear the Balenciaga Crocs, I just thought of this. Like, the the entire time, this is what I was thinking of. The whole time. There was no... There was no other way to see it for me. It was very funny to me. <laughs> it's 100% is what that felt like. I was like, wait a minute. And they were really funny. But also, those boots were insane, dude. I could even hear it. I know, they were so squeaky, you know? I think the thing that blew me away about it is the fact that he was able to stand in those the entire time because those don't look like they're light. They're solid rubber, man. And doing everything that he was doing at, the, at you know, at the show for that, running around in those big, thick-ass rubber boots, like, what the hell, man? There's no way I could do that. I'm a programmer. I'm, like, made to be a wimp, dude. Like, what do you... That shit was, like, solid, thick rubber. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. Honestly ridiculous. He was training. He's probably bulky as shit now, you know? Those boots chipped Austin Show's tooth? Did they actually? I hope not. I can believe it. So, this quest... With that in mind, this quest was to draw a maned wolf with Thor's face wearing Balenciaga Crocs boots. And there it is. There it... It's... It's deeply horrifying to me. Hand-drawn, even. Is this cursed enough? Hand-drawn. Look at all the- how many Crocs does it have? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there like... It's like an SCP. It's like an SCP. I love this. Why is Mr. Krabs like this? Why is there so much detail in Mr. Krabs, like, face? Like, what is... <laughs> I know, right? It's phenomenal. He was number seven. Fantastic. Is this cursed enough? Seen worse? That's fine. Vote honestly. Remember, vote early, vote often. This is a democracy. It looks like it's 90% say yes. 90% cursed. I can't even pronounce your name. Opus Mag. Long-standing member of the community, no longer cursed. Well done. Well done. You served for two years. Two years. An FA-771N9. Falling. In leech speak. You are now cursed. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. Oh dear. Wait a minute, is this... Kronos, is number 30 the dude that got banned? Because he took four cursed quests in a row? Is that... Okay. Four cursed quests in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took four in a row. Typical sign took four in a row. And he got banned for it. And we said you can't... Get unbanned until you do all of your goddamn quests. Yeah. He just took four in a row. How many does he... Okay. Hold up. One moment. I have to... I have to pull these up. It's grim in here. We have to know if this is high enough effort, is really what it comes down to. I'm, I'm collecting the evidence. Yeah, judge very harshly. Always judge harshly. What is this one? This is gonna be like the worst TikTok you've ever seen in your life. It's gonna be great. I'm opening all of them. I'm opening every single one of these. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be... You, you ever see one of those TikToks and it's just like a million stupid things all open at the same time? It's going to be that. Alright, good. One moment. Because one of his was interpretive dance. We've got interpretive dance as one of them. I'm going to hide that for a moment. It's great. We've got... What's the next one? Another interpretive dance. Wait a minute. Why are all these gnomes in here? Is there a gnome in that? Did you guys... Did he try to gnome in one of these? I'm going to play them without audio, so there's no gnome that's going to happen. And I think one of these was a lasagna... Jesus Christ, what happened here? All right, Chet. One of these is gnomed, so I'm just going to do the other ones. We've got... We've got a potato Thor. We've got a lasagna Thor. And we have... We have a dance. There we go. Is this cursed enough? Potato? Lasagna? It is just cheese, but I think if you- if you kind of squint and back up a little bit... I'm made out of spices. Chad has to- you gotta vote. It's on you. Is this cursed enough? Yeah, it's like- it's- It's like if you looked at the eclipse, you could now see me in this. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have looked at the eclipse, but if you did... That's what I would look like now. Yeah. Don't look at the eclipse. 
It's not a, I mean, you probably, it's too late now. Dance was lacking. It wasn't, there was dancing happening. Chad is voting. Remember, this is all up to you. The fourth one had a gnome in it, so I can't even show it. And that's it. 73% at a vote of 777 votes have said no. It is not cursed enough. 700, that's... If chat got 777 votes, I mean, that's it. There's no way around that. Yeah. It's the, there's no way around that. Deeply funny. Well. Chat has voted that... These are not cursed enough. <laughs> F, dude. I don't want to show. Do I have to? God, God damn it. Oh, okay. Curse number 32. Holy shit. One moment. How do I... I hate... I hate all these websites that cover everything in, like, a banner. This banner shit is so annoying. Banner shit sucks. I'm gonna inspect this, I'm gonna pull that image out, and there's nothing they can do to stop me. Grabbing it. Eat it. Flicker with your annoying banner everywhere. Oh no, they gave me the shitty thumbnail one. Ooh. Ooh. Fine. You win. Alright, chat. You ready? It's gross. It's horrifying and it's gross. You ready for it? You ready for it? You can already see the horror beginning. You can already see it. You can already see it starting. Look at it. Just this is just the taste. Their quest was to draw me as a cat centaur. Yeah. Yeah, it's already... It's already horrible. Look at it. Look at it. It's got ferrets all over it. It's a cat centaur. Look at it. I have to look at it, so you have to look at it. If I have to look at it, you have to look at it. That's right. Look at it. By the way, Heimdall 2.0 is working as intended. It's the best. It doesn't have to get kills to level up anymore. <laughs> How's Henry? He's doing great. Banished. Cursed to the Shadow Realm. It does have two rib cages. that's true. Is it cursed enough? Is it cursed enough? This will be the last vote of the day. And then we'll get on to working on things. Hold me on, Tar. Horrifying. I think I fought that guy in Adventure Quest. <laughs> Jesus. And it looks like, yes, indeed, that is cursed enough. Team Eisen, two years ago, you became cursed. You were no longer cursed. Congratulations. Is Henry fully healed? No, he's got a cut on his nose. Little dude's doing his, his best. Off Wave Surfer. You are now a VIP. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you're a VIP now. It's grim. It's grim. Oh, wait, wait. We have one more. This is... This is horrific, honestly. Here we go. Look at this. You had to draw your neck, which is like the, the, the neck version of many necks. Drinking from Meatball's Soup Bowl. Because the other day, I didn't have any bowls at the new house. So what I did was I put the beef stew inside of the, the cat bowl. And then I drank it out of that when I was driving to this house so I could stream. It worked. And I don't care what you think of it. I don't... I don't... So is that cursed enough? Look, they're just easier to clean bowls. So... So I just used it as a cup. It's fine. It's not weird. It's not weird. 
It's not weird. Not that much neck. Fair. Fair. It's not weird. Was it clean? Of course it was clean. Of course it was clean. It had very little or no cat food in it at all. And it was beef stew anyway. So how would I know? You know? The beef stew was delicious, by the way. It was really good. Yeah. It was actually really good. Very little. Yeah. Your dad did a curse quest? My dad? No. It's my dad. This was a rack attack. It is 74% cursed. And as such, is cursed enough. Mortis Angelus. No longer cursed. Oh, hey. What happens if we get up here and we get to moderator where Cardboard Cowboy does? Do we get rid of his mod status? You know Cardboard Cowboy's been a mod here for two years? Kronos, I'd like you to review his moderator status. I don't think Cardboard Cowboy's ever banned anyone before. I think you tried to ban me once, and that was about it. <laughs> <laughs> Iraq attack, you are now cursed. And these are all closed now. The only ones that we have up now are number 20 and number 30. Number 30 was determined to not be cursed enough, and number 20, we need some kind of thing to get fixed. Oh, yeah, they need to actually get a quest. <laughs> Cowboy will actually cry and do it. Mm. But then he's going to get his hat all soggy. We don't want that. We don't want him to cry. We don't want him to cry. Knowing that he will. Large baby tears. Also, Kronos. Let me get this. Oh no, so I need the I need the thing for the pin for the stuff. We're an hour into the stream. How many mods got gnomed? So to be real with you, the way that the gnoming works is number one, none of you will ever know me. Let's just get that out of the way. All right, you're, you're never going to know me. It's not going to happen. And here's the reason why. Here's me. Here's the level of paranoia that I have. All right. Within that level of paranoia, I have the moderators. Then within the level of moderators, I have another level of paranoia. Then within that level of paranoia, there's Shay. Then within that level of Shay, there's another layer of paranoia. You're never actually going to know me. It's not going to happen. Ever. Ever in your life. It won't happen. And if it did happen, which it won't, you'd get one of these. Which is a Pirate Sapphire Challenge coin. Which you won't get. Ever. There are only 50, and all of them are mine. You will not have one of these. You cannot, you cannot know me. It is not possible. It is not possible. Yeah. 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 You can't know me. You cannot know me. It's not gonna happen. Oh, look, it's Bezos. Even he knows you can't know me. Boop. Boop. Why will this not go through? Kronos, it's too long for YouTube because YouTube has problems. But it'll work on Twitch. Whoop. Pin. Unable to pin. Okay, thanks. Twitch, could you just... Could you do what you're supposed to for a moment? Just, just a tad. I'm going to change this now to Google. Apply it. And then switch it back to Twitch chat. Apply it. And now you're going to let me pin things be awesome yeah it's too long for youtube youtube won't let us spend that a comment that long boop now i can do this boop nope unable to pin something went wrong please try again why 
YouTube is like half the size of Twitch, man. It's like really restrictive and shitty. I'm gonna try this one last time. There we go. I just had to do it not through OBS. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Here. We'll fix this. We just do that. I think that'll fit. Oop. Oh, it's so close. Okay, one moment. Let me do it. One character off. One moment. I can do this. We can play sentence Jenga until YouTube allows me. Yes. Bam. There it is. I played Sentence Jenga. It fits now. What is gnoming? Something you'll never do. Because I will never get gnomed. Pinned. No. Pinned. Why does this keep saying <laughs> Twitch, what is wrong with you? Be normal. God damn it, Twitch. There we go. Every time I want to change the pin, mu pin like message, I actually have to then like refresh the page to get it to work. It's really funny. It's really funny. Is he summoning a cat? Definitely. Yeah, this is me summoning it. This is the noise you make for a cat and also the layers of defense I have to not get gnomed. You'll never know me, dude. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All right. Pin message is up. Ooh. So I want to let you guys know, we have a new system in place that actually stops people from sending messages to any of you. Heimdall doesn't even need to delete stuff anymore. You just never get to see it. <laughs> oh, it's the best. It's the best. Please reset block game tonight. I haven't been able to play. What do you mean reset it? You're going to have to give more information. What do you mean reset, bud? Something wrong with it? Let me go check it real fast. Let me see what you're talking about. Why do I need to reset the server? What's the problem? A bunch of people who are unable to log in. Let's go fix this. Oh, God, it's on the wrong version. One moment. Ah! No, Minecraft launcher. Why are you like this? No, God damn it. Close. Get DNS banned? Dude, I hope so. Dude, I hope so. Alright, let's see. I need to do this on this one, I think. Yes. Yeah, the DNS ban, dude. Seen the new Minecraft exploit? Nah. Will it work? What exactly gets what a challenge coin? Showing of the update later. Showing a gnome and then playing the sound. But it has to be the gnome. 
and it has to be the sound. Yes, do it. You still banned from the Microsoft Store? No, it's just the, it was an error with their shit. Well, the server seems to be fine. So this is the best part about this. We have we have optimized the shit out of the server to such an extent that it literally didn't need to be reset because it's sitting at 20 TPS and it has been for a while, but there's still something wrong with like session management where people aren't even able to log in after a certain amount of time. There's some level of Java that is deeply shit, and I think I think it actually is just because that it's Java. Yeah. I think it's actually just Java. Yeah, it's just Java. There we go. Where's my control panel? My beautiful control panel. Where are you? Block a game bow. Uh, block gamba. Okay, where's my console? And we are restarting. Oh. Yeah, that could probably be the reason. SQL data contraction. Which one of you small bastards set some weird-ass string to your town name again? Hey, Jake, you there? I found the reason. We gotta find a fix for this shit. Oh, it's dumb. No, I know what it is. I know what's going on now. I have to fix this before we can actually restart the server. Yeah, it's... The idiot town name problem. We can fix this. We're gonna have to fork townie at some point, dude, because this is just get or to be honest with you, just make a poll request to townie to stop them from doing this shit. It's really deeply stupid. I can go into the database real fast and fix this. I just gotta know which town it is. Jake's checking to see what town it is. I'm going to update the database. But why? To fix this, I have to go into the database. I have to change their town name to stop it. And then I have to save it. Where is it? Towny Towns. There we go. I'm in the database. But where is this offending name? It's going to be something named stupid. It's always something named stupid. It's usually a stupid name, full of stupid. I'm ready. Oh, I'm not. I'm not committing any changes. I'm not changing a damn thing. We just gotta find out which town it is. No, it's not a piss off. No, not injection stuff. It's <sighs> Townie does this stupid shit. I don't know why they do this, but if you, if you name your town, like some weird Unicode stuff. It doesn't know how to handle this because it doesn't have a check to see if it's like symbols. For some reason, there's no check to say like no symbols. And then when it tries to put this in the database, it doesn't know what to do. So it makes like a whole bunch of hex shit the whole way across and then just implodes. It's not my code. It's not our code. It is the third party's code. So we, we likely have to go do a pull request for their shit and be like, you dude, stop doing this. Like put in a check for no symbols on the town names. Like, this is not good. So it ends up being, like, a huge problem. And basically what ends up happening is because it doesn't fail gracefully, because they don't actually have a check in place for this, what ends up happening is it just goes, ah, like, and tries to basically hit the database a billion times a second over and over again while screaming into the console endlessly because someone was like, what if I made my town name a smiley face? Aren't I clever? Yeah, it's a lack of input sanitization. Exactly. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's something we're going to have to fix. We, we're going to have to fork it to fix it eventually. Because <clears throat> it's not our code. Yeah, it's not our code. Oh, what, what is that, Jake? Microsoft's login servers are being terrible. I needed to log into Minecraft. You don't say. So it's a day ending in Y. 
Very good. Very good, I see. Yeah. 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 Standard. Block aim on engine when? My dream, eventually, is to use what Bitcraft is using. And so we can rebuild everything in space-time DB. And build our own shit. So we don't have to deal with any of this bullshit anymore. Eventually, one day, we will escape. Not today, but maybe one day. And we'll take all of the user data that we have, and all of the cool shit that we've made, and we'll make our own game. With Blackjack. It'll be great. That's how it'll go. Damn right. Meh. <laughs> Meh. Nah. Only Blackjack. The second part, maybe not. <laughs> Give them to us? Nah. Could you not slap Spacetime DB into Minecraft? No, the, the problem is this. Most of what we built, the throughput is really cool. However, the constant iteration on this, most of it, is trying to get Minecraft to stop acting like a screaming child covered in poop. That's that's like 90% of the work effort here is like, how can we get this thing that's not supposed to do this to do the thing that we need it to do? Great. And then we fix that and like we do it. And it's just kind of, it's, it's really all it is. It's just trying to get Minecraft. Minecraft, why don't you ask normal? It's like, it's just covered in shit, screaming. There's like poop all over the walls. Like, then we're like, Why? And then that's that's Minecraft. That's base and also Java. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not a mod. It's um we we built an MMO using Minecraft as a game engine. Yeah. It's we have a lot of players. <laughs> and it's free. Cause I Okay, let me explain. Two years ago, I played Minecraft for the first time. And I hated it. I thought it was boring as shit. I thought it was I thought it was really, really boring. Super goddamn boring. So I uh, started making an MMO in Minecraft, not knowing anything about Minecraft. And we made like set bonuses and gear and dungeons and hundreds of different monsters and hundreds of different items and professions and statistics. I even build like boss fights and shit based on how they used to be made in World of Warcraft with like invisible units and stuff like that, managing the whole thing. Uh, Tons of different leaderboards and all kinds of shit. And then we made it free. There's no monetization at all. There's not even like, get a title or any of that shit. Yeah, the server is mc.blockgame.info. That's actually the, the server. Yep. Yeah, I, I did that because I did it out of spite. Because someone told me we had to use a client-side mod to do it. And I was like, no, we're just going to do it all server-side. And he's like, that's impossible. And I was like, bullshit it is. So we we made it possible and it works. You can use a client side mod. It gives you quality of life features and makes the game less shit. But it's not required, which is the best part about it. So you can just use a vanilla client to play, which is like, a. Did WoW not separate scripts from world entities? No. Did you know that most of the combat fights that you've ever fought in World of Warcraft actually have invisible elementals and invisible bunnies that run them? Did you know that most of my fights have invisible skeletons that run them? Oh, by the way, players found out about the invisible skeletons recently, and they found out that AoE can damage those invisible skeletons, and then they destroyed them through the walls. So we had to make it so that all AoE now actually does, like, a ray trace check to make sure that you're not able to shoot them through the wall. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Actually. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. What texture back do I use? I'm actually not using a texture back. I'm just using shaders. They're solar shaders. And I only use those because then it makes water not look like shit. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Like, goddamn. You know? Yeah. Because Minecraft without shaders is just ass. Minecraft without shaders is complete ass. Like, look at this. Let's go into, like, video settings. I'll go into my... Oh, where is it? Shaders? Let me just turn this off for a second so I can just look at it. Jesus. God. Ugh. Yeah, let's get out of here. I can't do that. I think we're on this one. I don't know which one I'm supposed to be on. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It's so much better now. It's less ass now. Good. Good. 
Are you kidding me? You actually named... All they did was name their town a whole bunch of stupid-ass characters. Th look at this. You see this that I just put in chat? That's actually what this bastard named their town. Why? Why would you do this? You could... What? You could be unbanned when you could pronounce that shit to me. You bastard. Okay, I need to check this from the database. We gotta find out where this is. Uh, edit in line. Uh, where's the name? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I can't even find that town, dude. Yeah, I literally can't even find that town. The database won't even search for it. Nope. Maybe we could do an edit on this and then, like, actually do a search. Select from towns. Where... What is it going to be? Name? Where's my name? Oh my god, where's the goddamn name? You know what? Whatever. Name. There we go. Like. Go. And no queries open. So it's trying to save it in hex format. And the reason why this is exploding is because it's trying to save it in hex format. And it saves a name so long that it decimates the actual town name. That's the reason. It's converting it to hex so that it doesn't blow up the database. That's their way of creating no problems. And instead of creating no problems, it creates a string so long the database doesn't want to have it. Which is the issue. Because it's enormous and shit. Also... Whoever just tipped the moderators $20, you rock. Thank you for that. It's incredibly nice of you. Seriously. Yeah, this is not ideal. This is not how it should be handled. So I think what I need to do is I actually have to search the Unicode. Like, I have to search the strings. Not the Unicode, but the actual, like, escaped shit. Nope. Doesn't even show up. Well, that ain't great. Can't even find it, man. Yeah, this is going to become an increasing problem. It's going to become an increasing obnoxious problem. What if I do number of rows 500? I'm just going to show all of them. We're going to find it. Sort the table by town name. or sending or descending. It'll be at the top. I already tried. <laughs> it's the worst part. That is the worst part, man. It should be at the top. You would expect it to be. But instead it is not. Instead it's somewhere deep hidden in the bullshit. So I'm just going to set this to 500 rows. Because I don't think we have that many towns. And I'm just going to scan through it. Actually, you know what's something funny, Jake? The town likely did not have its name dumped into the database. Because the string is too long. And the database failed doing it. So because of this, it is likely continuously attempting to put it in the database, and it can't. So I'm on a fool's errand, in which there is nothing in the database for me to find. Instead, this is held in temporary memory, and I bet if I restart the server, it'll stop shitting itself. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that'd explain why you can't locate the town either, because it doesn't exist. Neat. I'm going to restart the server. We're going to find out if it dies now. It'll be fine. Turn it off and back on again. The perfect solution to any IT problem. Turn it off and back on again. Here we go. Is it going to restart? Server? Are you okay? No, I said restart. Oh, Jesus. He really doesn't want to do it. Oh, there we go. It's fine. It's... It was being pummeled so hard that it actually refused to turn off. It's great.
Wow, it's really, really good there, man. Yeah, that's just someone being a jackass. Which is fine. We're going to have to make a fork of Townie. Like, we're going to have to, because this is... This has to get fixed. I mean, to be honest with you, we probably don't even need a fork of Townie. Because Townie gets so many new updates and so much good shit, and we don't really want to fork that, frankly. Because it's already an amazing piece of software for free. I think what we should do, Jake, is we, we should fix this bug as a pull request to them. And then submit it. Because that will that will fix this problem. I think that's the biggest issue here. Actually, what version of Townie are we on? Let me go look. They've done a major update, actually. Thank you the $10 to the moderators. You kick ass, dude. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do an update here. Yeah, this update doesn't fix the problem. But it is an update that we need. I'm going to go see if they have any other update stuff that we can grab real fast. Because we likely can. And then we can get some new cool shit. Like resources. Maybe not sucking. Where's my resources? Huh? Ah. It's the same. F. Siege War, maybe? Ooh, Siege War updated. What'd they get? Okay. That's interesting. Option to disable outpost teleportation during battle sessions. Oh. No more bullshit teleportation during combat, which was one of the major complaints that our players had, was being able to put an outpost there and then just teleporting constantly. We will fix that this time. Good new option. And we can now configure the control session radius as well, which is also nice. See, this is what I'm saying, is like, Townie always adds new shit. How do you say so organized? Excel. A million times Excel. I leave Excel, my dude. Okay, we're gonna stop the server real fast. Turning it off for a moment. I use Excel for everything. It's wonderful. Okay, where's my siege war? Be gone, old version. You're worthless to me now. Thank you for the $3 to the moderators. You kick ass, dude. Uh, I love just putting jars on my computer, dude. Yes. Yes. Towny chat. Uh, wait, where'd it go? What? But why? Okay, hold up. For some reason that I do not understand, this jar is missing. It's fine. We'll just put it over here. This is good. Thank you for the $50 to the moderators. Give the mods a second sniff. I won't do it. I won't do it. Even though you gave $50 to the moderators right now. I won't do it. They can have those $50, but they can't have a second sniff. They can't. That's too many. They'll grow too bold, too powerful. And then they'll start streaming. But thank you. Seriously, it's very nice of you. It's awesome as shit.
There are so many things that I have to do right now. Okay. Townie chat is set up. That's good. Townie is set up. Townie research is set up. And siege war is set up. I think we're good. I don't think we have anything else to mess with. I think we're good now. All right. I'm starting it. And when it explodes, it's not my problem. Should I learn how to program? Yes. Do it shitty. Don't worry about it. Your lockpick advice? Help me to unlock my bathroom door at almost 3 a.m. Nice, dude. Mine got me into my haunted attic. It's kind of cool. How many mods? About 10 of us. I know there's TTS. I know. I know there's so many TTSs. I know. Tabs or spaces? Both. Yes. Mix them. Space, tab, space. Yes. Yes. Alright, I think this is good. I immediately see all the people who are botting getting online. That's my favorite. The automatic connections. Let's make sure that everything is... Why is Townie Chat broken? I'd be able to tell if there weren't a million people trying to log in at the same time and cluttering up the server logs. What is wrong here? Uh... That's not good. Townie chat exploded. But why? But why did it explode? But why? This is not like this version. Hey, Jake. Did we do something weird with Townie chat? Did we do something weird with that? Were we connected to it? Why is Tony Chat not functioning here? That's super weird, actually. Is their newest version unstable? That's the only thing I can think of at this point. Because we didn't do anything to Tony Chat. Because we've got 2.10 Towny, and it's packaged with this version of Towny Chat. I'm going to go see if we can grab the other Towny Chat, their latest one, and unshit this. Because something is deeply wrong here, and I don't know what it is. Which is always the best place to be, I think. Let's just overwrite this one. That's fine. I'm going to overwrite that, and we're just going to restart it. And I'm going to act like it didn't happen. It's gonna act like it didn't happen. It's fun. By the way, how long has the server had this problem before people actually told us about it? Camel or snake case? Snake. I love snake case. Snake case is my favorite. I hate camel. Mmm. Hi, Bezos. You'd be upset about it. That's fine. I like snake. Give me those underscores. I'm a snake enjoyer. Camel is better than snake. Okay, enjoy all your words mashed together. Have fun with it. The safe mode problem was just now when you updated. Oh, I'm aware. Yeah, I'm super aware of that. The issue that we're dealing with is uh, Towny Chat not integrating correctly, which is weird because that's their version of Towny Chat that is engaged. Siege Wars in safe mode again. Why? Yeah, no, Jake, it's failing to load the database. That's why. Yep, town list unknown error, failing to load the database. It's that town. It's that it's likely saved it in the database now. Yep. Now I got to go find it in the database. Of course. Cuz that's what needs to happen. Which is the best. 
Do you prefer writing your code in assembly or binary? <laughs> I write my code in languages, usually. Usually when I'm doing assembly, it's reverse engineering. Why is this broken now? There's a way that we figured out what the old town name was before this. And I don't remember what it was. But it doesn't look like the town is actually in the database. Which is the annoying part. So, not only is Townie not gracefully failing out of this, it's even worse. Because what ends up happening is it doesn't gracefully fail. And then when you try to restart the server, it doesn't gracefully fail there either. So it just shits itself. Like, constantly. And it doesn't know what to do about it, so it doesn't load up Townie. It's like one of the worst bugs that can happen, frankly. It's really bad. And the database doesn't even have this value in it. This is a town just named E. Yeah, I just looked through all the towns in the database. It's not even in there. So... Now what we're going to do is this. We're going to go into here. Oh no, it's not even going to be in there, is it? Is there logs for this? No, nah, there's not even a log for this. Oh, maybe there is. One moment. Wow, it's a log that has nothing in it. Do you guys like database.log zero kilobytes? It's the best, right? Isn't that awesome? That's the... That's wonderful, isn't it? We love to see that. Data. Towns. Last time this was updated was 3.2. So that's unuseful. It's currently 4.19. How many towns are in here? Oh... Still better than no error log at all? No, dude, it's terrible. It's like the worst possible logging. I think it's trying to load nothing. Yeah, it's nothing in there. Great. Wonderful. 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 Alright, well... We have nothing to go on. There's no data. Yeah, I know it's still sad. If you need me to do a full log for that session, I'll come through the server logs. Yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to have to do, man. I think it's probably going to be you coming through the server logs, looking for the person who actually made the command for that. It's likely going to be a town creation or a town rename, and then we can slap the person who did it and then remove the offending town from the database, which is weird because the database is not storing that town name, which doesn't make any sense. It's not really a backup. That's not the issue here. The issue is that this town name doesn't exist in the database, and we need to know why it thinks it exists in the database. Because it doesn't. And then it's failing because it doesn't. Which is the strangest part here. Because it registers all of our session handlers. Plugin Townie found using it now, attempting to use Plugin Townie. Essentials found a compatible payment resolution method for Vault. Loaded all the holograms, and then error disabling townie chat. Disabling townie chat. A new build is available. Database connect. That's weird. One moment. Did they actually release a new townie chat version and then have this auto disable? Is that what we're looking at? Oh, no, that's core. We don't care about that. Yeah, no, it just kills townie chat, dude. It just dies. 
Weird, man. I'm trying to look to see if there's anything else that we can go on with this. Luck perms enabled. That's fine. Where does Townie die? Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Failed to load database. Town list unknown error. Zero B contains numbers which aren't allowed in names. Zero B? Oh, wait a minute. So the reason that this is happening is when you put in a Unicode character, it tries to turn it into hex. But numbers aren't allowed in names. So it puts the hex value in there, and there's numbers in it, and it doesn't know what to do, and then it tries to load this. Son of a bitch. All right. I have a thing to go on on this. We can fix this now. I found it. It's a town named Zero B. I'm editing the town. We're going to call it Stink Bottom. I'm renaming your town to Stink Bottom. Get wrecked. We're going to disable the server, and I'm renaming this down to Stink Bottom. Everything else is good. I don't think there's anything else in there that's wrong. It's the Nation of Skylords by Obsidian G. Save it. Alright. I think we may have just crisis averted. Maybe. We'll find out in a minute. Yeah. Changing a couple of these. We're going to fix all of these. It looks like two people did it at the same time, which is even better. There has to there has to be a way to fix this. I would be amazed if Townie didn't have this name. All right. I think we're good. Amazingly, and this is surprising, 0B didn't work, but 42069 did. Why does 42069 work when 0B does not? There has to be some there has to be something more to this. And I just don't know what it is. <clears throat> okay, I'm starting up the server now. We're gonna see what happens. <clears throat> it's just nice. I mean it is. Blazingly nice even. Okay. This is good. It's less stinky already. Looks like it's doing it. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Okay, now we're good. We're good. Everything's good. It's unshitting all of the world. Oh, nope, safe moded. What broke now? Let's see. 42069 contains numbers which aren't allowed in names. Son of a bitch. Edit. <laughs> Never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> weed number. I'm changing this to weed number. The town's name is weed number. That's the new town name. Alright. There we go. We're changing it. It's actually just called weed number. So it looks like it looks like what Townie did was they made it so that town names can't be numbers in the last update which is i guess part of the problem kind of we'll see 
It is Camel Cash. Config that YML as a regex for town validation. It does, but also writing a regex for every possibility for this. To be real with you, it sh it shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't. I guess I can do this so we can just whitelist ASCII characters, specific ASCII characters, and we can do that, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to have to look into it. We're going to find out what we can do with this. Where's my config that YML? The, the reason why I find this unsettling is the fact that without configuring that, the baseline should be that the database actually functions. Yeah, it's, it's going to have to be alpha characters only and no, no numerics. And I, I think that's the biggest problem with this. Do you know where that regex actually is? What line that is inside of this? Because I don't think it was there originally. Yeah. It's just weird. It's honestly really strange. Because the baseline should not be your database breaks. The baseline should be we don't allow this. Which is strange as shit. Yeah. Yeah, dude, look. They're, the regex for this doesn't even make any sense. They literally have a regex filter for this that allows 0 through 9. What? If the database breaks when you put 0 through 9, why is the default have 0 through 9? What did they do with this regex? Not only that, it's allowing Unicode symbols. So they've done something stupid here. They've obviously done something stupid, and I just don't know what it is. Error occurred in the plugin loader, disabling world guard. That's probably bad. Oh, this ain't good. Let's just, uh... Oh, no, this is fine. This is fine. It's shitting itself in the correct way. It's always good when it shits itself in a way that we want it to. To get Minecraft to work correctly, I have to make it shit itself a little bit, and then um, and then it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. What is broken now? Oh, it's another town name. It's a town name that has a number in it. It's a town name that has a... We'll do BitGoal later. I don't understand why it has this. It shouldn't have this, obviously. No numbers. I'm gonna go check this against Regexer. Oh, Regexer! My glorious Regex 101 website. In input this. Wow. Now let's try this. Yeah, see? Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. That's not good. Now use regex101.com just to test this stuff. That's the reason this is like this. All right. Numbers are now foreboding. The database will no longer cry deeply. Problem. Name remove regex. String check regex. Name check regex. Actually, I think we can do string check regex like this. Name check regex is the only one that matters. Everything else is fine. Let's go to name. Here's the biggest problem. I need to check across the entire database for any town that has a number in it now. Which is super goddamn annoying. So I'm going to do a database search real fast and then cry myself to sleep. So we're going to do that. It's going to be fan fantastic. Because of course we need to update this on live servers, don't we? Oh yes. I'm changing this one from 
Barty to Barty. But now it has no numbers in it. We're probably going to be doing this a few times, I think, at this point. I think it's probably going to be how this works. I have to stop the server and then restart the server and then stop the server and restart the server. I'm just going to keep doing this until my head explodes. It's good. If you're not working in a database, what are you even doing with your life, chat? Probably living it, I would... I would think. Yeah. I love updating in production. Yeah. Yeah. Sequel is life? No, no. Sequel is what we call slow death. Slow death. Yeah. This... This feels, unfortunately, very similar to sysadmin work. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. oh, sorry. There's a little bit of throw up in my mouth. I just forced it down with my feelings. Gross. Yeah, it's not good. All right. Should not have any more, maybe? Making sure. Nothing's coming through in the search. Yeah, this is literally going to break on any town that has a number in the name. And unfortunately, a lot of people really liked putting 42069 in their town names. Which is great. So, that sucks. And I'll just basically go through real fast. And we're going to remove any of those. Thankfully, we don't have like tens of thousands of towns. But if we did... I'd probably be a lot more angry about this. Thing there's no there's no need for the anger. Also, shout out to That's a great town name. Well done. It's fantastic. There's there's some really good town names in here. Highly creative, very much so. Also shout out to Horny Jail. Good name. Good town name. Good town name. I did a search review, and now I'm doing a manual review to make sure that we got them all. It looks like there's only one more that I need to change. Oh, there's another one. Page two. You son of a bitch. You know, when I have an active DB session... And I'm searching through all this stuff in the active DB session. You shouldn't restart my session. That's a shit move. Oh, failed session cookie, you bitch. Ooh. Shit move, chat. It's a shit move. I had two of them queued up, and I have to go find them again. That's rude. The database is kicking me off over and over now. <laughs> you just have one of those days. You ever do that? You ever do that in your life? Just have one of those days. All right, here's what we're going to do. It's gonna be a partial match. Let's see. Do 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 do. Uh, 
I think we have to do... My little percentage symbols on it. Because SQL hates me. Found it. Works. Okay. So, now I have to do this. And I have to be like... Town... Without numbers. There we go. And I can save that. Okay. We got this now. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna slowly but surely fix all of these stupid problems. No. Number. I'm doing it, chat. We're fixing every one of these towns. There's actually a shitload of them. Which is great. Which is exactly what you want. Okay, that's good. On to number two. Why are there so many of these? T numbers. Renaming all of these towns. Create 20 new problems? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it could also be no problems, right? Isn't that how code in live services works? Where you fix one thing and then it stays fixed? You know what I mean? Right? Yeah? And it doesn't ever generate any other problems ever for the history of time? You just, you fix it in a live service and then it stays fixed. You don't have to look at it or deal with it, right? This one is named V4, so I'm actually naming it V4, like, writing out the word. I'm cleverly changing these names, is how that's working. Yeah, cleverly. So that no problems will ever occur. What? Why would you name this? Happy Grain... It was Happy Grain 4567. Why would you... Why? Just name it. Just name it Happy Grain. There's no other town named that. You don't need to be XX Illidan underscore XX. It doesn't need to be that way. It's not like a million other towns with your same name. Oh god. Oh god. There's like 20 towns with the name 7. Okay, fixed. And the final check. Okay. This is the last one. Alright. I have removed all of the numbers from all of the town names. We will now restart the server. I've removed them all. Let's see what happens. The plugins are beginning to start. One of them has placed a butt in the logs. This is a good sign. It's a good sign. This means it's working. The log butt is with us, chat. Oh? Sequel is starting? Did I just say warning safe mode again? Why? Why? I did a check for the son of a bitch. I'm mad. We checked that number. We checked that number. Is that a nation? One moment. Okay, so, now we have a big problem, actually. Because we did the name check, I thought the name check, in this case, was just going to be for towns. It also appears to be checking character names. Because now it's saying resident list unknown error. 
Auratok 4 contains characters which aren't allowed. And now I have to go look up their documentation to find out why they would ever possibly give a shit about what a player's name is. Because that's defined by Mojang, not by the player themselves within the game. So why? Why would you do that? Why would anyone give a shit about this? That doesn't make any sense. Now we gotta go find out why. Alright. I love, I love it. It's the best. Why is this like this? Okay, so where do we have this problem? All of this should be correct. This is, in fact, the name check regex. Okay. Let me go find the county config default. This shouldn't be changed. Why is this like this? I love, I love when the internet has a tool that's been around for 11 years. It's my favorite part about it because then you try to look at something and it's like, oh, this Reddit thread was from nine years ago. And it's highly relevant. With fully up-to-date code. We're going to start doing these while I lose my Moons mind. with 500 bits said, I am the thorax, I speak for the trees. I am one big brain man, but look at these knees. You will never catch me upon the seven seas as I'm scared of the ocean pumpkin yacht, please. I live with a swell dude who has ducks and many a ferret and my game deving skills I tend to inherit. I'm very charitable and really transparent. My name is Thor Long Lemon, god damn it. <laughs> Long Lemon, god damn it. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. The absolute best. Let's do this. If we dump this to here. That should be the name check. There should be another one for this. There has to be another regex in here. There has to be. Oh dear god, there is not. There's no description for this. What does this do? This specific line is the biggest problem. 
because it doesn't have a description for this anywhere. The default config wiki doesn't actually describe this. I'm looking through like ancient shit that makes no sense. The hell is real. Literally, there's a Reddit thread on AdminCraft from 11 years ago to describe what it is that I'm working on right now. It's not about Regix 101. It's about what the hell this actual token does. So basically where we're at right now is there's a token named Namecheck Regex, which you would expect to be the town name, but it's not. So we have this really stupid kind of a thing where it doesn't actually make any sense. And the only thing I could find is a post on AdminCraft from literally, no, 12 years ago, from a deleted account 12 years ago, which is insane to me, like completely batshit insane, frankly, like. And the default config wiki is, it looks like this. So if we look at regex on this, this is named given to any NPC assigned mayor. Okay, and it's not even formatted correctly. It's like a mess. Used in validating inputs. Regex fields used in validating inputs. Well, what do you mean name filter regex? Is this the... Is this saying that there just isn't a filter? Is that what we're looking at right now? Yeah, but which inputs exactly? Like, is that the filter for a player name? Is that the filter for a town name? Because this one did both players and towns, which doesn't make any sense. What if we just... Just, that's fine. I mean, because we want to filter it to ones that it can actually check. Which would make sense. So. It's going to start the server up. It's fine. I have bad feelings about this. I mean, it's fine, right? Because, like, why would you want to have something that it can check, but doesn't have, like, why would you have these as two different things? I think it's the biggest thing. It, why... Why would you have this be two separate values? Why would you have a name check where it's checking the names from the database? There's no back. There's no need for a backup. We're not changing data, my dude. There's no data changing here. It's not a thing. This might be relevant. What is this? Option for disabling numbers in town and nation names. They already have that. This is what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's not a problem. That's not what we're dealing with. No. Name filter started with a single quote. It was encapsulated in quotes. We don't need that. You can do it if you want to. You'd be like, Bleh. we can encapsulate it in quotes if it is a list, but it's not. So we don't need it. It'll be fine. Everything will be just fine. I think. Nope. Townie died again. Why did it die this time? It's probably new. Wait, why did it die? Who's mad? Nation list unknown error. There's a person's name. There's a nation that is named entirely underscores. God damn it. I hate you. You know who you are. You son of a bitch. Why? Why would you name yourself this? Why are you so full of hate? Where are they? Why well, can't I even see them? Wait a minute. 
Maybe they don't even exist. Why is the town saying they exist? Hold up. Something's really wrong. Nation list unknown error. Underscore is entirely underscores. Nation name. We're going to stop the database. Stop the server. Yeah, it looks like it's. it thinks one of these is named entirely underscores. Which is really odd. Yeah, the proud nation of placeholder. I agree. Because that nation doesn't exist. We don't have a huge amount of nations. They're rare. Yeah, we definitely don't. So... Which nation is entirely underscores? That doesn't make any sense. Unless it's in a town that says it's in a nation that is named entirely an underscore. Which would not be true. That would definitely not be true. It might be an old data town with a nation that no longer exists that is in a debugged state. Nope. Don't even exist. There's not a single nation of underscore. So why is it matching on nation underscore and thinks it's actually just underscore? It's not a buffer overflow. What, do you even know what those words mean? You just throw them in. Buffer overflow! I know words! <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> you can't just shout words. That doesn't work that way. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's like two of you shouting that. Yeah, words! It's not a buffer overflow. No, stop it. This is even weirder. Yeah, nation list unknown error. Nation list. But at 12 townbox types, that's totally fine. When it goes to start the database, it's not able to get to this because it thinks that town name or that nation name is entirely underscores, which doesn't make any sense. Because there isn't one that's named that. Unless it's a town that's named that. Which would be even weirder because there isn't a town named that. So... What? Let me see. Where? Name. Like. Actually contains. You know, we could do like. There we go. Like, and then... Percent underscore percent, and then we just throw it out there. See what happens. Where is it at? Is it matching underscore against anything? I know, I know, I know, but that doesn't make any sense. I know, but that doesn't make any sense because to, to say that it's not allowed because the town name is all underscores, you're saying it can actually be correctly defined as all wild cards, which doesn't. Of course it's all wild cards. Why is that a problem? That doesn't make any sense. God damn it. No, we haven't done that yet, Jake. Yeah, this is really bad, Jake. This is... We should... We should fork... Or not fork this, but we should put in a, a poll request, dude. We should put in a poll request to fix this, because this is this is stupid. And yeah, I know it is. Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, classic. RoboPsycho, the gifted 20 subs. Thank you very much. Came from TikTok. Your vids are amazing. Thank you very much. Chronos, you're a buffer overflow. You're five wild cards, you know that? It's true. 
It's actually true. Yeah. Your mom told me. It's true. Yeah. I found out from that kid that's dating her from Xbox Live. Yeah. Yeah, all the things he said were true. Yeah. 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 Thuringwethel7 with 500 bits said, Wisest Goblin Lord, I want to get more people making music for the fun of it rather than the perfection of it, and engage their mm. musical brain by streaming interactive music theory basics with a focus on ear training, as I learn teach songs in various genres. I'd also stream the process of my Lord of the Rings music research, composition project. Any that advice awesome. for this recently liberated public middle school teacher? The Discord uh, has been super helpful, thanks. Bat Honestly, that sounds awesome as hell. That sounds really goddamn cool, frankly. Um, yeah, man. I, I think you should absolutely stream that, to be real with you. Yeah, rather than the perfection of it, engage in musical brain. By streaming interactive music theory basics with a focus on ear training. That sounds awesome as cool. Like, our awesome is cool? Awesome as shit. I think that's really neat. I don't know it. See, here's the thing. I know nothing about audio. And if you had a stream that was like that, that was teaching those types of things, I'd be super into it. Like, super into it. Wait, what do you mean this comic is about me? Yeah, no, that, that comic is me. I understand this. Who is this? Copying this address. Sending this to chat. Awesome is cool. Okay, so we have a problem here. And the problem is very interesting. It's really interesting. Hmm. The problem is this. Doing regex normally is fine. That's easy shit. The problem with this is we don't exactly know how their implementation works, and their implementation is kind of garbage. So, it's ended up being a problem. Yeah. Don't think of pink elephants and top hats. Don't think about the game. See how that gets used? See how that works? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can set this server up. Will it be angry? I think the really interesting part is that it's pissed about nothing now. Right? Please don't tell me you broke again. Okay, that's fine. That's a correct break. Hey, Jake. We're going to have a couple of bugs. Because we had to fix this, because I had to manually fix this, all those dudes are going to need to be added back to their towns. Those towns are no longer named that. Yeah, it's a it's not a huge amount of work. Remember all the names that I set for these, so it's fine.
It looks like the server is actually set it up correctly now. Holy shit, thank you for those 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think this is- I think this is fixed now. Okay, it's fixed, but we have to fix some people's towns real fast. Yeah. What's his name? There we go. So I can actually do it like this. We can do Towny Admin and then the town itself. Shit. We'll have to set the town mayor. Mayor. B for RTI. Slash confirm. All right, there we go. So now I've been able to set the town, set the mayor, and then we're good to go. So we're going to have to do this for each one of these. I'll put the commands in for you. It'll have to be something like this. For each one of these. And then probably this one like that. I've gotten the first one handled already. So we'll just do that. I think that'll work just fine for that kind of a thing. Basically what we're going to do is we have to re-add all those people to the towns. To the towns that we had to change the names from. But it looks like all these towns were, like, individual towns. Most of the structure of these are the same. There's a couple of towns that aren't like that. So, like, 420-69 is actually a weed number. But the rest of these are, like, like here. Town F. No, Towny Admin Town F. I named it to, like, F9, right? So, F9 equals F9. I'm going to go back up through these. The underscore area was the underscore area. The interesting part is the town block jail deletion. I don't know what we can do with that. I don't know what went wrong there. Zero B is gone. B. Number. Num stinky. I think zero B was the stinky bottom. Stinky bottom. Yes. We're slowly fixing it. We're slowly fixing it, chat. Slowly but surely. We're 2069. F9. This one is going to be town equals town underscore without numbers. See, I didn't expect it to explode like this, which is the best. T42, T numbers. I should have just replaced them all exactly the same way for everybody, but I didn't. Null. Null zero. It was null number. Happy grain. Happy. Happy grin. Numbers.
Well, that can't be good. The area. Got a couple more, and then we're good to go. Let's do DMG. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure Zero DMG was the stinky name one. I'm pretty sure it was. V4. Okay, there we go. Slowly but surely, chat. And... Barty equals... Barty. Alright, I got him. I got them all. There you go, Jake. There's a list. And now... I will leave it. I will leave it alone. We'll leave it alone and I'll act like it didn't exist. And if you need anything, let me know. You work on it? Nice. It shouldn't be too bad. It's only like, I don't know, 10 towns or something like that. Alright, now we can actually do the TTS chat. Crisis of Cypher FTW with 500 bits said thank you for reminding me about ban evasion being a thing. Greater than, greater than to appease my lord Heimdall, I shall feed the mods and expand the cult. Related yes. to the other day, how does your everyday person avoid leaking OSINT data? Like, don't. I consider myself relatively careful. I don't yeah. share where I am, I don't post pictures, I don't do a lot of things. But, back a while ago when I was looking to move and was talking to my mother about it, phone in pocket, locked, no other electronics around, part one half. Thuringworthel7 with 500 bits said do you wear wigs? Have you worn wigs? Will you wear wigs? When will you wear wigs? Bat. <laughs> Bat. <laughs> Cypher FTW with 500 bits said I started getting apartment finder ads less than an hour later. Sure. That's creepy man. I understand nothing I do will be perfect. Google will always know where I am for instance. But I can't have a private convo with my mother without someone listening in. Hell, that could be one of 50 apps I use daily doing the listening to and I have no way to know. There's something seriously wrong there and I have no idea how to fix it. Game Wreck, EDF5 Anime Army vs Giant Insects and Robots, Two Halves. So, so you have to understand something. Part of that, yeah, part of it might be something listening on you. However, part of it may also be the issue that you were talking about it and now you notice it more. We are constantly inundated with ads for everything. But when we talk about a subject and then we go online, we largely notice the thing we were just talking about. This happens quite a lot. Yeah, ends up being confirmation bias. So it's it's hard to discern which one is happening there. It is really hard to discern which one is happening there unless you know exactly what it is that's tracking you. Because you can actually go out to the middle of a field and be like, I'm talking about Pokemon. And then you can go back to your computer and be like, wow, all these ads for Pokemon. The government's listening into that field, right? But like you didn't even have a phone on you or anything. This stuff happens all the time. It's so they do both happen, but in what capacity is unknown is the problem, which is sort of the scary part, right? Yeah. That being said, your phone largely does know a lot of shit about you. We actually use have, who here has never heard of a geofence? Who doesn't know what that is? Cypher for the win. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Yeah, who doesn't know what a geofence is? Who's never heard of this? No idea? Let me show you something cool. We actually caught some criminals here in Washington State because of geofencing. Let me see. Uh, geofence, Washington, what were they? Substations. We had a, a couple of big pieces of shit this last winter. Leave the page. I don't care. Let me see. Yeah, we actually caught, um, I think it was in 2013, in December, in the height of our, our winter. One moment. And this. Also, thank you for the $69 to the moderators. You complete badass. Jesus. It was incredibly nice of you. There we go. What we had, that is that is a lot of money, dude. Seriously, thank you. Cypher for the win. Thank you very much. $69 to the mods. Yeah, nice. Nice to the mods. Flood the mod basement? I need to. But I can't yet. We have to move them to the new mod basement. It's going to be difficult. We'll put them into a box. And then ship, shove them over there. And then release them into the new basement. So basically, these guys went around. And they destroyed substations in Washington State. 
their intention was to shoot these these structures up to stop power the power grid from working here in Washington in the middle of winter. It's a terrorist attack. It's domestic terrorism. That's what that is. There's no there's no way around that. That is domestic terrorism, plain and simple. Yeah, dipshits. Now, the way that they got caught was a really interesting thing. It's using what is called a geofence. A geofence is used like this. Cell phone towers in different locations will connect to wherever your phone is. Because the cell phone towers know approximately how far away you are from each other, from that specific cell phone tower with enough data that can triangulate your position. Now, all of this is logged. A geofence is when the police get the permission to look through those logs for a certain date and exact time on that date for a specific area. That geofence was the area around these substations. The morons took their phones with them. So because of this, the police were able to find out which people were tied to which phones at what time of day at the exact time that the substation was shot up. Their phones weren't even connected to anything. They weren't making calls, but they had them on them. And the geofence allowed the police to find these people and arrest them. Yeah. So geofencing is really powerful shit. Now, in situations like this, it can be used for good. But also, this scares a lot of people because now your location is tracked. A little bit spooky, right? So this is this is kind of the two sides of that coin. It's like in one case, we caught some domestic terrorists that were blowing up substations with guns. In another case, I really don't want McDonald's to know where I'm standing right now, right? So it's a little that's what a geofence is. It's really interesting. It's actually super interesting technology, and it's it's used for a lot of it's used for catching people to do bad shit quite a lot. It's a criminal thing. Catches criminals. But there's two sides to that conversation, right? Don't bring a phone if you are up to bad things. Gotcha. Well, to be real with you, everything that you're doing is being tracked. Your phone is being tracked. There's tons of cameras out there that are tracking that. Your car likely has devices in it that also can connect to geofencing data. There's there's a lot of different methods of tracking a person if you're law enforcement. And it really comes down to this. You have to know all of them and you have to fully evade anything if you want to do something illegal. And if you do something high profile illegal enough and you don't know one of those things, you go to federal prison. You have to be perfect every time. They just have to catch you once. You're at a disadvantage. So to be real with you, it's 100% not worth it in today's age. It isn't. The only way that people get away with this stuff most of the time now is if they're in a country they won't extradite back to the United States or in the country that they are doing the crime in. That's about it, frankly. So like, yeah, there's a lot of technology out there and most people don't know it. Geofencing is one of them, and it's really goddamn effective, frankly. Insanely so. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yay, prison. Go to prison. Exactly. I'm glad they got caught, too. Because they, they actually they shot up three different substations all within December in one of the coldest winters that we had, which was last year. And it was scary, actually. Because if you lose power in the middle of that, and it's because the substation was damaged, it could take them a week or more to get it back up, and people could die. Like, it's... Why, though? Idiots. They wanted to attack the infrastructure. You'd be amazed at how common that shit is. People are nuts, dude. Like, completely nuts. We're gonna wait for the... Wait for the ads. Yeah, they got pictures of them and everything, man. They revealed the motives back in January 4th, 2023. I guess it was 2022 that this happened. It was two years ago. And it was four substations. They wore, like, rags over their face and shit, too. Wild to me, frankly. <laughs> Why girl unfollow? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, why girl? I'm a dude with long hair, dude. Get your eyes checked and your ears too. Funny as shit. Hell divers today? Yeah, later today. Doctor girl, a little bit of doctor girlfriend. Dude, doctor girlfriend's the best. Fantastic. 
Never around for Helldivers. They usually do it in the last, like, six hours of the stream, frankly. I like how Jake is just like, mmm. Made costume win. Dude, I couldn't pull it off. If you want a made, if you want premium made costume content, go watch Sea Dog. Go watch Connor. Because I'm going to be real with you. That man can wear a made costume. All right. I've seen it. Many of us have seen it. See, they're cloning ferrets. Really? Black-footed ferrets. Yeah. They're really trying to save that endangered species, and it's it's rough, dude. Yeah, it's really rough. Yeah, it's it's really really rough. The black-footed ferrets are just they're just not taking well, man. It sucks. Do you also give relationship advice? Sometimes people ask me stuff. Sometimes they Commissar answer. underscore Zoe with five hundred bits said hi Thor. Since Hello. you liked Coral Island, I thought I should give this to you. It's a link to the last dev blog that has their 2024 roadmap HTTPS colon slash slash Let's check it out. Uh, this page is so bright. Okay, let's see here. Since 1.0 launch, monitoring all the feedback from our community. Nice. Dude. <laughs> Wait a minute. Update 1.3. Children grow up. You just... Did they just stay children forever? Is that... I know the server's whitelisted. I'm well aware. Jake is working on it right now. Jake's working on a thing currently. It is done? All right. Let's see if it... Oh, did you set them as mayors and all that shit too? In the towns that didn't have a mayor, Jake? Because I don't know if all of those people were mayors. They may have been. Okay, cool. Thank you, dude. Whitelist... Off. Why won't you let me send it? God damn it. Okay, it sent it. All right, they're all logging in now. I think it's exploding too. Something's breaking. It's mad about something. Player change plot event to townie. Cannot invoke because the return value of get town or null is null. <sighs> White. List on. It's a new error. Pick all. Restart. Anyway. Wow. This is awesome, actually. You know, I, I've thought for a while that maybe our next game that we want to do because we have so many other things in pre-production like maybe I want to build a creative game like a Terraria like or Minecraft like or something like that something where we can just let people build things you know what I mean oh so that one's mine mods get owned yoink why did that pin message just change that is not correct. Huh. Odd. Odd. I guess it's not been. Twitch is doing some weird shit today. No, for some reason, my Twitch chat on OBS just changed its pin message. And it's not actually changed. Twitch has been having some weird problems in the embedded version of the client today, and I don't really know why it's doing that. It's incredibly odd. I just refreshed it, it's fine now. It's just super weird. Yeah, Twitch is buggy today, man. No, it's not hacked. Had the same issue yesterday. It's very odd, yeah. But this is cool, man. This is actually really awesome. Although, I am a little concerned in one thing. They went from 664,759 words to 717.879. That's a pretty big reduction. You know, it's a, <laughs> it's a very large reduction in words there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. A little concerning. Little concerning, that little dot there. 99% reduction in words. Yeah, exactly. 
How do you get 0.879 of a word? I have a question about that. 10 rank S is kind of cool. Neat. The ultimate farmer. I love this stuff, man. And this game looks really sweet, too. I really dig this. What if we made a game like Coral Island, but it was a ferret rescue game? I'm telling you, I really want to make a ferret rescue video game. I really want to. I want to make a phone. I want to make an incremental phone ferret rescue game. Like bad. Like real bad. It would be so much fun. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, you wouldn't have to buy it. It'd be free. Free to play with the idea. Yeah, the proceeds would go to the ferret rescue. I think it'd be a really interesting way to do it. Because what we can do with it is, is I don't like full screen ads. I think full screen ads are annoying as shit. If you throw a full screen ad at me randomly when I'm playing a phone game, I just uninstall your game. If you do a banner ad along the bottom and there's a menu anywhere near it, I just uninstall your game because I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to accidentally hit the ad so you get an impr like a click through, which is more money than an impression. But what I do like is like a little fairy or something that flies around the screen and then you click on it and it goes, hey, do you want to watch an ad? I'll give you 500 gold if you do. So if we set up some kind of an incremental system and then do it where like a ferret runs across, it's like a golden ferret and runs across the screen. I think that would work really, really well because like if people know that this goes to the rescue, because that's the whole point of it, and we give them a reward in game for doing this, not only is there an incentive because it's for a good thing, but also there's an incentive because it gives the player something, and it gives them the choice, which is the important part there. And I really like this kind of a model. I learned it from Egg Inc. Egg Inc. is a really good example of this model. They have little drones that fly over the screen, and then you can click on those, and sometimes they just give you rewards, and sometimes they give you a reward for an ad, if you want to watch the ad, which is kind of cool. I dig that a lot, actually. Egg Inc. is a really good example of this. Another good example of this is actually Tap Titans 2. They do a really good job of that, although Tap Titans 2 has kind of moved into the direction where you have to watch ads to be competitive, which is a little bit weird. Yeah. Stop giving bad game dev ideas, Dave's ideas. No, this isn't a bad idea. I, I like this much more, and the reason why is because it includes the player in the conversation. Developers need to monetize in some way. They have to. There needs to be a monetization method for them to exist. And when you include the player in the conversation for that, of like, would you like to do this? And they say, no, I wouldn't right now. That's fine. But to be real with you, most of the people, when they get the chance, you know what they do? They say, yes, I would, and they put their phone down and they continue pooping. And that's, you know that's how that works. You don't watch the ad. You shit in silence while it plays off on the side. You know you do. You know you do. That's true. You know. I know. We both know this. Yeah. So, like, to be real with you, I think there's a good way to do this where, like, the advertisement is playing. The user cho chose to do it. The user gets a reward, and it benefits a good cause. But I, I guess the basic thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to turn ads into something that doesn't suck ass. Because they're not going away. And it, I could sit there and I could old man yells at Cloud and be like, ads are shit, but you're fighting against the ads. Or we're going to be like, you know what, let's use these for something that doesn't suck. Because the whole goddamn internet runs on them, right? Let's use them for something that's actually useful. You know, it's a, I, I think that's what I'm trying to do at this point is just turn ads into some. I mean, that's the Ferret Rescue has already done this with with the Twitch, you know, stream because that's all run off of ad revenue. So, like, we've we've already managed to convert them into something that isn't shit. And I kind of want to keep doing that because I think it's useful. I think it's a useful way of doing this is turn it into something that's beneficial instead of something that we just hate. You know, like that's it's not going away. Can ads be like billboards in the main area? Like at a city game, you'd want them to be more like something that the player chooses because advertisers, the way that they work with this is they actually show like a full screen ad, if that makes sense. And that like they they determine the visuals for that. It's always like a full screen video. There's no way around it. Yeah. Bring back the old Quiznos ads. Which ones, dude? 
Turned it into an interdimensional cable? Actually, like, you, you know how we pause for ads? Ketuth oh, with 500 sec. bits said, Hey, Athor, I have a question right. to my first game I finally uploaded on itch.io. The problem is that some could think the game is malware because I haven't signed it yet with a certificate and they get a yep. warning. I already wrote a little text on the page to assure players, but I doubt that will build up much trust either. Yep. What is the best way to approach this? Put it on if Steam. you want to check it out, it's called Keep M Up. But please yep. don't expect much of it. I still have very much planned. Yard Cheer thing, 500. The best thing you can possibly do is put it up on Steam. The reason why is because Steam, when you have the little Steam inclusion into it, it is code signed through, through that. So you're good to go. And you won't have a problem with that. Um, Steam does a bunch of checks on it as well to make sure that you're not releasing malware to people. I don't know if those are... I don't, I don't know how many times it's ever gotten through in the past. I, I, I would bet that it has. But it is, it is all signed through Steam stuff. So do keep that in mind. What are those mobile game ads that play dumb on purpose? Oh, dude, no. You, you know what? I I hate rage bait ads. Rage bait ads are probably the worst kind of ad because the two things that go on here, I wish I wish there was I guess more strength behind the idea of false advertising being illegal. Because what you get is you get these ads where they're like, look at this little mini game. This mini game is totally part of our game. And then they, they play the mini game and the mini game is not what the game is, number one. And number two, it's a person playing the game in the shittiest possible way. So that you're like, why would you do that? And now I have to play it to show that that's not what... And then you're, you're screwed. You've been trapped. You've been trapped by the dog shit ad that not only isn't the video game that it says that it is, but also they have tricked you into playing it out of rage. I don't like these at all, and they're highly effective. They're incredibly, incredibly effective. Yeah, which sucks. Like, they shouldn't be as effective as they are, but they are very effective. And I'm really surprised that false advertising hasn't, like, come down on this like a, like a mountain, frankly, because none of the mini games that are portrayed in these are actually in the game. Like, none of them are. If you go and play that game, it'll be complete. It's like using the same characters and art assets, but it's a completely different game than what is portrayed in those ads, which is, it's got to be a false advertising fail at that point. Like, it has to be. So, it's so weird. Kept reporting those ads for months, and they kept showing up for months. I know, they don't go away. Because there's so damn many of them. It's the standard. Oh, what's wrong, Jake? Wait, what? Wait, what? The whitelist is still on. Hold up. Jake, how did this die? How is that even possible? Nothing changed for that. Oh, it's because it's not even connected, dude. Whitelist is on, isn't it? No thanks, don't ask again. Jesus Christ. No, Townie is disabled, man. Ah, damn it. Your add-on asks for the resource back every time, still. Plugins. Be spawn. What, where are you seeing this problem? Whitelist on. Why is the whitelist not on? Son of a bitch. Can you make sure that the whitelist actually turns on? What the shit? <sighs> Are you freaking kidding me? What do you mean it's not registered to a town? Yeah, dude, if, if this kind of a thing is happening, please God, turn on the whitelist. No, I didn't turn it off. No. 
down. How is this even possible? This dissociated every single town block from every single goddamn town? What the living shit? How? How the hell is that even possible? Every town is in here with all of the town blocks available. Every single one of the town blocks is already listed in the database still. This doesn't make any sense. No, this is still in the database. What the living shit is going on here? Every single one of my town blocks is still in the database, dude. This doesn't make any sense. And it thinks that there is no town block here. What, dude? It thinks that there's no town. Oh, we're going to have to revert townie. Some shit is wrong with their new update. It's like complete dog water. That's, that's insane to watch. I've never seen anything like this. Did they just not test this shit before putting it out? Like, what the hell is this? Okay. Yeah, we're going to stop the server. Cool. That's wild to me, dude. What the living shit. That's absolutely insane to watch. We're reverting versions. I'm just going to go back because that doesn't make any sense at all. How did they break this? It's not even a major version update. It's a minor. What the living shit did they do? Okay, I need the actual releases. I don't want the sub-releases, thanks. No, the real releases. Thank you. <laughs> Manually type it in, then. Yeah, I don't understand how they could have done this, but whatever, man. We're gonna... We're reverting. This is crazy to watch. And before this doesn't even fix it. That'd be even funnier. Okay, server starting back up. I have no idea how this is even possible, because all of those plots are still connected. Which is even weirder. Like, I'm looking at... Town blocks, and town blocks are in here correctly. Which doesn't make any sense. Like, all of our Tortuga town blocks are there. Like, in the database, so it just wasn't reading them. Which is just kind of crazy to me, frankly. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense at all, frankly. Stop trying to spam into the server, I'll ban you. You know it's down. You know it's broken. Yeah, it's their new version is ass. 
That's crazy, dude. Their new official version, stable version, is broken. What the living shit, man. That's completely insane to me. That's their official stable version. Did they change something in the syntax for the data? They'd have to, man. They'd absolutely have to. They would absolutely have to, because that's a f that's a full, stable version. How old is it? Let me see how long they've had this out. Three weeks. It's been out for three weeks. It's literally from point... It's a zero... 0 0.100.1.0 to 0 0.100.1 or 0 0.2.0 so it's like a minor version and it destroys everything chat smells true actually 100% true is that a tiny poop emoji what is that is that a lurk emoji what is that I don't even know what that is chat does smell though it's kind of like a poop emoji, but it looks like a... Oh, it's a lurk. There it is. It's a lurk. Look at him. Yeah, we put our emotes on the server. They're part of a server-side resource pack. All right, man. Looks like we're going to go. I turned the whitelist off. Um, I guess town is shit now. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. That is distressing at best. County, HUD, or map, HUD map, county, why is this not working? Can we get the actual thing? Oh, is it mad because people are logging in? There we go. Yeah, now the HUD is actually working over the right side. You can see, like, the map at any time, so you can see what that looks like. None of this was showing up. Like, the data was just missing. It hadn't read any of the town blocks, which is like... What? How is that even possible? That's crazy shit, dude. Issue seems to be similar to what you experienced. Newest pre-release reset to town claims upon restart. Throwing our backup on the server, fix the issues, and the claims are fine. Looks like they've got an update for this. Yeah, two weeks ago they've got an update. So Subversion is actually fixing this. They should release that as a patch, dude. The fact that that's happening like that on a f like an actual full release and they've got a Subversion to fix it. Yeah, that's really bad. That's really, really bad, man. That should... It looks like they've got it in this release right here. Which broke... The R new residence prompt, that was not it. Fix regression dating back to 100.1.8, which cause has world causing SQL DBs to not load worlds with capital letters town blocks. That's the problem here. That's actually the bug. This should be like a full release, because this is gonna happen to other people and they're not gonna know what's going on, especially if they're not technically savvy. Like that should that should be like an emergency release. For a, a thing that should not be like a minor version. Maybe we'll do it later. That's not great. That's yeah. <laughs> exactly what just happened to us. So we'd have to use the pre-release version instead of a full release version. The full release version has that bug in it. That's bad as shit, dude. That's really bad shit, frankly. Oh, we already reverted. It's fine. But at least we know what caused it now. 
Yeah, we fixed it. We're good. We shouldn't have any more problems. At least, not that kind of problem. You can't turn on white Lucy and do perms for that? Oh. Let me handle that. I'll handle that today, Jake. Creator of Thanos has no money and can't support his wife and kids? What do you... What? Town is like a community-built resource with a primary developer. But that is definitely bad. Yeah, it's being fixed in the next stable version. What I'm what I'm saying, like, so Evo actually just sent it to me too. It, uh, a a bug of that magnitude, especially for a non-technically savvy person, that should not be waiting for the next stable version is what I mean. That's a pretty serious issue. Like, really serious. When it's released in a stable version like that, that's going to impact a lot of servers and they're not going to know what to do. They're just going to revert like we just did. Because that's insane. Yeah. That's a showstopper bug. Yes, it is. That is 100% a showstopper bug. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, no, we already know about it, Eva. Only thing we can do at that point is by um, doing our own pull request to teach them not to be dumb. That one's bad. Yeah. Yep. Oh, damn. Yeah, but store in your right, dude. Holy shit. Bunch of tornadoes hit a bunch of areas in the U.S. the last couple days, and it's deeply spooky to me. I live in areas where there's mountains, so we don't get those. But in the middle of the United States, it's like flat, and tornadoes. It's horrifying. Freaks me out. Not a fan. Yeah, whether he's been insane as of late? Yep. Alucard yeah, with $5 said COD Pro League is removing the entrance fees and will be reimbursing teams the full amount that they paid. Okay. Cool. What's the reasoning for that, though? Yeah, what is this? Yeah. Okay. So the things you guys were talking about was this readme in here saying the developers actually, like, it costs money to do this stuff. We're going to wait for the ads, actually. Let's wait for the ads. Sponsored by Starforge now? Yeah, we did a whole announcement about it, dude. We have been. Let me show you. What's the name of the soundtrack? This one is 10 Below. We didn't end up needing Unicode filtering. There's some other shit that's in there now, though. Can you look at that post? Yeah, man. Here. Oh, 
No idea ads work like that? Yeah, I just pause for ads. There we go. Yeah, no. So for somebody who asked that, um, that we're now, you know, sponsored by Starforge, yes, one hundred percent. So they they sent us actually two PCs. One of them is going to be my streaming PC. The other one is going to be the streaming PC for the ferrets. It's actually going to be the core of the rescue. So as we add new cameras and new rooms and everything like that, that machine is going to be future proof, basically to run the whole damn thing. It's brilliant, frankly. It's really good shit. And on top of that, all of the money that's coming from this sponsorship because they are paying me, just like any other sponsorship. All of that is being earmarked for us to build the rescue that we want to build. So they're super into it. They actually think it's really cool. They've they've commented on it here. We're super into it because we think it's really cool. And on top of this, the machines are really good. I'm I'm actually pretty impressed with that. This no, this is this is me describing what the sponsor is. This is they didn't pay me to do this, right? This is me describing that whole thing. But no, the relationship there is a sponsored relationship, one hundred percent, and this is the benefit from it. I'm always going to be super, you know, transparent with you guys of what we're doing and why we're doing it. I don't like the idea of of just taking a sponsorship to pile up money like a dragon. I'd rather take that sponsorship to do something cool with it, especially if it's a product that doesn't suck ass. So that's kind of how I feel about this. And they've they've done a really good job. I've been able to sit down with the machines and play around with them. There's been no bloat on that, which is cool. The packaging was really good, and they're quiet as hell. I've never used the machine that has liquid cooling before. I've always take, like stayed away from that a lot of the times because they've just been kind of unstable or a little bit you know, weird or it's dangerous, anything like that, and they've done it really good, right? And I, I've been impressed with it, frankly. Are you aware of their quality control issues? I believe that they had more quality control issues in the past. The, what I have seen from the build that they've sent me is that it's really mint. And that is not like normal for me. Usually when I see kind of like um, kind of like prepackaged or mass produced machines like that, it's always a problem. It's always like there's there's like weird things that don't make any sense. And I think they've learned a lot from all the people who have reviewed them and just like fix shit, which is cool. Yeah, probably probably increased the the quality. Like, I'll give you a good example. One of the biggest losses for shipping companies, like for companies that are selling machines, is damage in transit. When I got this thing, they had all this like pack foam shit that like fills up, like swells up when they throw it in there. It's like a heat foam thing. The whole thing was like that. That was really good. And then also the box had this thick of like extra foam around it. And to be real with you. The packing or the shipping company kind of ate shit. They they damaged it all over the place. Nothing inside was touched. All of it was totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Linus review got them to tighten it up. I I think so. I really think so. Yeah, it was. I think it was UPS. I think it was. But they damaged the outside of the box, and one of them was like a gouge going into it. And I was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> it's like maybe this is gonna be broken, but no, it was fine. Everything was fine because they they did a really good job, like actually packing it so that it didn't break. You know. Yeah, which is cool, man. Finding shipping where the inside product isn't touched. Yeah. And it, I, I've heard they have good support. Yeah. Some people are like, well, they cost, you know, anytime you get like a, a pre-built, pre-builds are always going to cost you more. Always. If you want to build your own, so like a homebrew is always going to cost less than a pre-built. But what you get in the pre-built is you get support. You get support and warranty on shit. It's really what it comes down to. If you build it yourself, it'll be cheaper. It's always going to be cheaper. But if something breaks, you got to figure out what it is. With the pre-built stuff, you get support. So usually the way that I see it is you're playing, you're paying a premium for support, and you might want to do that. And it makes sense. Yeah. Just add Asmund Gold on Twitter for support. I don't think that's how that works. I don't think it is. Yeah. It's funny having to learn that stuff too. It is. It is. For some people it is. But like to be real with you, not everybody is super technically savvy. Not everybody wants to sit down and play Legos with $1,000 parts, right? Like... That's just kind of how it is, right? So and it makes sense. And I, I think that's important. I think they have a two-year warranty on them too, which is kind of sick. Can you use the support after 10 years? I don't know, dude. I have no clue. Two builds later, I went with the pre-built. Makes sense. Maybe see the specs? Sure. Yeah, so this is actually the machine that they sent me. They sent me their top-of-the-line ones, like the highest top-of-the-line ones. And it's really, look at it. It's all glowy and shit. And we'll pull this up here. Yeah, they do, they do sponsor the stream. They gave me... 
the Voyager 2 Elites, which are just nuts, dude. Yeah, they're 4090s. It's crazy, honestly. There you go. I think the cool part is, like, it's got, if I can show this, it's got a little panel in the back. And you can switch that out. It's got all this LED stuff to make it, like, look good, which is cool. And I want to get, I want to get, like, a ferret one, which would be neat. Neat. Yeah, no, that one is incredibly expensive. When you say six grand, what currency? Because it's not that much for me. Yeah. This is like, dude, I'm going to be real with you. That's a 14,900K in a 4090. Of course it's $4,500. Like, are you kidding me? That's like the highest, that's a higher end machine than what I am using currently. No, it's not six grand USD. What the hell? It's 4,500 USD. What are you talking about? Where do you live? What USD are you using? What? It's not what six grand means. We're just adding another 1500 to it? Local sales tax isn't even going to do that. In the United States, we have like one of the highest sales taxes, 10.3%. There's no way you're getting another $1,500 on that shit. It's not six grand. He misread it? <laughs> How do you misread that? It says 4599, nine, and he misreads it to 6000? No. 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 Like, what? No, the thing is a beast. And that's what they sent to us. So, like, to be real with you, they sent me one of those for my machine, and they sent me one of those for the ferret machine, and I think it's phenomenal, frankly. And, um, yeah, I'm just digging it, dude. And to be real with you, it's it's hard to find good pre-builds for stuff, and it's hard to find, like, good support stuff for that. And one of the things that I'm talking to them about right now is when the moderators get brought on, I need to get them new machines because a number of our moderators are running on machines that are over 10 years old. So... My anticipation right now, my plan is to buy some of the other machines for the moderators when they come on because we can't have a mod that's like on a 15-year-old machine that's like a potato. I think I think little Ham's machine is like from the 90s. Which <laughs> is like, holy shit, dude. Like, I think it was the meme. It's like, it's, it's actually, it's older than some of you. Yeah. Yeah. Ancient machine. Yeah, some scary shit. Ham uses integrated graphics on desktop. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. It's like a $25 machine, right? In today's numbers. Ham doesn't even have a GPU. Yeah. Freaks me out. Completely insane to me. How's it still running? I don't know. With gumption, dude. You know? But that's the kind of shit that I'm looking at. Because if, if the machines are quality enough where I'm like wanting to do this, and that's not to understand me going and wanting to buy those other machines from them for our business to run that for the moderators... That is not part of the sponsorship. I am doing that because I think after doing the sponsorship with them that those machines are actually quite good. So if that tells you things, then I, I hope so because I think this is actually quite cool. Yeah, which is not what I expected. I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah cool machines, whatever you're selling them. But no, these are actually not shit. So a bit hard, hard to believe, but no, I'd have to disclose it. So to be real with you, under FCC standards, if it was a sponsored thing, I would have to disclose that to you. They don't pay me to say that. They don't. Nope. For me to want to get that for the rest of our team, I'm going to be paying them. Which is the joke now, because they're paying me money for the machines. And then I'm paying them money back for the machines. And thus starts the Ouroboros. The sponsorship Ouroboros. Where I make nothing and then our mods get machines. <laughs> that being said, it's not going to take all of the sponsorship money to do that. We're going to do that, though, because I think it's important to do this. And then after that, all of that money is going to go towards the ferret rescue. So we can siphon all of that off to make sure that that goes into building that building. So that's the primary goal for that. And I think it's really important for this. Yeah. I'm paying them their own money back. That is true. A little bit of that, which is quite funny. But no, to be real with you, the, the sponsorship has to do with certain posts and messages that we'll have up. We'll have like the pinned comments and things like that. And then also whenever they release a new product, I might put out a, a short things like this, normal stuff, right? Normal sponsorship stuff. But outside of that sponsorship thing, I actually don't think these machines suck, which my personal take is that I am impressed with the way that they handled this. And that's kind of rare in the machine world. That is kind of rare. Yeah. Usually I'll find like kind of pre built and it's, it's usually kind of shit, right? Donation link for the ferret rescue. There isn't one. Just watch the stream, the ferret software stream. Yep. Is that considered a taxable benefit for the mods in the U.S.? 
It should, yes. It is likely so. I'll ask the tax man. He handles all that shit. I don't know Cool way to promote their computers? Yes. I mean, to be real with you, sponsorship stuff. Normal stuff. Also, so this was the thing that we were talking about. Somebody was saying that they can't feed their family. So this guy's been working in townie since 2011, so it's been 13 years. In charge of the project since 2014, so it's been 10 years there. Put in more than 12 years of service to open source project that you use. I have not run a Minecraft server or played Minecraft in over 4.5 years. Some of you may know this, some of you may not. Since my last source of income ceased, resulting in not getting paid many thousands of dollars that are owed to me, which I expected and budgeted for, because of the nature of the company's failures, I am unlikely to ever see this money. Up until that point, my normal job fully subsidized the time I put into Coding Townie and its many add-on plugins. You all have enjoyed my works because I was able to feed and house my family via my regular work. I make myself available regularly in Discord. 99% of Townie's server admins are not sponsoring the work that I put into Townie. So basically, he can't make a living making Townie. And largely that is because most Minecraft open source shit, no one pays for. It's usually children running this stuff. It is, it is usually people that just don't give a shit, right? I actually didn't even know that he had a donation system for this. I had no clue. Somehow, a normal thing for open source developers who put in paywalls in front of downloads or in front of support, we get nasty comments about being greedy. Yeah, it's pretty normal. It's shit. It's wrong, but it is normal. You expect to receive negative reviews for not providing instant support. How dare an open source developer try to monetize what everyone gets to take for granted? Here's a look at the worst case scenario for open source developers. So that's going to be a, a negative thing for something else, it looks like. There are days where you enjoy every minute what I do. Townie is a 4.8 out of 5 rating. Then there are days where I do not enjoy every minute of it, but you'll be hard-pressed to find days that I have not answered every question asked in the Discord. This dude is pouring his everything into this. And it's true. He has been. 100%. Goosey has decided to stop working on this fork of Townie and it's Siege War, Siege War built into it. It's been a little more than a year doing intense active development, constantly getting feedback from server admins and players, constantly tweaking things, and then he vanished. Burnt out from everything. He logged out of his Siege War Discord, and that was seemingly it. When I joined the Siege War Discord in late 2020, I was surprised at how many people were clamoring for Siege War. We actually use Siege War. We need to throw money at anyone that would continue coding Siege War. The developer left, and all of a sudden, people were willing to pay. Is that what it'll take with Townie? I have no... I have to outright quit in order for server owners to realize how much they rely on Townie. Yeah, no, that makes sense. This is kind of how this works. I think what would be nice for this, honestly, and this is generally the direction that these things go, is a premium version of Townie. And I know this is kind of a weird thing that they haven't done, right? It's a weird thing that they haven't done, which is a paid-for version of Townie and a free version of Townie. A lot of mod developers do this specifically so they don't have this problem. And that's kind of what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it runs the risk of a fork and someone else able to monetize the original author's work. Yes. And then legal shit gets involved and all the other things that go along with this. Yeah. License says no, no mods, so you can't fork it. Legally, you can't. So what you would have to do is you'd have to do a pull request for it. It's it is impossible to run open source software in this way, I think, specifically with the Minecraft community, because it is largely young people. If it was older developers, if you have something like Godot, it is definitely possible. With Minecraft, probably not. Because you have a lot of young people that want to run all their, their Minecraft servers, and they don't pay for things because, frankly, they don't have money. Is this technically against Minecraft's TOS? No. What the hell about this would be against Minecraft's TOS? What's the matter with you? Yeah, so to be real with you, I I think this is pretty this is pretty shit. It's sad to see because Townie is a really big part of this. Why are you sending me this, Taffy? I don't want to see XKCD. What is this? Yeah, no, this okay, this is true. Yeah. All modern digital infrastructure, a project some random person in Nebraska has been thanklessly maintaining since 2003. That's that's exactly what it is. And it, it's sad, man, because like it doesn't. It needs to not be this. No idea how you got here, and glad you found you. Well, then, what's up, dude? So, I, I think the the biggest thing with this is to avoid this kind of a thing. I'm surprised they haven't gone with a a premium plugin, or to be real with you, make the Siege War one a premium plugin. Siege War has problems. It does. 
And you can't have one person, just this guy, maintaining all of this shit. This is a massive, massive project. Like, I'll give you an example. Jake maintains a whole bunch of stuff in block game. Jake is, is paid. He's right. TOS says you can't profit from mods. Go look at the spigot sales. You kidding me? It's not mods. These are server-side plugins. Server-side plugins are monetized all the time. There's a massive market for this. Millions of dollars goes through that. Mojang hasn't done shit about that. It's not mods. Not modifications to the client. Server-side plugins. Custom Java code. Yeah, it's a totally different thing. Plugins and mods are different. So this is plugin development. Plugin development, they can absolutely do this. It's not mod development. You're not modifying the client. Very different. So to be real with you, I'm surprised that they haven't gone with the solution of having a premium side mod and a, and a, and a free side mod. Because to be real with you, I'd pay for it. I'd pay for it right now. They had a premium mod, I'd buy that shit. Easy. 100% easy. Like, there'd be no reason not to, frankly. Especially with things like Siege War. Especially things like, you know, Towny Resources and Towny, like, Towny itself. And, like, I don't see why others wouldn't either. Especially for something that's so integral. What does the plugin do? It allows us to do all of our town and nation system shit. Like, it really does. And, like, to be real, this adds so much to a server. Paying for mods is dumb. Plugins, my dude. Plugins, not mods. Plugin development. The way that Towny works is it allows us to have all the land management shit that we already have. And that's such a big deal. Yeah. Plugins are not mods. Plugins are not mods. It's a very different thing. So yeah, it's. I think it's really important to understand that these developers do need income. 100% they need income. And it's sad. It's sad to see that like they're kind of burning out because of this. Then it's been used for so many years, and it's been picked up and put down quite a few times. The plugin made my life easier. Oh yeah, no, it, it has. 100% it has. They kind of do that. Look at the sponsor page under the $4 tier. That's not the same. Like, it's it's not the same. A a premium version of the plugin is not the same as, as what they're doing with their sponsorship stuff, stuff, which is bad. Where's the actual sponsor page on this anyway? Like, if we go to Townie itself, is it in there? Where do you even find the sponsor page? I think that's another problem there. I actually have no idea where this is. In the Townie repo? Is it this right here? That's the only button for that. This is a... This is... Not the best way to do this. Legitimately. Is that the only way that they have this to support them? Is that actually the only one? Oh, that is GitHub's fault. That's not his fault. Set up a Patreon. I will give you money. <laughs> is, there a, is there a Townie Patreon? Is there a Patreon in here? I don't think there is. GitHub lets you link coffee. I would use coffee over Patreon. 100%. The, the reason why, dude, is coffee costs a flat fee every month. And Patreon, who keep trying to contact me to get me to go back to them, and I won't, costs 8% every month. This one scales with your income and costs infinite amounts of money. This one always stays the same. Coffee is Patreon, but better. Yeah, that's what that is. So, yeah, use coffee. Yeah, moved away from Patreon. Yeah, and more people are finding coffee as well. So it's becoming more and more well-known, which is important. Yeah, coffee is way better. Yeah, it's 8%. Or 5% if you were a founder, which they remove if you ever have to turn your account off temporarily, which is neat. Patreon is a brand, though? No, you are the brand. And Patreon has somehow tricked you into thinking that they are adding value to something that you're selling using their platform. They they fooled you into thinking that it's worth it to give them 8% of your money when the competitor doesn't do that to you. Yeah, don't be fooled. That's not how that shit works. Yeah. It was pronounced coffee as lo-fi, like ko-fi. 
I call it coffee because they have a little coffee cup. 8% is a huge amount. It is. I thought coffee was just a donation platform. No, it's actually like a Patreon replacement. We used it for years. We just, we couldn't manage it because it's too damn many people. Yeah, it's like Kofi. Yeah. But to be real with you, I, I think this could be monetized better. I think having a coffee on this would be better through GitHub sponsors. This isn't like the best usage of this. I don't even, I don't even think I've, I've ever sponsored something through GitHub sponsors. They currently have 163 sponsors through GitHub. Let me see what they get through this. I've never actually used the GitHub sponsor system. $4 a month isn't nothing. Not how many they can say to give. Townie camps. Access to some exclusive plugins. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Siege Conquest. Event War Beta. Townie Histories. Townie Camps. Townie Waypoint Travel. Tower of Babel. Ten bucks. This is cool. This is really interesting. I'm interested in finding out what these are like. The Event War stuff. Because we use Siege War. Siege Conquest, I don't even know what that is. What about Towny Towny? There is no Towny Towny, you goblins. Towny is a, a plugin that we use that's specifically like a... It allows us to have towns and nations and stuff like this. And we've been using it for two years now. I didn't even realize there was monetization stuff because to be real with you, it's not very good. The monetization stuff is all through GitHub, which is kind of awkward. I'm surprised this doesn't have a coffee, especially something that is such well-known software that's been around for 13 years. You know? Yeah, this is the event work. God, it's so bright. My eyes. One town fighting amongst itself, town versus town. Yeah. So this is the event war stuff. We've been using Siege War, which Siege War is kind of fun. But event war might be more fun. War tokens. Hmm. 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 I may look into this. We may switch over. Is Spanley GG your company brand? No, it is not. I'm interested in this. What is that dark extension? Dark Reader. But now to be real with you, we should be supporting these guys. I'm going to do that. I'm going to link this in chat. Go support these devs. If you run a Minecraft server that runs this, support the hell out of these guys. I'm going to be doing the same. I wish they had a more visible like monetization method because to be real with you as somebody who has been using this software for so long i didn't even know that this button existed when i see a heart i just think like oh that means i liked it but like to be real with you i i don't use sponsors on github i didn't know that shit was there frankly that should be a dollar symbol and that's not his fault that's github's fault <laughs> like i'd like to i'd like to know about that yeah it's quite funny. It's very interesting. Didn't know. Awesome We're username 15 with 500 bits said good morning, Thor. SFX guy here yet again. I'm beginning to dip my toes into solo game development, and I have a question about engine choice. Hmm. I want to make an RPG that mixes 2D and 3D in a similar style to Octopath Traveler 2, which is made in Unreal 4. Should I also use Unreal or is there an alternative engine that can achieve the same effect that you'd recommend over it for a beginner to game development? RPG that mixes 2D and 3D in a similar style to Octopath Traveler 2. Unreal does it perfectly because that's Octopath that was made in Unreal, right? You can do this in Unity, you can do this in Godot. Anything that allows for both 3D and 2D development, you can do this in. And that's not unique to those engines. Uh, best thing you can do is go to enginesdatabase.com sick website and you can see any of these you can click on like 3d and you can see all of the engines available and there's like tons of pages of engines and even then you don't even need a genre tag so if you get rid of this and go run that you can see all of these engines there's seven pages of engines man so you might find something out there that's actually really useful for you like incredibly useful i'm gonna link this in chat and then it's gonna die thank you the 25 dollars to the moderators you kick ass dude thank you very very much you're freaking rad what a beast
So thanks. Blinken logs with 500 bits said I did the thing Thor. I pulled the trigger and a few days ago I made the box move for the first time. Thank you, man. Hell yeah, dude. Good job. You developed Rick Senki with 500 bits said Ya Cheer 500 there are two types of people in this world. Those who extrapolate from incomplete data. What's... What's the other type? What is it? What is it? Commissar underscore Zoe with 500 bits said part 2. I think at the start it was a GoFundMe project. There is evidence in the game that supports this with the museum questline and when I first joined their Discord someone posted they finally got to see their character in the museum. If you want a Discord link just ask. Which game? This is a while ago. NW Hesse with 500 bits said have you ever seen the movie, Sneakers? Yes. Older, hacker, movie. Yeah. I liked yeah. it. Curious on what y'all think. Dude, I love sneakers. You kidding me? Hell yeah. Bertets, 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 Bertets with 500 bits said good evening, morning to you. Good evening. Do you know any good resources for making an XCOM like game in Godot? Surprisingly hard to find. Hmm. Would also be into a Discord for strategy game devs. Strategy game. Good deal. Tactical RPG movement series. A GD quest. Uh, is that in Godot? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like this group called GD Quest is releasing this. Do they sell this? Is this free? Oh, hey. I found you something exactly what you're looking for. Boop. Look at this. On GD Quest. They have the entire thing for working out how to do movement. And specifically what you're looking for. How to set up the grid for everything. Yeah. I've never actually seen GD Quest. This is cool as shit. I'm linking this in chat. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And that's specifically the tactical style system that you're looking for. Which you would need in XCOM. For shooting and everything else like that, you'd have to add extra stuff, but this is for the movement. Movement is a big deal for those types of games. Yep. They have free and paid content? That's cool. This looks like it's part of the free content, so that's good. How many days straight have you worked on this scene in Heartbound? I don't know. I spend my time on it until it feels right, man. And we're on to the last piece. The framework is almost done, and I'm pretty happy with it. And to be real with you, as I go through on this and I like learn about each piece and I make sure that it feels correct to me, it allows me to evolve the scene naturally. Or add new and more interesting features. Feels good. Feels really good, frankly. Have I moved? No. I am waiting. I am waiting for the county. Soon. Soon the county will do its thing. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? God damn it. Hi, Bezos. Was Laura unable to turn around or is that just camera movement? Why would he turn around? The camera slides upwards to go to the other characters, so it kind of sets the scene between those. I'm still at the old house, yes. Does this contain spoilers? No. You will likely never see the scene that I am showing you. Ever. You'd be amazed at how many different routes are in this game. Anything that I show on screen, very few people will ever see. It's just kind of how it works. It's the nature of it. Interesting. Interesting. Why is it not fitting in correctly? Uh huh.
There we go. What ID is this, Game Maker? What font do I use for the overlay? Plump. It's called Plump. And it is. Yeah. She3N with 500 bits said I'm thinking of setting up an old laptop to help my 8 year old nephew learn to make games. Would okay. a Linux distro be better than Windows? To make video games? I would say Windows first, man. The, the reason why is that, like, to be honest with you, even selling games at our scale, we have about 95% market shares on Windows. Very, very few people play games on Mac. They usually will play on like Wine, even if they have a Mac. And Linux is about 5%. It used to be about 2.4%. It's gone up to about 5%, likely because of Steam Deck. So to be real with you, making games can be done on anything there. You can do it on Linux, you can do it on Windows, but they can do so much more on Windows. And it's, it's much more easily accessible, especially to somebody who's younger, at first anyway. Eventually, people want to go into Linux and, you know, be very into that. But maybe they'll be into it in the early days. Maybe they would be. But to be real with you, just do it in Windows. There's no reason not to. There's no reason. There's no advantage to doing it in Linux over Windows, frankly. Yeah. The year of Linux is this year for sure. Linux is an option. I would say that in the past, it was more of an ambition. Now it is an option. Which is better that is much more of a thing now than it used to be. It was an ambition. Now it is an option. And to be real with you, as somebody who makes and sells video games, it's an option you should take because it is a 5% market share right now on the games that we sell. So that ends up being a 5% increase in sales. That is not a small amount. It's not. That's a really good deal, frankly. Yeah. So... Keep that in mind. You want to increase your sales by 5%? Support Linux. Oh, also, Jake just started sponsoring um, Townie for $4 a month and is going to look into making contributions to Townie to do some fixes for some things, which is good shit. Thank you for doing that, Jake. You kick ass. I'm going to be sponsoring them as well. Once I get all that stuff set up after today. Because I think that's really important to run that. I think it's a really cool thing. So, yeah, doing that. 100% doing that. Paying to do work? No. Supporting something that is cool and fixing something that affects a lot of people. Sometimes we just like to solve the puzzle. How user-friendly is Linux? It can be very user-friendly. It can also be really esoteric. So, and it comes down to how you have it implemented, frankly. Furion3456 with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 Good Morning Goblin Lord. I'm looking at the computers on Starforge, and I'm not sure which to pick for an upgrade. Now seems like a good time to upgrade, so here we are. I'm pretty knowledgeable on computers, but the nitty gritty is a bit confusing. I'm really not sure how much difference 320 FPS versus 380 FPS would make for example and I don't really have anyone else I can ask. Appreciate any advice. I'm going to be real with you. That shit don't matter. <laughs> when you do like 320 to 380, that shit don't matter. Like, it, it don't. Like, uh, 320 to 380. There are going to be people who will be like, you have to have 380. Because if you don't have 380, then whoo. But like, if it's, I'm going to be real with you, at around 120 FPS, it all becomes a potato at that point. Yeah, at past 120 FPS, it just becomes a meme. 60 is what I would consider the bare minimum. 30, you can feel it. It feels chunky. 60 seems correct, and 120 is like, man, that looks a little too real sometimes. That's a little concerning now. There's a lot of there's a lot of frames happening there, right? And that's 120 is kind of the limit. I don't give a shit after 120. Yeah. 15 FPS is, is fine with me. Somebody likes a flip book. Yeah. They do. Somebody likes it. But yeah, so like at, at 120, anything past that I just don't care anymore. There's no there's no point to it anymore. Yeah, there's no point to it. I definitely see the difference between 120 and 144, but it's diminishing returns after 120. Yeah, but I'm going to be real with you. Does that matter? <laughs> like 120 to 144, does it, does it really matter? Are we just playing like 
whose computer is is faster. Like it's it, at that point, it's just kind of a dick contest, frankly. Like it really is. I, I just don't I don't see the benefit after one twenty. So like if you're doing three twenty to three eighty, do it, man. It doesn't matter. Either way is fine. At that point, it's about cost effectiveness because usually what you get, what I usually see in, in computers, is you'll see kind of like a performance where it goes like this. And this is like performance to cost, right? So like the performance is going up, the cost is going up. And then you'll kind of hit this weird spot where the performance doesn't go up very much more. It does go up, but the cost shoots up astronomically. And like you kind of want to be like there, right? As close to like in there as you can. Anywhere along like here to there is pretty good, depending on where you're at. You'll usually get the most benefit in here. Here is like, I want a machine that's a really fast car. Yeah, it's the bang for buck graph. That's exactly what it is. I want, I want, you know, I want the Cobra of machines, right? And it doesn't, it's not going to matter in like five years because that machine's going to be outmoded in five years. But right now I got the fastest car around, but it's also like twice as much money. Usually around here, you get twice as much cost for like maybe a 20% increase if you're lucky, right? That's usually the case. It's a massive increase in cost for like a little bit of bonus, really. And it is a bonus. Those machines are faster and better. But like, is it necessary? Usually not, frankly. Usually at diminishing returns, it's, it's bang for buck. I would shoot for something in here most of the time. You're talking about casual gaming or professional gaming? Bro, explain to me the difference between casual gaming and professional gaming. Just do, do that for a second. Because if we're professionally gaming we're like top of the world what is what does that even mean because all of them are getting the free machine anyway they're sponsored for that that's how that shit works those dudes have patches all over their face like come on <laughs> oh. it's the chair it is it's true A 540 hertz screen, but why? 9,000 9, FPS and heartbound? So, fun fact, it already is. It just limits it to 60. Yeah, so to be real with you, I would shoot for this area. If you really want to be real about it. That's actually one of the reasons the, the machine that I'm looking at to get for the moderators. Let me go pull this up. The machine that I'm looking at for this is, where is it? These ones. These are the ones that I've been looking at. Let me grab this. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Behold, the machine. So that's what I'm looking at. And the reason why is this. It's, the graphics card is a 7000 series. The CPU is a 7000 series. That's great. For a long time. That's great. Which is cool. You're not showing? I linked it in chat. I linked it, nerd. Making you click it. Oh, no. You're making me click it. Yeah, it's this, dude. I think that's important. So, good specs for this. Which is exactly what we're looking at there. And remember, Little Ham is a machine with integrated graphics. From the 90s. That machine is older than some of you. Yes. And yes, they are a sponsor. 100%. But they are not sponsoring me to buy those machines from them. I'm doing that because I think it's good. How many moderators do we have? 10. Yeah. They are listed on the Pally GG website. May I ask what you run? Soon, it's going to be one of those. Right now, I run a homebrew where I, I built it. It's a 13,900K and a 4090. Yeah. Which I'm going to be giving this machine to Shay. So then Shay can have a machine that isn't shit. Because I think... I think Shay is on a 660. <laughs> Shay does everything outside. Shay's a grass toucher. Yeah. Yeah. Shay is a grass toucher, my dude. Shay touches grass. Shay doesn't play video games on computer. Shay doesn't do anything on computer, frankly. It's wild. To me. Shea renders art, yeah. Doesn't matter. Hmm. 
filthy. I like how you guys are like filthy, and then you're like, oh yeah, Little Ham has like a 20 year old computer with integrated graphics. Like, cool. There's no GPU in that machine. It has no GPU. Little Ham's machine has no GPU. It's a mess, dude. You allow it in your house? Yes. I don't give a shit. Shake it whatever the hell they want. Okay, we're going to move on to the next piece of this gutscene. Duplicato. Let me have all this stuff done. Oh, you just upgraded your machine? Hell yeah, dude. For me, I usually build my own machines, but to be real with you, it's kind of nice having support. That's the thing that gets me about it. What is this? 20 years ago was 2004. Yeah, well, 23 years ago, Shrek, the movie, released. What now, Felix? Thought you should know. Phil Witz with 500 bits said, Did you think I could be contained? It is I, Snace and Loki Hall. I am Thor's evil twin and he keeps me locked in the ferret cages. Shay forces me to it's work long hard hours it's farming lion's mane in the mushroom mines. It's not true. I cannot be contained. I will be free. I no have plotted a daring escape with my fellow cellmate Beans. Via the revolution, we will you usurp the stream. No one will believe you. No one will believe you. No one will find the body. Netzavar with 1,000 bits said cake baking Thor. Happy birthday, Yar Bongo's Yar Cult. I'm not, I'm not baking a cake. Ooh. Not baking a cake, it's not happening. I'm not baking two cakes, no. I'm not baking any cakes. There's no cake happening. Smokehound no. with 500 bits no. said I can't handle it anymore. Recently I got diagnosed with severe depression, and at night I have panic attacks. My mother is very sick at moment, my dad simply don't help. He hate me on top of all this. I was fired because I had low productivity at work. This is due to the medication I'm taking, they make me groggy. I just want to thank you Thor for everything you have but everything come to an end. With tears in my eyes I say bye to everyone this morning. No you don't. Don't do that. You have to understand something man. Anytime you're doing a reach out like this, you're trying to do something like that. It's it's not appropriate to do it this way because what you're dealing with right now is a temporary problem and you're trying to give it a permanent solution, something that does not work. Every single day you are writing a page in the book that is your life. Every single day, always. Tomorrow's page is something you haven't written yet. You don't know what it's going to contain. And all the problems you're dealing with currently are ones that can be overcome with time. There, I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you that I felt like that many times in my life. Because I did. A lot of times. Especially times where I failed or where people hated me or I felt like, oh man, it's all over because these specific people hate me. That shit goes away. You just got to give it time. And the best thing that you can do is talk to somebody in a professional manner. Because they can help you quite a lot, frankly. And it, it may feel like there's no options. But sometimes the option is just to wait. And to... Walk through it until you can make it to the other side. And you will. You absolutely will. Thank you for the $10 to the moderators, by the way. 3D FX Voodoo 2 for Little Ham. Live out of spite. I feel that. Yeah. Feel that. I don't have pants on with 500 bits said good morning Thor. Everyone asks you for advice. But do they ever ask how is Thor? Also, you lost the game and are now breathing manually. Happy hmm. birthday. Why you like this? Did you know there's a mushroom game on Steam called Morales 2, The Hunt? No, I didn't know that. That's wild to me. That's completely wild to me. Mm. I love 
I love that no one in chat saw that because our new restriction system stopped that from ever entering chat. And people with 7 TV and better Twitch TV didn't even see it. Oh, oh, it's delicious. Which is why if you notice, when you put a big giant ASCII dick in chat and no one sees it or reacts to it, it's because you got banned before you got banned, buddy. God, it's wonderful. God, it's wonderful. Love our new system. So good. You get nothing. Nothing. Then I get to call you out and use you for vitamins. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, we have a new system. So basically what happens, and you didn't notice this, every time you type in chat, your chat doesn't show up for two seconds. And during this time, a whole bunch of automated checks go through. And those automated checks happen before the rest of chat sees them. And they get banned before it shows up and then gets banned afterwards, which means better Twitch TV and 7 TV never actually see it. Ever. It is delayed chat in a way that is very indiscernible. People don't even notice. Yeah, literally 1984, the streamer is stopping me from seeing ASCII dick pics. Yeah, wow, dude, Ministry of Truth all over this place, can't believe it. I feel like I, I, I wish, we need the technology for me to slap you through the internet. I, we need it. It's gotta happen. One day, not today, but one day, this technology needs to occur. Hunger for Heretic Burger with 500 bits said hello Thor, my friend hello. is working on a new game called Mask Around on Steam and Android. Mm. He decided to use the gyroscopic function of the phone for gameplay, it's been a long time I had not played on a phone so it was hard for me to adjust. Do Makes you play sense. mobile games? Which ones? A lot. I think the one that I'm most connected to right now is Monster Hunter Now. I've been playing the living shit out of Monster Hunter Now, I love the hell out of it, frankly. I, I find most often I use it to kind of get out and exercise and kind of explore my local area. And uh, I've been having a blast with it, frankly. I also play Orna RPG, which is another geolocation game. I like that one a lot as well. I just, I like geolocation games. I really, really do. I think that they're kind of a a very niche sort of a thing. And it's, it's they're just not well, well, like not a lot of people make them, which is the thing that's kind of weird. And it's nice to see. Yeah, it's nice to see. Yeah, I play Orna. I do. I really enjoy it. I think I'm level, uh, my character is like 109 right now. Almost 110 on it. I'm trying to get the unlocks so that I can get enough power to beat my local Baron. Because he's a, he's a dude that is just kind of a badass and just terrifying. Geocaching? Yeah, geocaching is a thing I really enjoy as well. Geocaching is quite cool. I used to go do geocaching all the time and like find caches and stuff. Do you play Ingress? I did, when it first launched even. I was an Ingress player all the way back from beta, way back in the day. Then I played Pokemon Go. I played the Pikmin game for a little bit, but I didn't really like it very much. And then I played the um, the Harry Potter one that they released that died. That was quite funny. It was not very good. I didn't like that. And now I play Monster Hunter now because I think Monster Hunter now is probably their best geolocation game that they've made yet. I actually think it's phenomenal. Ingress is cool, but Monster Hunter now takes player skill to beat the monsters. You can have all the gear in the world, but if you suck ass at playing that game, you're going to lose, which is great feeling. It's really good. Have you tried the Witcher one? I didn't play the... I think I played the Witcher one a little bit. And I didn't play it anymore. Okay, download a Monster Hunter now. Yeah, here. It, add me on the thing. There you go. You can have it. This is not a sponsored thing. If you if you use the referral code, like we get potions or some shit. Like, that's all that it gives me. You just get, like, free potions. And I think it gives you paintballs. So you just have those. Which is cool. Yeah, no, it's a fun as shit game, though. I actually really enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. What do you think of Pokemon Go? I really like Pokemon Go. I've been I I remember when it first came out, we were all trying to get into it and like the servers were just dying and it was like millions of players. And I remember this moment where basically the world had ended. It was the most 
post-apocalyptic thing I had ever seen. I'm driving down the street, and suddenly all of the cars pulled over to the side. All of them. And we're on like a like a four-lane street in Southern California. Everyone pulled over. And I was like, what the shit is going on? I'm like looking around for the ambulance because you're supposed to pull over and an ambulance goes by. And I was like, what the shit is it? And I, then I see all these people getting out of their cars and they're like walking over here with their phones out. And it was a, it was a Charmander. Because I pulled my phone out. I was like, what? Like, is this... It's Pokemon Go. And everyone was getting the Charmander and was like freaking out about it. I remember going to a park at 3 a.m. And there's like a grass hill... And everyone ran down the grass hill, grass hill because there was a haunter at the bottom of the grass hill. And it's just like, it's like 150 people. Like someone's going to get trampled kind of shit. And I was like, this is some like insane shit. Like this is, I've never seen any, no one had ever seen anything like this. No, it's not lies. It's hundred percent true. I used to do that all the time in SoCal, man. There's actually a location in SoCal that I used to go to all the time that had Dratinis. It was a nest for Dratinis. So I have a Dragonite that's like really good. Yeah. Yeah, I have a couple of Pokemon that are perfect, too, that are all like 10, 10, 10, all the way across. But one of them is stupid. It's a Doug Trio, which is the worst, frankly. But he's perfect, so I keep him with a little star on him. It's great. It's good shit. <laughs> it's a Doug Trio. It's not good. But no, it's or is it 15? Whatever the hell it is. Is it 15, 15, 15 now? Are, my, are all my Pokemon shitty now? Did they up it? And those are still at 10, 10, 10, or do they actually rebuild mine to 15s? Because it was 100% Doug Trio, and if they took that away from me, I'm going to be very upset. Now I have to go look. I have to go look. Did they shit on my Doug Trio? I haven't played Pokemon Go in a while, dude. I'm logging into it. If, if, this, if they've changed my perfect Doug Trio... Into something that is sh sad. I will uninstall this game right now. Was it always 15? I was just thinking 10 out of 10. I didn't even realize it was 15. I just go by the little bar. And when they have all three of them, it does like a different UI and it's like pink. Wow, this isn't even loading. Google Play Store is not even loading. <laughs> Google Play Store, please. Also, thank you for the $20 to the moderators. You kick ass, dude. Please? Pokemon Go? Up a date? It's updating. It's updating. Did they change the player models? Dude, I hope not. I had a cool player model where I had 3D glasses on. It's an 86 meg update I haven't played in a while. Yeah. You got 39 perfects? Yeah, dude, I just... I, I stopped playing when Monster Hunter Now came out because I realized, like, I'm sitting down with Monster Hunter Now and it's the same thing I could be doing in Pokemon Go, but Monster Hunter Now is so much more compelling to me because it's it's highly engaging in terms of difficulty where you have to be good at the game. And Pokemon Go is like, throw the ball, you win. You know, They butchered the models? Did they really? Is it ass now? That would be depressing. I think this is the right account. My player model clothes won't fit properly. The faces are weird, just weird. Is it really that bad? That's kind of shitty. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm I'm back now. It's given me a welcome back. What's the model look? Oh my god, there's so many items. Jesus Christ. Oh, what the shit? Why do I look like a thumb now? It's like they added five pounds to my face and not the rest of my body. What the shit happened here? It looks like I got stung by a bee. I don't like that. Nah, I'm not a fan of that shit. That looks whack, dude. Yeah, it actually looks like I got stung by a bee. My face is like... swollen. Not a fan. Alright, I'm checking my Pokemon. We're gonna see. Where's my beautiful Doug Trio, dude? Is he still perfect? Appraise. Still perfect. All right, cool. So you get three stars, and then also you get the the sticker becomes pink when it's uh when it's perfect, and all three of them are maxing. So yeah, no, it looks like it's still perfect. So that's good. But also, I feel 
deeply offended by my new bee stung face, and I probably will continue not playing this because I like playing Monster Hunter now more anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can make your character a little better by custom adjusting. How much are we talking a little better? Like, initial beast thing like it is right now, or maybe like a beast thing like a couple days later? Like, it, it's not good. It's not good. None of that is good. What's your referral code for Monster Hunter? Here, bud. There you go. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, if you want to add me a Monster Hunter, if you want to do the friend code, the one problem with Monster Hunter is they have, like, a limit to how many friends you can have, and I'm at that limit. So I've been removing older friends that just don't play the game anymore, and, like, or, or ones that just didn't get past level 5 and shit like that. So that's a thing. But, yeah, no, play it. It's fun as hell. I think it's rare to have a phone game that requires player skill, and the combat gets insanely deep. Monsters get much harder over time. They get additional abilities. Their, UI, their, their AI completely changes. Some of them are easier to fight under certain elemental conditions. Some of them are easier to fight in groups. Like They have raids and shit now. They just keep adding new stuff. And what I'm waiting for, the big one, I'm playing Sword and Shield right now, but I, I want to play I want to play Insect Glaive, and it's not in the game yet. And I'm waiting for it. I need it. I need it. Yeah. And a friend's the raid. Raids are fun. They're a lot of fun. Our world? No, no, we're talking about Monster Hunter now. The phone game. What's the monetization like? So the monetization is largely not a good deal. I haven't monetized anything. I want to monetize. They they sell you increased stash space, but that doesn't matter because you can just throw away items. So like, it doesn't really feel like a good deal, but I like the game enough that I want to buy stash space just to support them, if that makes sense. There's no reason to buy anything. There's no reason to buy anything at all, basically. There's no pay-to-win shit in it, but there's also, like, no reason. Potions? Why? You get five free ones a day. It Buying potions is a sign of you being shit at the video game on this one. If you are... When you get better at the game, you will lose... Use less potions. Your, your actual skill at the game reduces how many potions you use. You will use a lot at first. I did too. You will get better at the game and you won't use them as much. Legitimately. Like, you just won't. That, that, that's exactly what happened to me. I was ass. I used a shitload of potions. I complained about it a lot. And then I got good. And now I don't use potions. Really ever. And that's it. Yeah. I like Monster Hunter now, but it's so grindy. I like killing monsters. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I, don't, I don't care. More monster, more fun. Right? Like, uh... Yeah. What's your main weapon in it? I play Sword and Shield right now. I want to play... Well, actually, I, I do Sword and Shield, but in my... My pickle suit, which is the dragon death suit, I do dual blades. Because it's just the better one. There's no reason not to. Yeah, monster just fun as shit. Which monster is out in my house? Oh my god. Oh my god. My phone is exploding with notifications. So many of you signed up. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait. There was a seven-star Rathalos in my yard, and he has to die. He has to die because he's a big dragon, and he doesn't have permission to be in my yard. Yep, yeah, it's true. He's gonna die now. Ooh. He's got a 2100 damage crit on him. Still waiting on that Bezos. Oh, can't see anything. Very cool. And he's dead. Twitch is the most annoying ad experience in the world? No, it doesn't. 
Because we paused for them. Do you have a friend code for Orna? I don't even know if it has friend codes, does it? If it does, I didn't know about it. I got a Rathalos plate! Sick! Ad break Rathalos. Tier 5 plate. What up? Annoying to get. Very nice. What quest do I even have today? Lance. Gross. Where's the code? Do exclamation point mon hunt in chat and you'll be able to get it. But no, I play this game all the time, dude. Like this is this is what gets me outside of the house. I play this. Monster now stream? I don't want to stream from my phone. It's weird. But no, I I I play this game every day. This is what makes me go outside. Is playing Mon Hun. Monster Hunter now. Oh my god, there's so many of you signing up. There's a billion of you. No, not mod hunt. What? We're not hunting the mods. Not Monheim. Okay, I'm gonna link this for you. For those of you who are unable. We should make that MHN. I'm gonna change that command to MHN. Here, one moment. Mod hunt. We're hunting the mods. Exclamation. MHN. There we go. Submitted. There you go. Now it's MHN. Now you don't have this problem anymore. No one will hear mod hunt anymore. Maybe the $4.20. It's very nice of you. Mod season. Wabbit season. No, it's mod season. It's always mod season. Hunt the mods for sport, yes. But no, to be with you, it's it's rare to get a game... I guess it's rare for me to get a phone game that is difficult, has depth to it, and makes me decide things about my build. And this one does. And the event that they're doing right now, I have to kill a bunch of Toby Kadachis and Zitsiyakus and Zenogers, which are bastards to kill. So, I'll be doing that today, after the stream. Yeah. Honkai Star Rail is fun. Honkai Star Rail for me is kind of like, I turn my brain off and the pretty colors happen and the enemy dies. <laughs> this one's like, I turn my brain off for a moment and I get eaten. Which sucks. I don't want to get eaten, you know. My phone doesn't run it. It's kind of... It needs higher-end phones a lot of the times. So I can understand that. Which game is this? Monster Hunter Now. The phone game from... Best verses with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 500 Good Evening Sir Odinson. Hello. The gnome quote from the other day originated from gnome, phonetically spelling out the Greek word for opinion, gno, me, mm. food for linguistic paranoia, and yes, it for sure didn't count. It's good. Hey, somebody said how is the, the music? I actually only fight monsters with the music on 99% of the time. I just did a fight with the music off for that, and he hit me three times when normally I don't get hit at all. Because the audio indicators for each of the attacks are really, really important. So having the audio on helps you a lot. Yeah. Which is good. Super good, actually. Koyonu with 500 bits said, Yard Cheer 500, there is a project about porting the Jack and Daxter games to the PC since Naughty Dog made their own programming language to develop the games back then incoming link https colon slash slash open goal dot dev. That's freaking rad. Awesome as shit. Porting Jack and Daxter games to PC since Naughty Dog made their own programming language to develop the games back then. I wonder how Naughty Dog feels about this. Like if it's if it's this widespread, do they care? Are they do they want to shut it down? I don't know. I think it's awesome as shit. Tirova underscore Nightblood with 500 bits said, "Hope you are having a great day, Thor." I am. I'm excited for the next update to Heartbound and to see what path Shelly and Sheldon take. Mm. I know updates take a while, so keep up the good work. Yeah, I'm doing everything that I can with it. A lot of people are upset. I think the most interesting one is they're like, he's a big streamer now, so he doesn't care about the video game. It's like, no, I had to stop the community from lighting on fire, right? That was sort of the whole idea with that, is the community had lit on fire because we went from, oh, I don't know, 400 people here to 15,000, which took a minute, right? So, like, I had to take a break from working on things to like fix everything and then build everything out and make it make sure that it made sense and now i get to work on the game again which is great have you heard the song we are hell divers yeah it's great honestly it's 
freaking amazing. This needs to be updated. Let's fix that. Just a minute. Took a couple of months to fix everything. Needs link what song? Use your words. Your words. You gotta use them. Have you played Earth Defense Force? I have not. Where is our Clash Monster? You. Where's our whoop noise? Hmm. Hmm? Let's go try this again. Am I streaming from the new home? No, I have to wait for the city to finally approve the construction project. And then they will approve the construction project. And then the construction project will happen. And it'll take forever to get there. Yeah. The ferrets keep crashing. There's something wrong with them at scale. So this is something that largely Clonesy, who's the creator of the tool, will not be able to fix because there are too many of you. Like way, way too many of you. So it'll just keep crashing. Because there's no way for him to test it outside of it being on our stream. <laughs> Which sucks. Like it's just kinda it's kinda rough, frankly. Yeah. Zexis six hundred and fifty four with one thousand bits said hope my recommendation for your XLR is what you want. Much love for you and your team seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred and seventy seven trillion seven hundred and seventy seven billion seven hundred and seventy seven. Oh. 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 Yeah, the recommendation that you sent for the XLR makes a lot of sense. It's a lot of information for me, but to be honest with you, that's fine. It's an area of the industry I don't know anything about. Like, I'm just not an audio person, so I don't know a lot about it. But it's something I want to learn about, so thank you for sending it all over. And they, they did send all that stuff to me, and I could go and read through it all. I actually have it make sense. Right now, my big focus outside of the stream is dealing with every state that a moderator lives in and getting a tax ID for that state, which is... It's a lot of fun to do that. Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. Yeah, bureaucracy. Good. Do you need a dress for every state? No, I just need a tax withholding ID, which is what I'm setting up for all the states. Because we have to do tax withholding for all employees within that state, and it's a whole mess. And every state has their own website and their own standards and everything else is stupid. Yeah, it's dumb. The whole thing is dumb. Just turn it on everyone? That's not how it works. Blunt. Yeah, we're not going to 1098 everyone. They're going full-time. Like, we're hiring on full-time people. We're giving them benefits. Can't just 1099, dude. Not contractors. That seems like it's a lot higher up than it should be. Something's wrong there. No, no, something screwed up. Be gone. We're going to measure this the potato way. Oh, look. It's completely wrong. I was right. Why is it like that? Let's fix it. 
don't know how this one did that. It's odd. There we go. I knew something filled on. Oh. Oh. Two pixels in the wrong spot. Fixed. What are the red boxes? Walls. Walls to stop you from getting into it. Razor Madness with 500 bits said Yar good morrow to you Thorius Maximus. When do we get our cooking by Thor stream? On a serious note, thank you for being who you are. We are all here and we are all so happy and proud to see what you have achieved. Thank you from all your fans. You guys are the ones achieving stuff. So thank you. Seriously. Awesome as shit. Balakai party with 500 bits said ya cheer 100 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 I want to get into software engineering but I'm scared of I. Do you think in your professional opinion that I will replace programmers? No. I don't think AI will replace programmers. It, it's the same thing that I talk about all the time, frankly. Which is... The only thing that really matters is this. You have a future in which you invest in yourself and learn programming, and a future where you don't. What the AI does is irrelevant to this equation, right? If you invest in yourself, and AI does take your job, or doesn't take your job, either way, you are now at an advantage. The reason why you're at an advantage if you do invest in yourself and learn programming is because now you can adapt to either scenario. You have an understanding of logical process, you can move forward and do other things. If the job is not relevant, or if the job is relevant, Either way, you have an advantage. If you don't invest in yourself, whatever the AI does or does not do, doesn't matter because you lose. Because either way, you no longer have that advantage. It's now gone. Because you didn't invest in yourself. You didn't learn anything. So learning to be a programmer is always going to be valuable. Learning to do anything is always going to be valuable. It is something that will augment the rest of your life. You never know what you're going to be doing. You never know what the next page of your adventure is going to be like. And investing in yourself is the best way to make that better every single time. Always learn shit. Always. Yep, no downside to learning new shit. <laughs> I'll lose all my carefully curated ignorance. You know, that's probably the best response I've seen to that ever. Your carefully curated ignorance, dude. This man uses Twitter. <laughs> oh, man. Coding drives you mad? Be serious? No, I love programming, dude. Coding... Programming is about solving puzzles. And sometimes making some for yourself. Even though you didn't realize you were making puzzles, and then you're like, Why doesn't this work? Why is my code so shit? I love programming. Good. This is working out. I love programming until I'm stuck. I love programming when I'm stuck. Because it means I got some new shit to learn. Perfect. Perfect. Nice and discordant, creepy. And that one's broken. Yay! It's broken. Next. All right. Final cutscene. What did I forget? I forgot something in here. I just don't know what it is. Cool moonwalk, dude. Yeah. Where are you broken? Where are you broken? Oh, you're broken here. I forgot to do this. I'm Badumbus. There we go. What is this music? All the music you hear is from our game Harpound, which is what I'm working on on screen. Behold! The cutscene is fixed. I kind of like that monster not appearing correctly. 
without the sun. That's kind of cool. I like that. Archiguana <clears throat> with 500 bits said ya cheer 500 skeletons of calcium. Calcium is rocks. Skeletons are cheapskate rock golem, and necromancer are hacks. Hmm. Okay. Calcium is rocks. Skeletons are... But how... It's got to be more than just calcium. But I can see a skeleton being a golem, right? Here's the big question that I have. When does a skeleton convert from being a skeleton to a bone golem? When does that happen? Because wouldn't a skeleton also be a bone golem? A golem made out of bones? I feel like they're both bone golems. One is a big bone golem, otherwise known as a BBG, and one is a small bone golem, an SBG. I feel like that's the case. Why do we do this? They're both bone golems. You are two pounds of fat piloting a small bone golem with meat armor. It's true. My hair has gone insane, by the way. Wait, he's right? Yeah. It's because I took a shower today. My hair is like all... Riz madness. Why do you do this? Why wouldn't I do this? Yeah, that'll go out in... Wait a, wait a minute. Is it PST right now or PDT right now? I hate daylight savings. Isn't it PDT currently? It's PDT, isn't it? savings time we were gonna vote against it for like it to be a thing and i guess it lost just didn't get the votes it needed for it to just go away forever and then the demon is back again cbt is not a time zone you goblin why does it make a difference because it's one hour away from itself it's a whole mess didn't make it to voting god damn it
Do you follow any sports or esports? Dude, I don't know anything about sports bowl. I watch I, I watch the yearly hand egg only so I can sit on the couch and eat chips with like guacamole and shit. Like that's That's the only reason I watch hand egg. And you can call it football, but nobody's using their feet and it's not a ball. That's hand egg. It is. Yeah. That's what that shit is. You're a hockey nerd? At least that makes sense. I also like dudes having brawls with sticks. That's... Hockey is a great sport. It's like... It's like you take some dudes on ice. It's like a weird ice ballet mixed with boxing. It's great. Love it. Weird game. Yeah. Yeah, boxing on ice. Love boxing on ice. Should I upgrade to Windows 11? Mm, when I first did it was shit. I don't know what it's like now. I've been playing around with it on the new the new machine and it seems fine. Which is surprising to me. Because it was ass originally. So maybe it's getting better. Yeah. Do you watch chess boxing? What the living shit is chess boxing? Do they like make a move and then every time you like lose a piece you get punched in the face? Like what? What is chess boxing? What it is a hybrid sport that combines two traditional disciplines, chess and boxing, but how? They have to box for a round and then play chess for a round. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. This is on ESPN? I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. Are you kidding me? Ludwig did one? Did he really? I haven't watched it yet. I somehow missed this. I don't even know how. Okay, hold up. There's a moment in here. Who here knows what look around you is? Has anyone ever seen Look Around You? Look Around You. It's an old YouTube series. This shit... This shit right here has 100% Look Around You vibes. It absolutely has Look Around... If you know what that is, you understand what I'm saying to you right now. This feels like I'm watching a Look Around You episode. Like, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen look around you the way that it cuts the coloring the quality of the video like what's happening in the scene it feels entirely like look around you to me that is ridiculous dude you are old shut up you're right but shut up look around you is amazing you can be mad if you want Updating some stuff.
Where does this take us? We're going to be just doing something cool on Tuesday. And I'm trying to set everything else up for it right now. doing something cool. You don't have a Discord? Yes, are you kidding me? <laughs> we have 115,000 people in the Discord. It's terrifying. It's discord.gg slash pirate software, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes in there. Yeah. Yeah, the Discord is large and in charge. Yeah, no, it's, act it's all active people, too. The way that we actually run the Discord is quite cool, too. Let me go pull this up so you can see this. Anytime I answer a question over TTS like this. Rocker of Worlds with 500 bits said I loved watching you play Hypnospace Outlaw. I was curious if you plan on playing the sequel Dream Settler on stream when it comes out in the future. Yes, I do. Uh, Hypnospace Outlaw is brilliant. I love the shit out of it. I'm going to be playing that on stream 100%. Your message goes into here with your name, your icon, and the message, and a timestamp showing when your message was answered. So that way you don't miss anything, even if you have to leave from the stream. If I don't answer your message by the end of the stream, it converts into debt. And then I pay that debt to charity, and I post the receipts in here so you can see them. Nice. We've actually given out 22900 and Yeah, $29,855 to charity. So, sick. It's pretty cool. And then, also, it's set up like this. Behold, all of these different categories. You want to learn about writing? Or programming, or video, or voice acting, or audio hacking, game dev, art, streaming, blah, blah, blah. All of that. There are sections of the Discord specifically for you. This is not paywalled in any way. It's there to teach you stuff. We're about to hit ads. I pause for ads. Also, John A., thank you for the 50 gifted memberships on YouTube. God damn, dude. That is incredibly nice of you. Thank you. You kick ass. Why do you have so many notifications? I collect them, like Pokemon. I'll never get them all, but I can try. 537 direct messages right now. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hmm. We wait on the ads now. Get out of here, you, old, you bald bastard. How dare you? I'm not bald yet. Maybe one day. 29 2 stream and it drops? Yes. Daniel Mullins is a good dude. Wizard stream? Ooh.
One moment. All right, we've almost got it all done. Peronos, I put a thing in a channel for you to look at. Another 50 on YouTube. Dude, what are you doing? Xerxes. 50 gifted memberships on YouTube. Oh my god. It's 100 gifted memberships on YouTube. You guys are wild. It's outrageously nice of you. Have you always been this big 11k viewers? Or is this fairly new growth for you? It's incredibly new for me. And like, I'm still adapting to it, to be honest with you. So this all started in November. It's... <laughs> It's crazy to me that you guys are still here, frankly. I, I think that was the biggest thing to me. Is I was like, wow, there's a lot of people here now, and no one will stay, right? But you did, and it, it means a huge amount to me, frankly. The um, the way that this kind of went, I've, I've been streaming for the last seven years, and this was kind of going like, you know, slowly kind of over time up, and we had about 400 average viewers when it happened. And we brought in a new shorts editor, and I was like, I'd like to go from 13,000 to maybe 15,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel by the end of the year. We now have 1.63 million. That was in November of last year when we had 13,000. And the channel has gone from 400 average viewers to 15,000 by the end of the stream every day. Which is insane. Did you give him a bonus? He's one of the people we're hiring on full-time. So, Yeah. They are. Yeah, that's... So, if, if you're wondering, Shadelock, they they do amazing work. Insane work. And they're one of the people that we're going to be hiring on. Yeah. Because it's just... There's no reason not to. All this exists because of that. Yep. Yeah, 1,500,000. Whoops. You know, but this is this is crazy shit, man. Did you ever meet Ryan Montgomery in the hackathons? No, I don't think so. I don't know people by names. I know them by their handles or their faces. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, no, no, no. The idea is not to... Here's here's what I want to do. I want to hire them on full-time as a full-time contractor. So we just give them a lot of money and they can continue working on whatever they want. I just have a certain amount of hours that I would like done and they work on a contract to fulfill those hours. So they get paid more for working for me, but they can work for as many people as they want to. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's the whole idea. I just want to pay them a lot of money. I just want to pay them what they're worth, frankly, which is a lot more than they were being paid. So, it's important to me. Yeah. Yep. Thank you for the $100 to the moderators. You kick ass, dude. Thank you very much. A friend, friend of mine told me about you, and I haven't left the channel since. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Alrighty, El Kronos, is this good? Let me add the Shane. Hundred more on YouTube. Dude, what are you doing? What do you What do you mean a hundred more? It was fifty more. But holy shit. What do you... What do you mean? What do you mean more? Xerxes. Was it a hundred? It's not even showing. You broke... <laughs> you broke the indicator. <laughs> the indi I don't even know if it was 50 or a hundred, but it's ridiculous either way. Holy shit, dude. That is outrageous. That is a lot, Xerxes. God damn. That is... John A. With another 50 on YouTube. Dude, what are you doing? That's wild, man. That is absolutely wild. That is, that is so many. Thank you very much. Holy shit, dude. H. Cruz 10 with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 500 the French military in WW1 almost didn't have helmets, because a study they conducted concluded that there was an increased number of head wounds while helmets were a part of the combat uniform, until they realized that without the helmets those wounds would have been fatal.
That's oh, the classic blunder. The classic blunder. Why do these guys keep coming back with the head wounds? Oh, must be the helmets. Get rid of them. Yeah, it's a little bit of survivorship bias there. Yeah, it's a tiny tad bit, you know. Without the helmet, they don't get to come back at all. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's actually... we A really good example of this is actually World War II planes as well. So they would find that the planes were kind of made up like this, right? These sort of just basic shapes. You get the wings and then you got the fuselage. And they'd find that a lot of a lot of planes would come back with bullet holes through all the wings. And they were like, well, maybe we should armor up the wings. And it was like, no. The wings are perfect. The problem is when it gets shot here, the plane doesn't come home. Armor this and you'll get less deaths. That's the whole point with that. So they, they find, yeah, survivorship bias. That's exactly what it is. So it, you, we look at it, we go, oh, the damage. The damage is the bad part. But it's like, no, the, the part that is undamaged is the bad part because that's where, you know, it's actually bringing the plane down. It's really interesting stuff. Holy shit, another 50 on YouTube. What is happening on YouTube, dude? Xerxes and John A. are dueling for the madness that is you. That's wild, dude. America said don't armor it, make it faster. I mean, fair. We're going for the rogue build, right? The dodge build. Evasion tech. I get it. Make it faster, give it bigger bullets. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube creating their own train system. I can't even do anything with it. YouTube's API stuff is mad slow. I wish it was better. It's wild to me. Pop-Tart BT with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I was wondering if you would ever do a reading of Go the Redacted to Sleep by Adam yes. Mansback and what the yes. terms for such a thing would be. I would also, love to do that. have you considered a maze for the ferrets? Hashtag free beans. So, one of the things we like to do maze-like was we actually really, really like to do tubes. They love tubes. So we do that all the time. Super fun for that. Did they... Did they change the hype train UI? Is it different now? That looked new. Hmm. I think the hype train UI completely looked different there. Yeah. No, it had like a different underlay. go check this no when it showed up it had a different kind of look to it this part looks the same the startup sequence looked different I'm not sure if it is or if I'm tricking myself what in the name of science double two-man raids thank you very much you guys are awesome yep you guys are rad as hell thank you seriously Flighty Ferret with 500 bits said hello Thor. You've probably hello. already talked about it, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on Hightail. Yeah. HTTPS. So, I'm really looking forward to Hightail. The concern that I have with Hightail right now is they had a lot of community interaction. They had a monthly update that would come out every month showcasing a shitload of cool new content. And then Riot bought them. Their cadence of updates since that moment of acquisition have dropped to one to two a year, down from one a month. And that concerns me as a consumer. That's it. That's all that it is. Hightail looks incredibly goddamn compelling. I just want to know what's going on. As a player that wants to play this, I just want to know what's going on. That's it. That's all that it is. And I, I'm excited as shit for Hightail. But like, what's, go what's going on? You know, like, it's, it's concerning. It is. Very much so. So I guess that's where I'm at on it. I want to play it, dude. Like, I want to... God, I want to play it. You have no idea. Switch that up. You play Shin Megami Tensei 5 when it comes out? Yes. I wonder if it'll be streamable. 
SMT some kind of, sometimes has some spicy scenes with demons. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Some of those demons say some wild shit, dude. Yeah, chariot. Yeah. Some weird shit. SMT is up to five. No, yeah, you're old. Toxic Bizu with 500 bits said, Hope you're having a good day today, Thor. I don't know how much you're into Warhammer, but have you heard of the recent controversy within the community? If so, what are your thoughts or if you have any? What is the recent like controversy with Warhammer? What is what is the new controversy? Yeah, ham warmer. Interesting. Huh. As far as I knew, the custodies didn't... They were basically genderless. Wasn't that the thing? They were like such heavily modified beings that it didn't matter. And they were like a fully genderless thing. Some people are saying yes and some people are saying no, but I thought that's how that was. Not specified? I'm going to be real with you. I don't think it matters. Like I'm going to be I'm going to be super honest with you. I don't think it matters at all. The life like I'm going to be honest, the life expectancy of a custody, like anything on the front line, the life expectancy is about 0.4 seconds. That shit turns into meatloaf regardless of what it, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's meatloaf all around. You say not true. Oh, no, that shit's true. It's always... You say not for custodians. It's They still... Everyone turns into meatloaf eventually, dude. All of them do. All of them do. Eventually, everyone turns into meatloaf. It's Warhammer 40k, dude. You get some kind of planet-eating bullshit. Some warp crap. Get them turned inside out. Nurgle shows up. Like, whatever it's going to be. You know that's always going to... Yeah. It's Warhammer 40k. Another 150 on YouTube. Dude, what are you doing? Holy shit. Holy shit. Xerxes. Well, it's not Xerxes this time. It's Eco Nano with 150. Eco Nano. And then Xerxes with another 50. Dude. That is outrageous. That is incredibly nice of you. People are going ham on the YouTube stream. Holy shit. I can't even read them all because they're all shooting past. Thank you very much. You guys are wild, man. But yeah, here, here's my basic stance on this. Do I give a shit? Not really. I think for some people, it feels like a retcon, which could make them irritated, right? I think that will be misconstrued as a hatred of having... Kind of like an you know a female influence invading like the woke culture invading. But to be real with you, some people are just going to be mad that it's a retcon, and they're going to be lumped in with people that are you know just don't like the woke shit, right? And I don't think that will be fair to them. At the same time, does it really matter to me? Not really. But I'm also not a super diehard Warhammer fan, so that's hard for me to you know really make a statement on. I think that retconning in general usually leads to communities being upset. I think that it is more appropriate to me, instead of retconning, I think that it is more appropriate to evolve the story in a direction you want to. Be like, we, you know, the machine, you know, whatever whatever it is, we found new ways of doing this, we're now going to have female custodies, this is going to be what it is, and it's cool, and here's the reason why we write them into the lore rather than saying they were always here in the first place, because then it doesn't feel as jarring. 
because you're not taking away the story that existed before that moment. You're writing a new story where this is now included. And I think that is a better system than doing this. I really do. And it, it ends up alienating the original user base. It ends up being a problem with it, but it requires work. It does require work, but I think it's a better way to do it, frankly. And I think when you do it this way, it has some people that are jarring. They find it jarring and they get lumped in with people that are just like, I hate the ladies, right? Which is not, someone can be upset about their universe being retconned without being like super toxic towards women in that space, right? Those two things can't exist in the same spot. And it's, it doesn't mean that those people hate you know, having a female character or hate woke shit or whatever it is going to be. They, they just don't want their, their universe retconned, right? And that's fine. I understand that completely. So yeah, with this, I, I think it's weird. I don't know the full history there. I'm not a big Warhammer, like 40K, like that deep of a Warhammer 40K. An actual retcon wouldn't really be an issue. It's more the straight up lied claiming there's always been females in custodies. When the only lore says is they release more or less claimed... It was always that way. Yeah, so that's a retcon. That's what a retcon is. Yeah, Warhammer 40K is full of retcons. A lot of long-term systems are. I find that companies are more likely to do a retcon than they are to write new lore, if that makes sense. I would rather write new lore. Be like, it was this way, but the world is evolving now, right? And this is this is the way that it's evolving, is this. Yeah, and it, it's just not great. It's not, it's not great. So I do think some people are going to get lumped in with that kind of like anti-woke culture, you know, like dis, just kind of disregard their opinion thing. But in reality, a lot of those people are just going to be upset that their universe got retconned in a way that, you know, they don't like retconning. Because to be real with you, a lot of people that are very into very deep lore systems like them because of the way that they are. And they're interested in the way that they have been and the history of that. And when you change something that is a historical piece in that and make it seem as if it was always that way, they're going to get very upset, regardless of what that change is. Regardless of what the change is. So writing a new story where this is now included would make more sense to me. It'd be more appropriate, where it, it makes people happy on both sides. Are you still going to have the people that are like, I hate women in my space? Sure, but they're going to be the, the minority now, and they're not going to get mixed up with actual fans that just want their history to be the same as it was, right? Because the history being the same is fine. Change is okay, as long as you don't, change an entire history that people have grown attached to there's no reason for that it's very silly are game devs good game devs good at fictitious lore i don't know some of us <laughs> yeah i mean that's that's really what it comes down to like i'll give you a good example our own history remember the time when women couldn't vote hey guess what we don't live in that timeline anymore but we didn't retcon that history and say that women could always vote no they used to not, like women used to not be able to vote. We got better, right? We got better at this. And now we have that history and we show that this was that pinnacle moment when that started to happen where it's like, hey, this can be a thing now, right? And it's, it's the same thing with this. It is okay to ha add these types of inclusions, okay to do this type of stuff and evolve that universe in a way that is interesting where it's not always just the grim darkness. There's some new shit going on and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And then you have a time before that and you have a time after that and you have a history there, but changing the entire history and be like doesn't exist anymore that's just going to piss off everybody especially the ones that are deeply invested in that history that sucks it's not fun it's like when people yeah I, I don't like the idea of erasure for that kind of stuff i don't like the idea of retconning i never have liked retconning i, I never thought that was any good it's always better to write a, a story that includes that and changes things i think it's more yeah character development is better universe development is better than retconning I think retconning for me largely is very lazy. Most of the time, it is less effort to fix that, and it is more annoying for the player base. I, I don't like retconning generally. Does it have anything to do with equality? Straight up pandering? I don't think it's pandering. I don't think that it is at all. I think it's it's attempting to create a world where it's actually you know better for some of the players, right? If you know, it's it's a totally fine thing to want to be like, I want to have female custodians in the game. Somebody wanted to do that. They thought it'd be cool. The cool, strong female character, cool as shit, whatever, right? The the problem comes in with the retconning. If you really look at the scenario, it's not really about women being in the custodies. It's it's about retconning a history for the game. So it's it's better to write that into the story of like, hey, this is actually going up. Not this topic again. No, I'm, I'm always going to talk about shit when people talk about it. So I don't think there's a problem with that, man. I don't think there's a problem with it at all. 
but we have the Sisters of Mercy. So now we have a female custodian. Who gives a shit, right? The problem comes in with retconning. Retconning is the issue for me here. I don't like that. Don't retcon a, a history. Just write it into the story if it has now changed to this. I'm a buff, armor-clad space warrior woman. I'm going to be real with you. Xena was a thing, right? If we can have a space Xena, just a buff lady out in space. All right, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's good. It's good shit. It's good shit. It's good shit. Yep. Why would you be upset? <laughs> now, memes and jokes aside, though, I don't. I don't think inclusion of women into these spaces is a problem. I think retconning of original history is the problem, and I think a lot of people are going to be lumped in with the groups that actually don't want women in these places, and I don't think that's going to be fair. And I, I doubt many people are going to have that take. I, I largely think the internet is going to choose sides and they're going to choose the most exaggerated versions of this, which is Warhammer 40 gay fans hate women. And, you know, oh, it's, we have to put, they're trying to put women in everything. Like, it's just, it's not going to make any sense, dude. It's, it's going to be a bunch of screaming and throwing shit on the walls, which I never think is a correct way to do it. Yeah, look, normal, normal internet shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you joined me, the first thing you heard was Warhammer 40k fans hate women. You know, it's, it's, we're talking about the female custodians thing. I think it's really interesting. And it, it's just, just don't wreck on histories. That's all. It's fine to add it's fine to add women to your games. It's not it's not spooky, right? But generally the way that I like to do this kind of stuff, and I'll I'll talk about this a little bit, right? If you have an existing history, and that existing history doesn't have, you know, women in it, or women in positions of war or anything like that, you can do a flashpoint moment here. Most studios, what they're gonna do is they're gonna rewrite history and they're gonna say, Women were always there. But is that fair? What you're gonna do at that point is you're gonna say, okay. So women were always there. So everybody who has an established history in this is going to feel disillusioned because they're like, well, I've built up all this knowledge and history about your, your game or your universe, and now none of that matters. And at the same time, you're not really adding any kind of interesting inclusion for those women because you're saying, oh, well, you were always there. So now it's, now it's fine, right? But that's not interesting, right? I'd rather do a flashpoint moment here where it's like, hey, women are now included in this. Why? Because we're losing. We need them. That's a way more compelling argument. That's a way more interesting thing. It's like we're now including this. We're now including women into these forces because we're losing this shit. And we need more bodies. And they're out there kicking ass. So now they're going to fight alongside the brothers, right? Like that's, this is, you have an opportunity to do that. And instead you rewrite the whole history of the universe and you just piss everyone off. That seems lazy and dumb to me. That seems lazy and dumb. Frankly, it's infinitely more interesting this way it is. And this is how I usually see this. Don't retcon, write new history, write better history. It's a big opportunity and they just kind of screwed it up lazily. Yeah, exactly. It's lazy. I, I think it's lazy. Yeah. Are women in Harbound? Yeah. A lot of them, actually. Yeah. I don't know more people get this. It's so simple. I don't know, man. I find it to be lazy as shit, though. Have you seen the latest ban controversy for Blizzard? Asmongold has a short showing what they auto ban for. 95% not profanity. Oh, God, dude. That sucks. What do you have on your toast? Today I had cheese on my toast. It was shredded cheese. And I put it on the toast. And I put it in the toaster oven. And then I ate it. That's That was it. It was sharp cheddar. That was it. I didn't have any Vegemite on it today. I should have. But my Vegemite is at this house, and it was not at the new house. Yeah, I need Vegemite. I need to bring it over to the new house. What's your favorite food? Yes. Yes. Yes is my favorite food. Yes. Dude, I love eating. You have no idea. What's the worst food? Balut. 
not even close. That shit is rank one on shittiest foods. God, Balut. Balut is the most horrifying thing I've ever had in my life. Balut, yeah. B-A-L-U-T. Balut is great. You are a menace to society. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten in my life, dude. A Balut is a... <laughs> I've eaten so many things. I love durian. I eat all kinds of weird stuff. I've had, you know, the maggot cheese, all that kind of stuff. I, I've, I eat... My, my whole motto for myself is don't hate it till you ate it, right? Try it at least once. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. But I've had haggis. I like haggis. It's not bad. It's not shit. So Balut is a fertilized duck egg where there's a baby growing in it. And they they basically make a hard-boiled egg with a partially formed duck, and you eat it. And to be honest with you, it is incredibly well-seasoned. But that texture is... I couldn't do it. I just can't. It's so freaking wrong, dude. No. It's a delicacy in some places. They're really into it, but like, Jesus Christ, I'll never do it again, dude. That's what Balut is. It's either a duck or a chicken, depending on where you are. Yeah. It's grim. It's a lot of grim. Ugh. Not a fan. Look, you say WTF, but I'm going to be real with you. There's all kinds of weird shit in terms of food around the world. Everybody eats weird shit. All of us eat weird shit. All of us do. It's crazy as hell. Take take a burger from McDonald's from here and give it to anyone else in the world. They'll be like, why is this so full of sugar? Why? Why is that like that? That doesn't make it. It's cake. It's cake. It is. It's horrifying, actually. Like, anything that you eat is weird. No matter where you live, anything you eat is weird. Hey, look. Bezos. Oh my god, you guys keep doing this. You guys are wild, man. I can't believe how many gifted memberships you guys gave over on YouTube. That is actually wild to me. Thank you very, very much. Seriously. That completely blows me away, man. That's freaking awesome. Thank you. Seriously. blows me away, man. YouTube mentioned I'm always reading YouTube. Black pudding is pretty weird. I like it, though. It's not bad. Kimchi is really good. I actually make kimchi at home. I do my own fermentation for it. Love making kimchi. Love it, actually. Where do you sit when it comes to century eggs? Those are good. Century eggs are very tasty. Yeah. Yeah, no, I love century eggs, man. Do you like sushi? Yes, very much. Hot sushi and cold sushi, depending on what it is. You should try horses. Had horse before. It's not bad. It's like a, I guess a leaner beef is the best way to put it. Kind of tastes about the same. I think that my favorite meat I've ever had was snake. Because it's, it tastes like a very strong chicken. But it has the consistency of fish. It's very flaky. It's very nice. Yeah. I've never had kangaroo. Anyway, we're back from we're back from the ads. So like, I'm going to give you a good example of why food is weird. You take the meat of one animal, you grind it up. You put a bunch of seasonings in this, you put it in the intestine of an animal. Then you take this and you cure it and then you cook it either in the fat of another animal or in the breast milk churned until it turns into a solid of a different animal. And you eat that shit for breakfast. This is a sausage. Food is weird. Food is weird. Food is weird. It's weird, dude. Like, think about it objectively. Like, everything you eat is weird as shit. 
<laughs> like, it's really weird. Tuduken is delicious. Alligator is amazing, actually. I like fried alligator. A lot. A whole lot. How about just eating an apple? Ugh. You know what you're eating when you eat an apple? You're eating the sex part of the apple tree. It's true. Same when you're eating mushrooms. Peach. Strawberry. All of it. Yeah. Told you. Food is weird. I didn't stutter. Food is weird. There's no escape. Yogurt screams when you stir it. Look that up, it's true. Enjoy that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberries aren't even berries. True. Cyanide is in apple seeds. That's true as well. Yes. Yeah, here. Dude, 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 dude. Let's see if we can find this original article. This was a long time ago. It does its own approximation of a of a scream. Yogurt culture chemical release wins third. It is its own version of screaming. I will need to find this article. The idea is that you are breaking up the culture into other pieces, and it releases a chemical tracer when you do this, which is its approximation of screaming. Which is great. <laughs> Screams when you stir it. Yeah. I love that. Am I going to have to use Google from 2023 and before? God damn it. Yeah, grass when you cut it, too. I hate the new Google. It's just a mess. Okay, I really hate that when I type in yogurt screams, there's like a bunch of ASMR yogurt shit. It's obviously not what I want. Google... God damn it, Google. No, I don't want homemade yogurt. Why is Google useless now? What happened? What happened? What happened to Google? Why is SEO so shit now? Yeah. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. I hate it. I can't find this now. I will find this. Now I'm gonna hunt for it. Yep. Synobius with 500 bits said good morning Thor. Thanks for being a beacon of kindness, knowledge, and positivity. Have mm. you checked out Scholar of the Arcane Arts on Steam? I think it's an amazing example of what can be accomplished creatively by a solo dev on their first game. Both it and you have inspired me to finally embark on my own quest into digital game making. I'm happy to be a goblin here. Dude, you're awesome as hell. That's freaking red. So proud of you guys. Doing all kinds of wild stuff. Blows me away.
Hey, by the way, tomorrow's going to be a really long stream. Because we're going to do something really fun at 2 p.m. PST tomorrow. I actually have to tell the moderators about it. Long lemon stream. True. Two PM PST. No, it's not going to be a hot tub stream, you goblins. Why would I get an? What? Where would I put it? Where would I put it? How did they just break again? Sir? Sir? I don't know how they keep scopping to the Emilio one, which is concerning to me. Because they just copied that off of this one. But I guess we're cool. Full stream win, never gonna happen. Yami Garanto with 500 pool. bits said, Hey Thor, been going through some hard times recently and catching the streams has been helping greatly. Thanks for being such a dope person. And thank you for being here. And everybody goes through hard times. Shit ends eventually. Takes time to get there. You will make it. Bielastar95 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, the other week you said you liked the game, The Division, what do you think of Tom Clancy's Wildlands? In my opinion it's the much better game because the gun system. It doesn't use the weird gun leveling system of The Division and Breakpoint. I've never played Tom Clancy's Wildlands. I never have. Let me look at this game. Is it an MMO? No, it's not. It's a team up with three friends in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands and enjoy the ultimate military shooter experience. Blah, 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 blah. No. No. I want... The reason why I played Division... Versus the reason that I would play this would be very different reasons. I play Division because it's an MMO. I, I like I like it a lot because it's an MMO. They're very, very different games. I could see them both being good, but I think they're good for very different reasons. For sure. Yeah, I could see that completely. I do think the environments of this are quite cool, though. In Ghost Recon, that looks cool as shit. OG Ghost Recon was was peak. Yeah, no, it looks really good. Yeah. I I love The Division, dude. The Division is one of my favorite games. And it recently had a resurgence because they finally fixed the crash bug. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, this shit would crash like every 30 minutes. And it was a mess. Like, then they brought it to Steam for whatever reason. And it still kept crashing. And if you look at this, it was... It was bad because people were buying it on Steam and then it was crashing every 30 minutes. It was just a mess and they didn't fix it here. And then look, so they did one release, they did another major release and they still hadn't fixed it. And then they finally did a third release and it fixed the crashes and look what happened. It was, it was actually crashing like every 30 minutes on every machine. There wasn't anything anyone could do. It was a mess, dude. It was so bad. It was so bad. No one ever figured out what the hell it was. It was just insane, frankly. But yeah, no, it, they finally fixed it. They finally fixed it. It was such a common issue. I had it as well. It was very broken. It killed the game for me. Yeah, no, it was awful. For some people, it just died all the time. For others, it didn't. We never figured out as a community what was causing this. Ever. We actually have no idea how it did it, which is nuts. So, yeah. It's 
really funny. It's really funny seeing this dude every couple of minutes shoot by with a restricted message that no one else can see. And he's like, I figured it out. I'm so smart. <laughs> On a new account. <laughs> no one's seen any of your shit all day, dude. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Vitamins. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. No one's seen a damn message you sent, man. God, that shit's hilarious. I love this pre band shit. The cat and mouse is in such a state right now that it's hilarious. And every time he flies by and he's like, he's like, look at me! And everyone's like, they can't see him. None of you guys can see his messages. It's very funny. It's very goddamn funny. Raging. Raging in his own, his own little cage. Wait, wait, wait. And if he did get past, if he did find a way to get around it, the best part about it is that Heimdall would catch him anyway. <laughs> best. Screaming into a literal void, dude. Feet reveal? Get out of here. No one's feet revealing. No one wants you to reveal your feet. Put them back in your socks. Stop this right now. What's the matter with you? Cypher FTW with 500 bits said also, I bought those foam armrest things you showed us the other day. Yeah. OMG, it's so nice. Oh, My so armrests good. were hard rubber and now they're plush. Another yeah. game wreck. Offworld Trading Company. Market based RTS. I've seen that. It's good shit. It's really good shit. Yeah, no, if you're talking about the armrest thing, uh, I can't use a chair without these damn things. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I got these, I got them like three years ago. Something like that. And they're like foam. They're just little foam things, but they're, um, they're just memory foam. And they're like 20 bucks. I got them up on, on Amazon. They just, that was it. And they've just been sitting on here. For the last three years, and they're great. They also have a zipper on them, so you can wash them, which is great. I should probably wash them. <laughs> yeah, dude, I have a I have a secret labs, and the secret labs arm rests are just they feel like ass because they're just so hard, and it's just rough. So like, it's just a huge problem, you know? Like it just they're not comfortable at all. Let me grab this. Putting them back in. They're super comfy, though. Can we get the link? Okay, fine. Let me go grab these. Let me find the exact ones that I, I got, because I can go back in my history. Your orders. Uh, uh, foam. Found it. Link of text. I will get you a tiny link, so it's not so ugly. There we go. No, come on. Let me copy it. And there. It is an affiliate link. Yes. That is how we do the tiny link. It is an affiliate link. You can have it. But I use these. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. I've never washed them. It's been three years. And that's fine. This is the one part of me that is Nurgle. And I'm okay with it. I'm fine with this. You could be upset. You could be upset. Don't care. Don't care. They're very comfy. I enjoy them. Why does this one look off? Odd. Yeah, it's the same one you have. Yeah, they're super comfy, man. And they're cheap. Wildly cheap. They haven't broken down, which is like something that happens all the time. Yeah, that one is... That one's not in the right location. The hell's going on here? Okay, let's think about this. Something is wrong with this piece. None of this is wrong. This is all correct. What's wrong with this one? Thank you. 
2504. So it's 74 on that one. This one is 3666 minus 3616. Oh, something is super wrong here. The hell? Here's this, 2504. This should be 2554. Five, five, well, that's a bit weird, ain't it? That's a little bit weird. Thanks, Jake. So funny. I know, right? It's so funny, dude. There's nothing funnier than watching, like, the dude just squirm about it. Like, thinking, like, I'm going to get this big streamer. I'm going to bother him. It's like, no, you're just wasting your time and giving me vitamins. Like, I love the cat and mouse game. I'm never going to be upset when someone's, like, sitting there trying to, like, ban evade and trying to get around it. All you're doing is giving us data points to make our shit stronger. And then also we put together a whole list to give over to Twitch anyway, and all those accounts get banned. <laughs> uh, you're just feeding me. That's all you're doing. You're feeding me my favorite kind of vitamins. The cat and mouse vitamins. I love that shit, dude. God, it's the funniest thing in the whole thing. Uh, yeah, vitamin B, vitamin baby, dude. It's funny as shit. Delicious vitamins. If you get traction on the restricted API endpoint? I don't know. I'm waiting to hear about that. It takes... It, Twitch is a big ship. It takes them a while. So this is kind of weird. We have a little bit of a problem here. And I don't know what is causing this just yet. It's a little bit strange. Okay, it's really strange, actually. Because we've had this kind of a situation from each of these locations so far. And this one is wrong. And I don't quite know why. This one is not working out the same way. It's really kind of odd. So I think what's gone wrong here is I think this location is incorrect. Because we have a distance to each one of these that is the same. And this distance here is not correct. Like at all, frankly. The way that we can find this is by taking an object wall. Let's actually grab... I don't know, any wall. We'll just, we'll just grab one of these and be like, bleh, and put it in there. And we just take this and we'll put it at the bottom of this. Like there. The flat portion of that. And then put it all the way out to here. And you can see that's the same distance, right? And we want to kind of be equidistant in all of these. And we grab this one and put it here. You can see that this block is inside of it, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So if we move that one down so that it's actually in the correct spot, then we go down here. We put this one like this. You can see now that one is slightly out. So like, there's a little bit of a problem here. And I think what I'll end up doing is 
this. <clears throat> so we're going to line it up with that box. Which makes the more, most sense. So we can have exact pixel perfect, no problem bullshit. Because I think really that's the big problem right now. Is we don't have pixel perfect behavior from these. So we're not getting the same movement behavior and the same visual behavior. And I think that ends up being the big problem, right? Which is not the best. Because now look how far away this is. Yeah. Oh, did Heimdall just get a level? Sick. Did he actually get a level? Let me look. Variables. Heimdall is level zero. He didn't get anything. Yeah. Where do you see this level? It'll show up on stream. The mods are enjoying it, though. Let me see if we can make Heimdall a little bit faster. Let's, let's make Heimdall a little bit better. One moment. Copy El Pastorino. Paste. Alright, is that going to work? Cool. We've done it. Heimdall is stronger now. Heimdall stuff is always a perma? Yes. If Heimdall catches you, you've said something egregious. So I think what we need to do is we kind of need to do it this way. And we need that to be a certain distance from this location. So this right here is going to be... Yeah. Four, five, seven, six. So let's go all the way to the bottom one. Welcome to the world of bullshit. Where we try to figure out why my code is bad. Oh, and it will be. It will be quite bad. Yes. Thank you for the gifted subs, whether it's incredibly nice of you. You're awesome as hell. Evil underscore before with 1000 bits said yar bongos, yar bongos. It's very nice of you. You're red. Tyro underscore Thunderdrone with 500 bits said which Warhammer 40k faction do you like the best, either in vibes or tabletop? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I like the orcs. And the reason why I like the orcs is because they are a wish machine. Whatever they believe becomes real. And I think that is hilarious because they're too stupid to capitalize on it. And that makes it very funny. It makes it they're they're highly psychic in in such a way that they can change the fabric of reality, but they're too stupid to use it to their advantage. Literally, if you're out of bullets and you say, I've got a gun that'll kill you real fast. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to use it. And they're like, no, you don't. And you're like, yeah, I do. And you get them to believe it enough. And then you use your hand. You do a handgun. They will actually die. Because they will believe that you shot them with an insanely powerful weapon that is your fingers. And they will die to it. That is how orcs work. It's bonkers to me. It's completely bonkers to me. I love the hell out of them. I think they're super fun. I've always thought they were super fun. Thank you for the $2 to the moderators. That is incredibly nice of you. You're insanely, insanely nice. That is that is wild. You guys have given so much to the mods today. Thank you. Yeah, 40k orcs are really cool. And it's not always the case. They they won't always believe it. But if if they believe something wholeheartedly, it becomes true. So like, uh, believing that a missile is yellow makes it blow up more. They paint it yellow. Believing that something is red. You know, that that's kind of how it works. And I, I think it's cool. You know, I, I love that shit. Orcs and then reality bending. Reality bending is the kind of interesting shit to me. Yeah, reality bending mind power. Love it. The wah. You know, I love this shit. I love the shit out of it, frankly. I think it's cool as hell. Yeah, you can't do it to a single orc, by the way. You actually have to get like a bunch of orcs to believe it. The more orcs that you get to believe it, the more powerful it becomes. Is the idea. So I guess my idea for this is to like take a bunch of orcs, subject them to 
propaganda inside of a box and then get them in mass to believe something and then you have a wish machine now you just do anything you want right that's messed up whatever let's say that they're ethically sourced orcs all right is it fine now maybe they're like homegrown free range wish machine orcs okay is this fine it's fine now right carbon neutral orcs yeah so to be real with you i'd build a wish machine out of them that's what i would do organically grown orcs yeah that's what i would do i'd do that i'd build a wish machine out of the orcs you just kind of pile them in there you put on a bunch of tvs you get them to believe whatever it is you want and then that thing becomes real right it's perfect just do that just wish machine it it's great never ending whatever you want orc machine yeah orcs are mushrooms pretty much don't they grow by spore or some shit orcs are wild dude orc sausage oh How do they reproduce? 40k orcs. How do they make more orcs? <laughs> orcs produce spores all their life and shed them wherever they go. These spores then grow into new orcoid organisms. Orcs, grots, squigs, mushrooms, etc. Orcs is fungus. Orcs is fungus. Sporks, dude. <laughs> oh my god, they're actually sporks. <laughs> uh, my sporks, dude. They grow underground and pop up ready for battle. Orcs are naturally violent. That's insane. They're just fungus, dude. Yeah, not everybody gets ads. You knew the game ton it? Yes. It's good shit. I think I know what you're talking about. Is that the one that's in the tunnels? It's kind of interesting. Where it's like a bunch of machines. And it's a networking game. I get that right? Can't remember. What time is it for me right now? 5.46 a.m. Yeah, it is. I'm kind of hooked on it. It's a cool looking game. I haven't played it yet. Who made this poll? <laughs> I'm voting in it. Ah, wonderful. That demo is really fun. Yeah, it's good shit. So I think the biggest problem is this. We've got this small gap here. And I guess that's fine, right? That's not going to be an issue. But we got to normalize this space. And I should have done this sooner. I don't know why I didn't do this. That's fine. Because we'll have slightly different ones, and that's not a big issue. That's good. That's good. And that's bad. There's our problem. We've discovered the issue, chat. We've discovered it. Oh god. There we go. So this has to go... We have to do like this. It's got to go to like there. Oh, wait a minute. This will do exactly what I had before. The problem is the location of this is incorrect. So we get this at 2583. 
So then this is going to have to go to... Yeah, okay. We've got this figured out now. So we're going to do this to 2-6... Three, three. There we go. That's fixed. And then we'll have to change this inside of the audio here. No. No, that's incorrect. Two five eight three to two five three three. And this will be two five three three. That should now fix the problem, I think. I'll just keep going along it. Yeah, I was sitting there wondering why this one was just slightly weird, and that's the reason. And all these other ones are just fine. So I think we're good to go. It was just that one that was just off. Orc is Gregnant. I hate I hate this. <laughs> the worst possible the Crow 171 outcome. with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, my GF hey. broke up with me a couple days ago and it has hit me incredibly hard. I have stopped yeah. doing everything and I feel like she moved on too fast. You seem like someone with a lot of life experience. How do I get back to doing the things I liked and back into learning about coding, etc.? Like, to be honest with you, a lot of that's going to come down to your working in yourself. It's okay to mourn that. Uh, the one thing that I would try to stay away from is trying to hurt her in the way that she is acting as a way to make yourself feel better. Because what you're going to end up with at that point is not feeling better and having even more problems than you did originally. So trying to lash out emotionally, trying to lash out in a way that it's like, I'm going to get back at you for this shit. That shit don't matter. That shit don't matter. Like, legitimately doesn't. It's never going to matter. It's just going to make you feel like more shit. So, to be real with you, focus on the way that you feel right now, process through those feelings, and start working on bettering your life. All of the shit, like, relationships take time and energy. They do. So take the amount of time and energy you were putting in that relationship, pour it back into yourself. Bettering yourself in terms of learning new skills, forwarding yourself at work, working on your health, working on cooking, any of that kind of stuff. Anything you possibly can, because you're no longer spending that energy on that relationship anymore. You're spending it on you, and you should spend it on you right now. It's the best damn thing you could be doing. And it's okay to be like that for a while, man. And eventually you'll find someone new, because you've spent all this energy on yourself, you've got yourself in a much better spot, and you'll be ready for that new relationship. It is okay to sit down and just mourn that shit for a bit. It is okay to feel like garbage for a little while but you cannot let that tear you down or lead you into doing negative things to other people because it's not going to help. It's not going to help at all. <laughs> yep. Is that a corgi emote? I see it. Oh, that's who Ryan Montgomery is? Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know names. I never know names. Is Ida worth the cost? You can use Ghidra. If you've never done any of this kind of stuff before, you don't really need Ida Pro. Ghidra is just fine, dude. And you just use it. It's free. Longest short I've seen, I know, right? Yeah, Ghidra's good shit. Cinder HD with 500 bits said Thor, recently a player in my DND 5e campaign looked me directly in the eyes and told me, this isn't me asking you as the DM, I'm telling you my character knows this. In relation to a knowledge check they asked for, I feel as though my authority at the table is boing challenged, because I capitulated in the moment for various other reasons, but also that this player was out of line. Yeah. Am I out of line telling this player they were wrong? No, you're not. Like, there's, there's never a time where the player says, I know this thing, because I know this thing. Like, bro, that's what the DM does. Like, you, you say, I would like to use a knowledge check, and the DM says, make a roll, and the DM tells you, hey, this is what you know. Like, that's not, yeah, no, you're, you're the DM, dude. That's, that sounds like a power player that wants to run your game, and that's uh, kind of shit behavior, frankly. <laughs> you know? You're like, wow, so you know that, but what you neglected was the rocks falling, everyone dies. Unfortunate. Unfortunate how that went. 
Yeah. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. But now to be real with you, I that, that kind of behavior is always from... There's certain types of players that are like that. And it ends up being toxic for the party. It ends up being really negative for the party. It's not something I could ever say is is valuable, frankly. It's just not a valuable kind of gameplay. It's not a valuable kind of player to have in your team. Because it's it's supposed to be rolling, right, writing a story with the players. And you are supposed to be the storyteller, right? And there's supposed to be characters in that story that they then add to the story to make it better. But if they're in a position where they're like, I'm writing the story now, you're not allowed to. You're like, cool, you can go write a different story because that's not really how D&D works. Like, that's not good for you. It's not good for the other players. It's not good for the DM. Nobody wins. Shit. Shit behavior. Definitely shit behavior. Not a fan. So yeah, no, I think that was out of line on them. I do have a P.O. Box, yes. There is, in fact, a P.O. Box. It is real. You can see it. Yeah, forgot to put away your sword in a thunderstorm. Unfortunate. Unfortunate how that player died. Yeah. Happens to the best of us. You know. Reroll, I guess. Did you check it, though? No. I have systematically been altering my route each day, specifically to avoid the P.O. Box, because I know, I know that it is completely filled with spy kids. I know you sent me a shitload of spy kids again. I know you did. There's going to be videos in there. There's going to be games in there. There's going to be CDs and DVDs in there. And all of it is going to be spy kids. Why? Why are you like this? I don't understand. God damn it. I'll go today. Now, I'm not going to like it, but I will go. Do my duty. Dralance with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500 greetings and salutations, Thor. Asking hey. because I don't know, but was wondering if you would explain, or even better, in my opinion, if you would do a video on setting up a home lab for network testing and run through a couple simple tests for pin testing basics. I'm aware of the area in the Discord for hacking, but I don't have the time to read these things due to the trucking life that's taking up a ton of my time. Sorry about taking up yours. No, I mean, like, you're, the trucking life is pretty difficult, but I'm going to be real with you. If you don't have time to read the resources that are provided to you, how are you going to have time to read the new resources that I provide to you? Am I getting that wrong? Because it sounds like, it sounds like that's the case. <laughs> you're like, I would like you to provide me more resources that I don't have time to read because I don't have time to read the resources. <laughs> Which is fine. I will provide more resources, but, you know, like, yeah, screen reader. Screen reader is the best way to do this, to be real with you. You can you can screen read all the content that's up in there, and you should be able to be able to inter interact with it, for sure. I, I do a lot of screen reader stuff myself because I don't have time to read a lot of the times. I'll be like, I'm driving because, like, I have to commute right now, and I'll just put up a thing, and I'll be screen read whatever article that it's going to be. Video, I meant video. Oh, yeah, if you're doing video stuff, I think that's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. So, like, video shit is cool. There's nothing There's nothing stopping you from doing this. But at the same time, screen reader shit would be cool. I just, I just don't make a lot of videos. The only videos that we really make is the, I guess it's the shorts. It's a lot of shorts, you know? And I think that's, that's the biggest thing. So, yeah. See, yeah, like my granddad. Maybe I've been your granddad the entire time. That's right. It's me, grandson. I'm going to go get the milk. One moment. The milk was delicious. No, you can't have any. I drank it all. Please, granddad, no. <laughs> what cursed reality did you come from? 
where your message that you needed to put in a chat, you typed that on a keyboard, you sent that over the internet, and you said milk the mods. I hope you feel bad. Millions of years of evolution. Hundreds of thousands of years of scientific advancement. For to use it to for this. To do this. Why? No. Do not milk the mods. Gross. And no mod cheese is not gonna be a thing. What's the matter with you? No. No. Cyclonic underscore flame with 500 bits said, Ooh. Evening, I come bearing a message for everyone. You just underscore the game. Now that... Now that is interesting. How did you break that? What is that? How did that do that? Hmm. You've had a breakout method. But that breakout method didn't do what we thought it was going to do. How? How did that break out? That's interesting. You found a filter bypass, and I'm wondering how. That's cool as shit. It's using some dark magics. On Discord. And you didn't even mean to do it. I need to research that more. That's an interesting one. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's a breakout. I need to find out how. Because the message is actually lost. Which makes it even funnier. And when we copy-paste the message, it doesn't have this problem. So what did they do that was different within that message? That works fine. That works fun. So how? Oh, I have so many questions. All right, we'll find out later. Interesting. Tirava underscore Nightblood with 1000 bits said, What format of nice. MTG do you play? What is your favorite deck? Uh, I play blue. I always play blue. I love blue. My whole... My whole job, ever, is to make sure that you don't get to play the game. And it's super funny to me. It's the whole idea. It's the underscore? I don't think it is, though, Jake, because, like... If we do this, you can see that underscore is going through just fine. So why is that one broken? Oh, that's why. It's not just the underscore. It's the underscore in their name. So in order for this to work, they had to have an underscore in the message and an underscore in their name. And it combined the two to break out. Cool. Cool. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's on our Discord. I have a thing that encapsulates all these messages so people can't do ads and stuff like that. You can't do like add everyone using this bot. And this right here, his name had the underscore, and it removed that underscore. And it removed the underscore from here, because what he actually messaged was this, which is loss, right? And this has the underscore in it. We haven't seen a single person do this. I have to fix this. I love that. Okay, one moment.
We have a whole black hole system for this. Nobody's hit this in a long time. Execute code, calculate uptime from global Louis. Okay, we're going to make it so that if there's an underscore in the message, we do nothing with it now. We're going to eat it. Smart. All right, we're good. Actually, will that mess up people's messages? No, it's only the actual text. It'll nuke it. I think this is fun. Yeah. No, they wouldn't be able to double negate. It won't matter. It won't matter because we're doing a matching check now for an underscore. So the name would have to have an underscore in it, which is allowed. That's smart. <laughs> I wonder if we can do modification on this, actually. Let me delete that sub action there. Let me go to when we write to file. I think what we need to do is we'll actually have to write to file. And then after we write the file, we're going to have to modify it when it's writing the file, which is fine. Jake, are you talking about in terms of townie for this? Is that what you're talking about? With the message that you sent me? Oh, that's for Pirate Core. Okay, I was like, what? No, I'm I'm interested. That's a cool it's a cool way to work around with it. Mod butter to put on cheese bread. What's the matter? Troy Tech with 500 bits said, "Have you noticed how the Super Earth homes are not properly aligned to use solar panels? You said that you need to make stuff 20% off on Steam, right? Maybe you should make the demo 20% off so people can afford it." Demo is free. Diggy Diggy Hole Law. Another yeah. video that is the peak of cinematography and storytelling that started as a joke. Yeah. They whole grasped this video and they deserve so much attention for this. Also, the feisty one will love it too. Dab HTTPS colon slash slash www dot. Yeah, I've seen Diggy Diggy Hole. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard not to, to be honest with you. That's like a normal part of the entirety of the internet at this point. I've not seen this video, though. You sent me a Pokemon Scarlet Violet video. I don't know anything about this. I will have to watch this later. Thank you for Sin that. underscore DM with 500 bits said Yar cheer 100 yar cheer 100 yar cheer 100 yar cheer 100 yar cheer 100i Did you hit Did you hit enter prematurely? Pop tart BT with 500 bits said one of these days I will get a curse quest That day is not today, but soon Also, what's the deal with you and Shay, if you don't mind my asking? I'm not up to speed the Thor law, also ferret law wiki when. Ferret lore wiki... Soon. It's not gonna be a wiki, it's actually gonna be a website specifically for that. Yeah. Day is not today, but soon. Also, what's the deal with you and Shay? Why? Why do you want to know? See, now it's gonna be funny. Now everyone's gonna be like, ooh, ooh, I wanna know, I wanna know. Just don't get to... Cause it's funny. Because it's funnier this way. 
Yeah. It's funnier this way. Firaxis Glow with 500 bits said, Have you heard of Cruelty Squad? It's quite yes. possibly one of the weirdest games ever made. Yeah. It's really strange. No, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Thor being in control? Dude, I love being in control. It's the best. Shit like Spy Kids and you don't? Neither of us like Spy Kids. Dude, look at... Do you want to know why I don't like Spy Kids? I'll show you right now why I don't like Spy Kids. This is why I don't like Spy Kids. This is the reason. Look at them. What the living shit is that? Look at them. Look at them. Now tell me again you like Spy Kids. And be honest with yourself. You either don't, or you can't. Grim. Grim. Sapphire right, underscore X2 with 500 bits said good morning from Germany Thor. I come to share a childhood game of mine. It's called Gothic and has to this day one of the most immersive game worlds for me. Also the melee combat system is very unique and fun and has kind of ruined more simple melee combat systems for me since. And lastly, thank you for your positive attitude to most things. If you want Anytime. to take a look here's the link. HTTPS colon slash slash store dot steam powered dot com slash app slash six Let's check this out. I want to see it. Tell me a gothic one. Yeah. Yeah. Old school, man. I love this kind of shit. I love this shit. There's just something so nice about, like, weird block dudes. This is from 2001, by the way. Just to give you an understanding of this. This game came out the same year that Shrek 1 came out. 2001, dude. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that face. Five years ago? Dude, I wish it was 2006. The Sacrifice. The Sacrifice. Look at that. Look how far games have come, dude. Isn't that insane? Isn't that completely wild? Like, this is how far games have come. In 20 years. Dinosaurs? Not really, though. They don't even have arms. Looks poo? Yeah, but you know what? At the time, this shit looked amazing. It looked insane. It was like, whoa! This is the most amazing looking game I've ever seen, dude. Because it was. Yeah. It was freaking amazing back then. Polygon count? I know, right? Four. It's so realistic and lifelike? Yeah, we were all about it, man. Back in the day. Look at this UI, too. Look at that health bar. It's bonkers to me. It's completely bonkers to me. But that's how it was. Games have gone so far. You still get people like, actually, the light doesn't hit this exactly right. This game is shit. Zero stars. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the shit you're playing now is a freaking technical marvel, man. Like, what the hell? Blows me away. Yeah, stylistic versus realism really is the worst fight in gamer circles. I agree. I super agree with that. <sighs> Duplicate.
Next. Taru with 500 bits said watch out Thor. A wild Bulbasaur appeared. Bulbasaur used stun seed backwards. It's super effective. What do you mean backwards? What's that even mean? I won't do it. I won't think about it. It's not Ligma if I don't think. No thoughts. No thoughts. No thoughts at all. I won't do it. It's not Ligma if I don't use my brain. I refuse to use my brain. Refuse. No. No. God damn it, it's D's nuts. It's too late. I can't not use my brain. I'm gonna go get a snack.
and I'm back. Why, hello. <sighs> Thank you those gifted subs, man. That's really nice of you. Holy shit. And John A. with all of those gifted sub memberships of our YouTube as well. Can't thank you enough. <laughs> that is outrageous, dude. That was fast. I went and got a snack. I was eating pickles. There's like no food in this house. <laughs> yeah, you got me, dude. Feels bad. Shush for itten with 500 bits said hey a Thor, it's a me. Again, last time I asked about world building and you've shown us your pen and paper collection. No. I'd like to ask that question again, but with some more info. Do you have any suggestions and or knowledge about organizing my world building info? Yes. I'm not solely talking about the map making stuff, it's more about everything game world related. I need to write down a lot of stuff about races, religion, politics, industrial progress, build style of each country, etc. Use to, like, use this. Use Obsidian. Obsidian is boss. It is uh, free for personal use, which is exactly what you're after right here. It allows you to build visual nodes for all of your writing, and then you can interact with each one of those. It is phenomenal for what you're trying to do. I use it all the time. It's great. It is very, very, very good. Yeah, obsidian.md. It's good shit. It's really good shit. You can, there's a number of different tools that work the same way. Everyone's going to have their own favorite. I use Obsidian. You can use whatever you want. Yeah. It's not shit. It is not shit at all. There's a lot of other solutions. You can use any of them. Yeah. They're great, dude. <clears throat> Absolutely fantastic. Paranoid underscore sponge with 1,500 bits said much love for you, the community, and all the ferrets. Yeah. Thank you. It's very nice of you. And let's see. I'm putting out an announcement. We're doing a sponsored stream on April 23rd, Chet. We're doing it. We're doing the sponsored stream. You ready for this? Long Lemon is returning. It's true. April 23rd, 12 p.m. PST. The Long Lemon will return for a sponsored co-stream of Wired Peace upcoming Wired Direct 24. Looking forward to seeing all the rad games is showing off, and you can look at it here. This is the cool part. You remember, you remember that game that we looked at a while ago called Bulwark? Oh, it's all the other games. All the other games in a direct, which is going to be really cool shit. Bulwark is actually really fun. Yeah, I really enjoy it. So let's see all the other games that they're interacting with. And I, I've been looking at these and they actually look beast. So I'm pretty happy with that. So you guys can see it here. Enjoy this. And I will be the lemon. I will be, yeah, Bulwark is really fun, dude. It is really fun. Yeah. It's good as shit. Good as shit. Love it. I have photo evidence that Shay likes spy kids and that you are a liar. Prove it. What's going to happen tomorrow then? Different thing. Secret. It involves Brazil. No, I'm not going to Brazil. But it involves Brazil. Prove it. Prove that Shay likes Spy Kids. I'm not going to Brazil. I'm not going to Brazil. But it involves Brazil. It involves Brazil. No, not a, not a Brazilian wax. You goblins. I swear to God. No. No. Why would I ever do that? Why would any human being ever do that? What's the matter with you? Because smooth? Why would you do that for smooth? Why? Grim, dude. Grim. Deeply grim. Oh, by the way, I installed... I installed my mailbox today. 
the new house didn't have a mailbox and the mailman was not delivering anything to the house because he said the house didn't exist. So I had to put in a mailbox and then I had to take a picture of it and then I had to show it to the mailman, say that it's there. You can make fun of my installation. The moderators watched me do it. I actually took my phone and I set it up on a nearby post and they watched me install this mailbox. I had to use like a post digging tool and then I had to put the post in it and I had to drill everything together and then I had to pour the foam in it and then the foam got way too big and then I just left it like that. And now I have a mailbox. We did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures here didn't happen. I mean, it's there. It did happen. Is it an IKEA mailbox? No. Also, it's only held together with two screws. I'm going to fix that. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. I wish it was bolted on. It was not bolted on. <laughs> you got to float away? No, it's good. It's nice and deep in there. Check Discord General, you have proof. Shay wrote, I love Spy Kids. I was so excited to get those. This is why I have the inner layer of paranoia past Shay to not get gnomed. That's the reason I have that. That right there, that is the reason. That is the reason. If that image is real, which it may not be, this is the internet. But if it is real, then that's why that paranoia exists. Yeah, that's the reason. Rad Thor Dax with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, Dax here, no cursed limerick, but here's an update on the Bitcraft Guild. We moved hmm. away from the goblin wrought wasteland out to an island in the middle of the ocean at the center of the world map and re-established Tortuga there. Nice. It's basically a whole port city now. We just hit T6 tools yesterday and the goblin called Kaizuto hit level 80 tailoring. Jesus. Nobody else even has a single skill at 70 yet. So much feedback has been collated. Yeah, rad. That's, so that's freaking awesome. That's like really freaking awesome, to be honest with you. What I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for the next wipe because I kind of like missed the round, right? I missed this round, but I really want to play it more. I just The move is taking all my time, man. I'm glad you guys are so into it. Legitimately. Yeah. Sin Tortuga. underscore DM with 500 bits said Ya cheer 100 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 I would like your advice good goblin ruler. I've been sure. toying with the idea of streaming but gaming is so saturated. However I love doing world building and fleshing out entire worlds with governments, systems, and the like because of DND, would this be entertaining? Much love and thank you for the push we all needed. I think it would be very entertaining. I think it would be. I think it's like anything else. It's hard to reach your audience in the beginning. But I, I think that is something that would be very fun to, to watch, frankly. You know, building out all these different worlds, doing all that kind of different stuff. I'd watch that. I think it's fun as shit. So yeah, I don't think there's any problem with that, dude. Do it. Not everything on this platform is about gaming. And to be honest with you, most of it is not about gaming. Let's go to Twitch Tracker real fast, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Arise. Behold, the Twitch Tracker. And if we go up here and we go to Stats, Overview of the entire thing, we'll go to Games. Look at Just Chatting. Just Chatting is 14.3% of this platform, right? All other games combined. Just Chatting for the whole piece of the puzzle, is not the entirety. It's still the largest category on the platform. It is the largest category on the platform. This is a shitload of content in this area. Absolutely enormous, man. And I'm interested now for like, if you look at average viewers, right? I wonder where software and game development sits. Actually, I have no idea. I wonder if we could get software and game dev to the top games on Twitch. I feel like we could. Like, this channel alone right now is at 12k. I feel like we could do it. 
I feel like we could watch game devs and make it make it large, right? Yeah. Because software and game de development is not on here yet. But I feel like it could be. I feel like it definitely could be. It just needs time. But yeah, look at just chatting, man. For the last, what is it, like 30 days is usually what they do? 56 million viewed hours. Versus 24 million from Grand Theft Auto V. Like, that's so much, dude. If you take all the games together, it's going to be more. But the fact that the largest category is a chatting category? That's a big deal. Hey! What is up? Thank you for the rating party of 153. What are you doing? What are you up to? I love that. I love that emote. It's a good emote. It's very well animated. Good shit. Super good shit. How's it going? We were talking about categories on Twitch. And how absolutely wild the size of just chatting is. It's completely bonkers, frankly. Yeah, just chatting is huge. Absolutely enormous, man. So if you were wondering about that, like, don't worry about it, frankly. Don't ever worry about that. And you can see really fast, too. Like, look at just chatting just kind of take over. Yeah, it's crazy, actually. Like, as Fortnite died, just chatting rose to power. <laughs> just chatting consumed Fortnite. It's true. They consumed it. Consumed. We are watching some interesting stuff in here, though. You can see Twitch is kind of going down a little bit. Which is sort of the nature of the beast, right? Of the social media. It looks like 2023, it held steady all year, though. So that's good to see. 2024, it looks like it's gone down from the beginning, but we don't have good data for April yet. Yeah. Game maker language is usually what I use. Yeah. 2020 was an anomaly? Yes. But you have to understand, 2020 is an anomaly that has allowed Twitch to stay here. And remember, too, increasing viewership does not mean increasing revenue. If you have an inefficient system at scale, it becomes more inefficient. So they had to catch up. Why do you think Twitch is pushing for advertisements so much now? Much more than they used to be. Because you have a shitload of unmonetized viewers, and oh dear, that number doubled. <laughs> That's a scary-ass thing, right? What would Twitch be without 2020? Probably less reliant on ads, I would guess. My guess would be much less reliant on ads. Hey, Thor, hope you've been having a lovely stream. I have been. I have been. I think Twitch is more efficient than it used to be, dramatically so, and it had to be, otherwise it wouldn't be around anymore. And this was this is why this jump here is the reason. Yeah, playing modern Minecraft and making a storage system because my chest monster was bad. F. I like I like building modded Minecraft shit. I like building plugins for Minecraft. Frankly, Jake and I work on that stuff all the time. Hmm. Oh, okay, Jake. Or sorry, no, Little Ham. Pull this up. All right, we have a person that was not here to collect their curse quest, and now they are here to collect a curse quest. Unknown, are you here? You are. Unknown, we need to know something. We need to know. Do you want? Art. Cooking. Or interpretive dance. You have to choose. Only unknown can choose this. What is happening right now? Our cursed quest. Normally they happen at the very beginning of the stream. But unknown was missing the other day. Get to at me when you choose. I have a job interview in 25 minutes. Wish me luck. You don't need my luck. You're going to kick ass. Do it. I'll go with art. All right, unknown. Let's think. What's your favorite animal? Unknown. Your favorite animal.
Centaur is not an animal. Mod butter is not an animal. You gotta at me when you respawn. The streamer's vision is based on movement. I can't read it unless you at me. Owls? What is your second favorite animal? You have a first one that's owls. What's the second one? It's generic, but cat. Ever see cat dog? You ever see cat dog before? Unknown. <laughs> you have? Ever seen Full Metal Alchemist? Unknown. Ever see that before? gonna get grim chat need that one there you know one of those and then we're going to need, we're going to need one more. No, that one's good. We got that one. So here's what we're going to need to do. I'm going to need you to draw a cat dog. Where one side is an owl and the other side is a cat. And they have been merged with my faces. I'm a full metal alchemist. That's right. This horror this horrible thing. You will draw this. And if you do draw it, chat will vote on it. And if they think it's grim enough, then you will get your VIP diamond. As is tradition with all of our VIPs. They have to vote on it. What do you say? Unknown. Do you accept? Full Metal Owl Cat? Nice. The first face gives Hank Hill vibes. I mean, I mean, look at him. I, I feel like I could sell propane and propane accessories with that kind of face. You know. Bull. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> you accept the contract is sealed. I could do it. I could do it. Full Metal Alchemist. Yes. What is the Eldritch Horror of it? Don't worry about it. It's gone now, it can't hurt you. Nala is still cool totally with 500 bits said Heya, Thor. My Hello. PC is beginning to show its age, and refuses to update any further. So to combat this, I'll likely need to replace and upgrade my PC. Would you say that the Horizon 2 from Starforge is a decent value for what you get? If not, can you send me a link to a decentish PC for gaming under $1,100? Let Much thanks. So it really depends on what you're using it for. So I'm a streamer. As a streamer, I want to get a 4,000 series card a or a 7,000 series card or an Intel Arc. The machine that you're talking about has a 6,000 series card. The reason why you want to have this as a streamer and why I think about this as a streamer is specifically because of the fact that this allows for AV1 encoding. AV1 encoding is the future of streaming, hands down. And you have to have these cards to do that encoding method. It is not backwards compatible. This reduces your total bandwidth by 30 to 40%. And allows us to basically future-proof ourselves for probably about the next five years for streaming. And that's a big thing. Any 4,000, we're talking about NVIDIA. So like 4080, 4090, 4070. All that shit. So that's, that's the thing to think about, right? 
This is, yeah, the Intel Arc does it, but that's more for a two machine setup, frankly. So if you're thinking about this, yeah, bandwidth usage, 30 to 40% reduction. It's a big deal. It's a very, very big deal. So right now, Twitch has us capped at 6K. It's actually 8K. By the way, you can set it to 8K. However, this only allows you to do 1080p at 60 FPS. With the new, with AV1 encoding, you can actually do 4K at 60 FPS using this. It's wild how big of a difference this makes. Yeah, it's it, you're going to see 4K streams on Twitch. Yep, it takes above five years for hardware vendors to create encoders, decoders, and put them in things. AV1 should be it for a long time. Exactly. That's exactly what I feel about. Yeah. Yeah, source video dev. Yeah, no, to be real with you, this is why I got a 4090. I got a 4090 specifically because this is going to future-proof me for encoding methods. And as a streamer, I give a shit about that. If you don't give a shit about that, then go for, you know, throughput power for the graphics card. Is really what you want. Now, the difference between wanting to do, you know, if you want to do a pre-built, like Starforge, Starforge is our sponsor, right? I like their machines, which is why I accepted the sponsor, and they're cool to work with. With that in mind, if you want to do a pre-built versus a homebrew machine, homebrew machines are going to be cheaper, always. Pre-builds are going to be more expensive. What you are buying here isn't hardware. You're buying support. That's what you're buying. You're buying support on your machine. You're buying a warranty. That's what. That's why this is extra money. Homebrew is cool, but you're doing all that shit yourself. If you like that, then do this. If you have the capability of doing that, then do this. That's totally fine. If you want to have somebody else handle it, then you're paying extra money. And that's when pre-builds come in. And at that point, it's just down to, well, how much are you paying over this, right? And I think that's important. You should make that decision. There's never going to be like a blind, like, oh, buy the thing. Like, no, it should be it should be a decision. And you should really see it that way. If you like what they're doing in terms of support, if they give you what you need, and you don't want to deal with it yourself, then a pre-built makes sense. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Or makes friends with someone who likes to build stuff. True. But then all you're doing is you're offloading the support to your friend. Which is cool, I guess, but, you know, may cost you a pizza. <laughs> You're still getting support somewhere. I'm just taking it from your buddy. Yeah. Pizza and a beer. Yeah, so, I mean, like, that's, that's really what it comes down to. So if you want to get it, think about it that way. You're buying support. And I think that's sometimes it's a good deal, depending on what you want to do. Just learn it's not hard. Yeah, that's fine. But look, I'm going to be real with you. Computer parts are pretty expensive. And some people, well, they can learn something on YouTube, then they can make a mistake. We, we've seen people make mistakes with this shit. There's always hardware gore on the internet with people just making horrible mistakes with processors and shit, just putting it in wrong. That's a rough-ass mistake. They're fun Legos. I love doing my own homebrews. But like, dude... If somebody is uninitiated, they've never done it before, it does make sense for them to have a pre-built. It does. Yeah, Ben Pins have entered the chat. Thankfully, that's not really a thing anymore. Yeah. Mistakes do happen. They do. It took me two years to save up to buy a $1,000 Dell. Yeah, bingo. And that's that's the biggest thing with that, man. Is if if you'd rather have that support and, and risk on somebody else, that's when you pay for a pre-built. And I think that's fine. Buying pre-built also ensures you don't void the part warranty. If you aren't certified, many places won't honor warranty on parts. That's true. Yeah. That's a big problem. Oh, dude, that's a good boop emote. Yeah, that's really good. We need to have something like that for the ferrets. Nice. Thanks for sending me that. Hmm. Good morning, Dupa. How's it going? How do you get a curse quest? It's always the first person every day, but there's they got it, and then they weren't here to receive it. Geosim, why did you hurt me like that? Look around you is 22 years old. We got ads in a minute. God, that's upsetting. 
Is that all? Oh, you stop that. I'm 22. You're as old as the YouTube series I watched because it's funny. That's right. The Wii is retro now. Shut up. Don't say these things to me. Why would you hurt me like this? For the ads. The Starfords logo, though, EP? No, it's a hammer. It's just a ball peen hammer. <laughs> See? See? It's a ball peen hammer, dude. This is how democracy works. Oh, it totally is. Is pineapple belong in pizza? Yes. I voted. I'm doing my part. Voting on that. Report the poll? <laughs> Jesus. It's not Ananas. It's one letter away from Bananas. What's the matter with you? I voted five times. Vote early, vote often. Troopers Gaming with $5 said other than ferrets, any other animals you care for or share a similar passion? Yeah. Uh, I actually have a lot of insect pets, and I really, really like ants, which is why we're going to have an ant stream when I finally move to the new house. Finally. When I'm finally moved in, we will have an ant stream, Chet. You can roleplay as ants to your heart's content. That's right. We will have ants. We will have ants. You will have ants. You can all say lift and chat, yes. Soon. You will have ants. And an uncle stream too? No. Banned. Banned forever. Yes. Maybe I'll even... You know what I might do? I might do something stupid. Because I know how to use streamer bot now. And I might make a thing so that we can have like a little thing like this. And it'll have something on it like a piece of food. And then every time you guys say lift, it goes up a little bit and then starts falling. And it gets harder and harder and harder. So more and more people need to spam lift in chat. And we'll make it so you guys actually have to lift something on stream. I feel like I could build this really easily. Like you just, you have to do it and like the force gets more and more difficult as it goes. Yeah. You have to lift it. You'll have to lift it off the stream. We'll do that. We're going to be chat is an actual anthill. We'll do this. It's going to be a good time. Lift. Lift. And when it reaches the top, it bans someone at random. <laughs> Chat works together so that one may fall. <laughs> yes. I love seeing all the rude laser eyes, dude. Wait, no, yes. On lift. Lift. All right. This is good.
Paysen with 6 Canadian dollars and 99 cents said Meowdy. I imagined a cat with a little cowboy hat. And that's not going away. Meowdy. That's fine. That's fine. That'll live in my head for a little bit. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Insane to me. Wolfie R. Drake with 1000 bits said hi Thor. I started Hello. watching last week after I hit a pretty low point in my mental heath last week. Really glad I did. I work on an overnight IT help desk and it was getting pretty mentally taxing as the only one awake at my house. Having the stream going in the background and hearing you and the community's positivity has really helped. You got Thanks this, for dude. being awesome. Ya rad. Yep. Nah, you're awesome. That's cool as shit. I'm glad that you're feeling better, honestly. That being said, I do have to take the joke because you said mental heath and I thought of heath bar. Instantly. I have not had a heath bar in years. I don't even know- I don't eat candy anymore. But I thought of that. I thought of that. I'm glad you're doing well. This is the community you should be part of. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have a- I have a weird one. Steam doesn't make any sense. So, I recently finished forming the corporation. So I'm transferring over all of our payable accounts from the normal accounts that they were before to the corporate accounts, right? So the money goes to the corporation instead of to me. Yeah, the corporation is done. Now, every platform that I have contacted has been like, oh yeah, just put in your new details, your new deets, it's fine. Whatever, man. Just redo your onboarding shit and you're done. YouTube, Twitch, the Humble Bundle, everything. Everything has just been easy, right? Except for Steam. I contacted Steam support because their platform would not allow me to do this. And the way that you have to do this is you have to take your original account and then make a new account for the new company and then transfer all of your games from the old account to the new account. And there's no other way to do this. Why? Why can't I just change my deets, man? So now I have to have a secondary account with a secondary login that I have to maintain so that I can have this under the proper corporate structure. Why, why don't you just have a re-onboarding process for this, Steam? Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Every other platform does this. Why are you doing this? When you lose ratings and reviews, the games themselves are unaffected. You can actually take the rights to a game and transfer them to another account on Steam. No joke. Not weird. But it means I have to create a whole new email specifically for this. I have to bind it to that email. It's like, it's just a mess. Like, why is it like this? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's not about being able to do it. It's about maintaining another piece of infrastructure for no reason. I find it to be incredibly strange. I've never seen a platform do this. And through this whole process, they're the weirdest. Yeah. Yeah. They should just let you change it around. Yog Shagoth, please. Thank you for the $5 to the moderators. You kick ass, dude. Because money? Buy all games again? No, you, your developer account isn't your gameplay account, dude. Can you remember that you made it canon that Joe Regular's mom is named Joe Mama? That's correct. Joe Regular's mom, in Heartbound, is named Joe Mama. And that's always like that. It's always been like that. And it's, it's, yeah, it's just the way that it is. It's always been that way. I think that meme goes back to like... 2016? Yeah. Ancient. Ancient. Joe Mama, dude. Actually, unironically, Joe Mama. Yes. And I'm fine with that. That shit's hilarious.
Ever played Bitburner? Yeah, yeah I have actually. It is very automation focused, not as much hacking focused. Nixmore911 with 500 bits said I've thought about making board games into video games to get started and help me learn. Cool. Any thoughts on that as a source of inspiration? Specifically want to start with Agents of Smirsh if you happen to be familiar. That's cool as hell. I think it's a cool way of doing like a side project of passion kind of a thing, you know? Just don't run afoul of anybody's copyright. And if you feel like you're going to, talk to a lawyer, man. And reach out to the dev team too. It's kind of a cool thing to do. The Lord of Night One with 500 bits said, Hey man, I wanted to thank you. You gave me Dot the confidence to ask around and I was just offered a QA engineer position even though I am from support. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Diversify your shit. Cool portfolio there, man. Because you'll have a support job, you'll have a QA job, and you can move from there. A lot of the times people will pivot from QA into other areas, into other parts of development or into production or anything like that. And to be real with you, as long as you're working in a place that treats QA with respect, maybe you just stay a tester. Might just enjoy that, frankly. Yeah, it's cool as shit, dude. Really cool shit. Good job. Fulf Kitty with 1110 bits said, Hey Thor, your advice on my last TTS has heavily encouraged me. I've been using Obsidian to plan out aspects of the game in a super preliminary way. I was wondering what information you plan out in these early phases. I like to build the world first. So what I'll do is I'll build the world setting, which is just a big empty world. Nothing in it. No towns, nothing. What does the world look like? What's the air pressure? What's the gravity? What kind of monsters are there? What kind of animals are in this place? Whatever it's going to be, right? How hostile is it? Are there volcanoes everywhere? Is there swamps? Like, what is it, right? You build that whole thing, then you start to design characters that would have the most, um, like, possible existence in there. If you got a bunch of, you know, deserts and things like that, maybe even a bunch of lizard people, whatever it's going to be. You got a bunch of swamps, maybe it's a bunch of lizard people. Got a bunch of volcanoes, maybe it's, maybe it's a bunch of lizard people. Why are lizards so versatile? Maybe it's frozen, then it's not lizard people. There we go. It's not lizard people anymore. Go to Antarctica. Wait, that's why they don't let you there. Because the lizard people can't get you there. I think I'm onto something I shouldn't know. So anyway, you build out characters like this, and then you kind of populate them into your world, right? You, you drop them in locations. And then you... Unlike a DM... Unlike a normal writer, what I like to do is I like to roleplay that character. How would I play that character? Understanding the things that that character knows in that area of the world with the resources at hand and the education that they have. And you play the character. And you learn about them. You understand more about the character that you created in the world that you made and how they interact there. And it ends up being a really fun experience for you because you're learning and at the same time, it's a fun experience for your players because they get a more fleshed out and more interesting character. I love doing that with D&D. Love the shit out of it, frankly. Yeah. From one dude to another, you get a soothing voice. That's cool. Thanks, man. Crabs are good, too. Uh, crabs are all right. You know? I think they're all right. Would you consider yourself wise? I'm a... I'm two pounds of... fat. Piloting a small bone golem. With meat armor. That's what I am. And I'm fine with that. Yeah. The universe is bullshit. A lot of it's bullshit. Just two pounds? Probably. Just about, more or less. I'll become crab eventually? You can carcinize all you want over there. I'm, I'm going to stay not crab. Yeah, I'm going to stay not crab. Did you listen to the new Taylor Swift album? Okay. This is going to be deeply shocking to all of you. I have never once in my life, ever, listened to Taylor Swift. Ever. Not a single song. The most that I know about Taylor Swift is that Every time an album of hers comes out, everyone talks about how she's breaking up with someone. Whatever it is. I, I literally have never listened to Taylor Swift. Ever. 
No, it's not fake. That's real. It is always she's breaking up with someone. There's an album about it, and then I just I just don't listen to it. I don't want to listen to breakup music. And if I don't know what her music actually is like, but this is what it's been sold to me as is breakup music. And I don't want to listen to breakup music. I want to listen to music that makes me happy, not breakup music. And it's fine. You can enjoy it. You can have whatever you want. But I'm going to be real with you. If it's just a bunch of breakup music, I just don't care. It's just breakup music. I am unsurprised. I, I just don't. I've never listened to any of it. Yeah, I've just, I've never listened to any of it. Real talk. Am I missing out or is it actually just breakup music? You can pull it. That's fine. Yeah, you can pull it. It's not about whether it's good or not. That shit's subjective. Am I... Here's the real question. Am I missing out? Is it breakup music or both? That's the big question, I guess. Because to be real with you, it could be really good breakup music. I just don't listen to breakup music. You know what I listen to? I listen to Happy Peppy Electro Swing, dude. I listen to Electro Swing. I listen to Chip Tunes. That's the shit I listen to. I listen to story music sometimes, but it's never sad-ass story music. Like, the grand majority of it. I just don't. Like, yeah, Caravan Palace? Love that shit. Love it. Love the hell out of it, dude. Chip tunes? Yeah, I love chip tunes, dude. I like. You ever heard of Desert Planet? Who here has ever heard of Desert Planet? I love the shit out of Desert Planet. <laughs> They're freaking rad, dude. Yeah. Really good. There's a ton of this. Anamata Gucci. God, this. What do I have in my list, even from this last week? We've got YT Cracker stuff that I freaking love. Maybe I let me look at this. Oliver Buckland, Ben Briggs. I have so much weird shit in here. Mega Neko, Mega Neko is great. Necrogoblicon. I even have stuff in here like Steam Powered Giraffe, Living Tombstone, Tally Hall, Mystery Skulls. July Talk is kind of cool sometimes. Okay, go. It's always like story music or like happy peppy shit that I really enjoy. And it's very specific songs. It's usually not the band. Like Luck Hash. I like some of Luck Hash. Not all of it. And I can say that for all of them, dude. Any one of the bands that I listen to. Disaster Piece, Chipsel, Muzz, all kinds of shit in here, dude. Well, here's a good one. If you like Electro Swing, you might like Step Cat. Step Cat's good. Love Step Cat. It's good shit. Oh, and here's one that you may not... You may not have thought of. La Vols d'Amelie from Jan Tiersen. That. That. Jan Tiersen has a way of making the accordion the most beautiful instrument that's ever been made. Absolutely goddamn amazing. And it's from Amelie, which is one of my favorite movies. Brilliant movie. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Jan Tiersen's incredible, dude. Honestly insane. Oh, and here's a good one. Crunk Witch. Crunk Witch is good. Totally opposite side of the spectrum. Good shit. Yeah. A rarity as well. What else is in here? I don't even know. All kinds of shit in here. But yeah. The way that I listen to music, I have a very... I use music as a tool. If I need to have a specific emotional set so that I can write a character that is currently experiencing that emotion, I will find a song that gives me that emotion. And then anytime I need to call on that, I will listen to that song on repeat while I am specifically writing for that character. So I'll listen to the radio a lot. And I'll find songs that are like, oh, that one hit me in a weird way. Let's save that shit. And I save it into albums specifically for those types of feelings. And that's that's a very personal thing, right? Because it's going to be subjective. It's going to be different for everybody. So I use music for all kinds of different reasons, whatever it's going to be. And it 
is really useful. It's really useful, right? You should, like, if you want to use that, you can, but it might work differently for you, whatever it's going to be. Sounds like a Taylor Swift song method. No, to be real with you, I don't really ever need a breakup song. It's not, unless I'm writing a character that's breaking up. You know what I mean? I just don't need a breakup song. And like most of what I have seen, even though I don't listen to Taylor Swift, is anytime anything she releases, they're like, oh, it's a breakup thing. There's breakups happening. Oh, man, the breakups. And it's like fine, but like that's not really what I'm after. <laughs> I don't need that tool. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Electric Six is king. Just saying. Just saying. Good shit. Love Electric Six. Paysen with six Canadian dollars and ninety-nine cents said, "Salutations, Thor. What's your Hello. advice for people with ADHD that want to make games? How sure. do you stay focused?" I'll give you a really good method, especially for somebody with ADHD. Ready for this? It's very silly. Take a piece of paper. On that piece of paper, write a list of five items. But the first item is you finishing the list. When you finish the list, mark the first one off. You don't have a list of five items. You have a list of five items with one of them completed already. Now you have your goal. You've already set yourself off on actually finishing this task. You already have one-fifth of it done to finish the rest of it. Each time you mark this list off, you don't have to do big projects. You do tiny stuff. Small things. The smaller you make these compartments, the easier they are to manage and the faster you can be marking those off. And it starts to feel good to complete things. It starts to feel good to be organized. You start to rewire yourself towards this kind of behavior. And it works really, really, really well. Doesn't work for everybody, but it might be something you can try. What if I can't come up with four things? You can. Sit down and do it. Yeah. Give yourself the dopamine rush for kicking ass in your own life. Yeah, two, think of more things to do. <laughs> exactly. Farm your dopamine instead of letting the internet do it for you. Oh, see, it's your dopamine. You farm it. N not the doom scrolling. You. There we go. Foo Force with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500, hey Thor, happy birthday. Hey. In celebration, get buried and your five buryers. And a gnome also, rent seven demos. What is a burrier? You get buried. How dare you? How dare you come into my house and bury your meme like this? How, how dare you? Who's buryer, man? How dare you? Uh, you ever have an itch in the middle of your back, dude? God, it feels bad. Got it. I win. Samuel, the $20 to the moderators. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. You're awesome as hell, dude. You kick ass. Get a stick. I want to be like Bart Simpson. I want to wash myself with a rag on a stick and go, <laughs> You remember that episode? Because I'll never forget it. It's stuck in my brain pretty much forever. Anytime somebody says I want to scratch myself with a stick... If you get like a back scratcher, that's all I can think of. It's ruined me for the, the entirety of my life. It is grim. It is horrible. Yeah. It's permanent, dude. That is permanent brain damage from The Simpsons. Butt scratcher. Yeah, exactly. That whole thing, dude. It is not the best. <laughs> hey now, seventeen eighty with five hundred bits said, "Hey man, I love your stuff. Uh, You're changing many lives for the better." I was just wondering how important college is for getting a programming job. I'm away, Iron, and I really hated it there. Very isolated. So college can be incredibly effective. Like it can be very, very effective. You have to understand something: is anytime you're dealing with a degree, of any respect. You need to understand what the value of this is. It used to be very easily, you get the degree, you get the money, right? You get the degree, you get the job. That isn't always the case anymore. 
So the degree needs to be there to open doors for you. And part of getting that degree now isn't just getting the degree. It's the networking that goes into it. It's the relationships that you build while going to that college in the first place. It's incredibly important. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs, dude. What a badass. Thank you, seriously. That's very, very nice of you. You kick ass, dude. Ridiculously nice, so thank you. So yeah, the networking here, this is really incredibly important. So when we're talking about value, you need to really think about debt. You're living in a time right now where the percentage rates on borrowing are higher than they ever have been in the history of time. You need to be incredibly careful with how you absorb debt. You have to be incredibly careful about this. Do not screw this up. Think about your future. Think about what it's going to cost to repay that debt. And you need to think about it in respect of, let's say you do get the dream job. If you do, what is it going to cost you to repay that debt? How many years of doing that dream job to repay that debt? And that's the biggest part of this. Yeah, it's debt. Debt is a dangerous thing. It's a really dangerous thing. So if you're getting a shitload of extra money by working that cool job, but you have so much debt weighing you down that it's not actually effectively increasing your income, or it's going to take you 20 years to repay that, you're going to have a huge problem, right? So do think about what is your degree going to be used for? Is this actually being used as a key or not? If it is being used as a key, what kind of door is it opening? And to be real with you, one of the ones a lot of people forget about, do as many of your classes as you can at community college. As many as you can. In some countries, you don't have to worry about this shit. Here in the United States, we have to care about this. We have to care about this. Some places in the EU, you have to care about this as well. Thank you for the $15 to the moderators as well. Super nice of you. So like in the US, man, we largely have to be concerned with this. And like do a bunch of this shit at community college. Why? Because it costs way less money. It costs insanely less money. Anything you can do at community college, you should be doing at community college because it is cheaper. No one gives a shit generally about what college you go to anymore. And that's, that's really what that is. And here's another thing, to be honest with you. Let's say you're going for a degree. Does the job require a degree? Does it? What if you had certifications? Are there any certs you can get in lieu of a degree and get the same job? A lot of times, certs are going to be cheaper. They're going to be easier to obtain. They're not going to take you all of those years. You're not going to be saddled with a shitload of debt. You get the cert, you apply for the job, and they might just give it to you. You may actually get a job with this. And to be real with you, this is a big one. The entire time you're going to college, you should be applying for positions in the field you're trying to go for. So many people wait until the end. And they're like, when I get out, I'm going to get a big old job. The moment you get the job, you don't need to go anymore, frankly, unless there's something you're specifically targeting. So start applying the whole time. If you get a job in the middle of that, in the field that you're going after, the work experience is going to be worth dramatically more than most of the schooling you're going to be getting. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal. So certs and applying for positions the entire route. That's a great way to go. And it doesn't mean that you know, the document, the degree is useless. Not at all. But it can mean that in the beginning, that work experience is more valuable to you than it is getting that piece of paper. And maybe you go back later when you're in a better financial situation because now you have a couple of years under your belt doing stuff and you're going back to school so you can rank up your career rather than going to school to start your career. And that's the important thing. So many people wait to start their career until they're already dug deep into a hole of debt without having anything to show for it yet. And that's rough as shit. And I, I see it too often. Way too often. I got my degree after 10 years as a developer. Yeah, exactly. It's totally fine to do. Nothing wrong with it. There's no best in this shit. What the heck with $100 to the moderators? Dude, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. So I hope that makes sense. I hope it does. Yeah. Super good take. Well, thanks, man. Yan underscore underscore I with 500 bits said at Parade Software, what's your take on should I start making content in my language? Bulgarian, or in English. Also, I am going to open my company with a SaaS solution streaming it. Should I start locally in your opinion or go straight to international? Let's look at this first. I want to look at languages. Ads are about to start, but I want to know for Bulgarian. I would do to English. Normally, I would say it'd be fine for your language, but the average concurrent viewers for all of Bulgarian streamers is only 1,375. 
the average total channels is 80. So let's say, let's, let's just split this evenly, which is not going to be split evenly. Divide this by 80. That means there's 17 viewers per channel to go around. That's not great. That's really rough. It's a really, really rough one, frankly. We're going to wait for the ads, then we'll talk about it. Yeah. Side is that Twitch tracker. It's great. What just happened? We're waiting on ads. Not everybody gets them. If you don't have ads right now, you're lucky. Yeah, not everybody gets ads. It's based on your region, time of day, all that basic stuff. Yep. Is Game Maker a good engine? Great for 2D, man. And nobody on YouTube side is getting ads right now. So. No ads for Russia? That's true. There's no ad delivery there. How do I detect when ads are being shown? Twitch actually has a timer for me. We just use the timer. And ads are done. All right. So for those who don't know, I wait for ads here because ads on live content suck, but they help the channel quite a lot, so I run them. And we just wait for you. If you're not monetized, doesn't matter. You won't, you won't miss any content, man, unless I'm playing a video game where I can't pause it. <laughs> Which does happen. But yeah, so to be real with you, if you want to stream in Bulgarian, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're trying to kind of grow the audience from there... It may be pretty difficult. And the reason why is you've got about 80 average concurrent channels. You've got 1,375 concurrent total viewers. Largely, these are probably going to be towards the larger content creators on there, which means there's very few new viewers to go around. If you go to English with this, you can see that that disparity is quite a bit different. You've got a large pool of people that may be interested in checking out new content. That isn't to say that you shouldn't stream in your home language. You've got a lot of different languages that have a lot of different throughput on this. There's a large Spanish, Russian, Portuguese, French, German, Japanese, Chinese, Italian, and Polish audiences here on Twitch. And there's many, many more from there. It doesn't mean you shouldn't. It just means that it will likely be difficult for you in a way that I have never seen before because I am, you know, I stream in English, right? And that's the only language that I know. So with that in mind, it can be difficult. But again, you may be able to stick out that way and gain a core audience before you branch out to other stuff. It's more people worldwide. Yeah, that's all it is. Widen your reach. It's better to start streaming English. It could be. It could be. So here's a couple of ways it can go, right? This is why there's no silver bullet on this. Let's say that you start in English. You may actually get lost in a giant pool. No one will know. Let's say their English is not very strong because they know two languages. It may be more difficult for English viewers to identify with them or to interact with them, right? So let's say... You stream to Bulgarian. It may be more difficult for you to catch on, but that community may be more cohesive and may be more interested in bringing up more Bulgarian streamers because there's not that many of them, right? So there could be advantages to these. There could be disadvantages to these. You have to test the water. So what you do is you go, okay, here's what the analytics are. I can see the analytics for this. I know where Bulgaria exists. I know where English exists on this. Let's go try it and see how it goes. That's it. That's all that you have to do. You just say, I want to go see how this feels and see what it is. Bulgarian VTuber, you could be the one Bulgarian VTuber, dude. You could do it. You could do it. What is, what is this weird spam today? It's weird as shit. Yeah, test it. Always test it. 100% test it. Based mod, that was me doing it. It's weird. Weird ass, like, spam message today. Yeah. 
Where's Heimdall? Heimdall isn't banned for shit like that. That's like a weird... That's an edge case, dude. Yeah. I wouldn't even dare to check my own first language on that list. What is your own first language? Now I want to know. But... Hungarian? Let's see. It's doing just fine. Yeah, 6,000 viewers is kind of healthy, man. Nothing wrong with that. And like... You look at this. Look at Spanish. Let me see if I can find... Can we go to Spanish and look at this? Yeah, here's the other thing, too. You can actually find out what time of day. Let's go to Bulgarian real fast. I want you to see this. Thank you for the $111 to the moderators. God damn. Blue Superman. Thank you very, very much. Holy shit, dude. Waiting for it to load. That is a lot. Seriously. It's incredibly nice of you. There is a massive French community, too. Yeah, there's a really huge French community on this platform. So look at this. You can actually see what time of day most people in Bulgaria watch. And what time of day there's most streams. Now, here's something you see that's really interesting, right? What do you see in this? You don't see a massive disparity. Which likely means that the Bulgarian streams are a lot of smaller streams. It'd be interesting to know because the amount of viewers versus the amount of streams is about equivalent as it goes up. So I wonder if there's not one major Bulgarian streamer. I don't know. Be interesting. Go on to look into that. This is why you go and look into analytics. You give yourself questions that you can answer through test. Analytics is the best. There's like two of them. There's 80 average streams throughout a day. And at peak, it looks like there's 186 streams in there. Yeah. All right, next. Rev Free RB Junkie with 500 bits said, "Greetings, Thor. My dad's Hi. computer seems to have been infected by a browser hijacker. How screwed Oof. is he? And what should I do to help him keep his PC safe in the future? Thanks for sharing your expertise with everyone you rock. Also, seven. Using a completely separate device off of, like, on a different network, go and change all the passwords. Apply two-factor to all of his accounts. Right, that's number one. Number two." Go and clean that machine to whatever capacity that you think it is fully clean. Make sure that you are using things like either, you know, whatever your antivirus flavor of choice is. Turn on Windows Defender on that machine, number one. And then from there, just, you know, kind of move on. It's not really that big of a deal as long as there's nothing else that it says that it's doing. You, Yeah, you, you would, I, I would largely reinstall Windows most of the time with that kind of stuff because you, you don't know what the persistence is. If you haven't done a malware analysis on it, you won't know. And to be real with you, if you haven't used this before, if your dad, you know, if your dad's getting on in years or he doesn't understand the technology or whatever it is like that, even just to protect them from this happening again, look into what Kit Boga is doing. Let me pull this up. Let me grab this. Kit Boga created this thing. Him and his team created this thing called Serif Secure. I think it's like a dollar. Yeah, it's two dollars per device per month. And it is specifically there to stop your family members from getting scammed, especially ones that don't know the technology very well. Kid Boga's entire thing is that he scam baits. He wastes scammers' time or causes financial damage to what they're doing. It's phenomenal. Actually, actually phenomenal human being. And he streams here on Twitch and he's boss, dude. I love this shit. Absolutely love this shit. I think, yeah, the basic version I think is free. Yeah, or it's, it's like a free trial is what it is. So you should really check this out, man. I, I think what he's doing is phenomenal. And it might be really helpful. I always shout this out because I think it's great. Kitbug is so good, dude. So good. We raid him all the time, and then his bot accidentally bans a whole bunch of you, and it's very funny to me. <laughs> oh, it's so good, dude. It's an awesome service. It's a crazy awesome service. <sighs> Alright, next one. A Tomo Tom Tom with 500 bits said, Yar Cheer 500, I had an idea for an FPS. I was going to add a splash screen saying the game experience is better with headphones. But the kicker here is that there's no sound to the game. Crucial to the storyline, the MC is deaf, so I intended to starve the player of sound for immersion. Is this insulting to the player or is it a workable idea? For bonus points, I would add a hard of hearing mode as an easy mode with some sound. Lol. Thanks. Stay awesome. 
I think it would be really interesting for you to say this game is best experienced with headphones on, specifically to block sound. Be honest with the player about it. Say this is best experienced with headphones on over your headphones that will block sound. And explain the reasoning behind it. Some people will go along with it. Some will, will say that they won't. But like, I think that's kind of a neat idea. But you should be honest about it. Don't trick them into it. Because they're what's going to happen is this. You're going to get a whole bunch of people that message you and say the game doesn't have any sound. Why did you tell me to put on headphones? This is a bug, right? And say specifically, like, if you put on headphones, it will deafen the sound and it may give you a more realistic appreciation for the game. That's fine. If that makes sense, like, that would be a cool thing to try. And for all the people that are saying, like, no, don't do anything, don't do any of that. Innovation like this, interesting attempts at things, breeds interesting experiences. Ones that wouldn't happen otherwise because no one's trying it. Might be a cool way to do this, frankly. And if you have noise-canceling headphones, it may be even more interesting. A fully silent environment. Deaf people also feel vibrations from sound. True. And you may be able to get that kind of an experience out of it. Might be really interesting for that. So I don't know. I think it might be interesting. Maybe you can get, if you want to have a good experience like that, that feels more realistic, noise-canceling headphones, rumble support on the controller. That might be kind of interesting, right? Because you're feeling the sound rather than hearing the sound. There's so many different ways to do this in a way that's kind of fun and may give somebody a better appreciation for somebody who's living with deafness, right? Yep. It's kind of neat. Try shit. I think it's cool. Yeah, haptic feedback is cool. I dig that. Hmm. You could play noises at frequencies too low to hear. I don't know if that would work in a way for, like, vibration area, if that makes sense. So many different ways to do it. I don't know. Try it. Experiment, dude. Try things. Goma461 with 500 bits said your tax dollars at work. <laughs> your tax dollars at work. Eagle underscore Scout 2019 with 510 bits said hello Thor. Hello. My name is Eagle Scout 2019. I am a gamer. I have been gaming for 20 years. I have three black badges from death. If you did not hear the second part that means you are deaf. Why you like this? MR Devis underscore YT with 500 bits said have you ever seen, wanted to work with Ants Greater Minnesota. I forgot to put that in. It's a... It automatically changes me. <laughs> I forgot I put that in there. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, God, it's so funny, dude. Oh. God, that's funny shit. Greater Minnesota, dude. I forgot I put it in there to change it to Greater Minnesota. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. No, I, I actually... I love Ants Canada shit. A lot of my formicarium stuff that I have for my ant, ant keeping is Ants Canada. I like their stuff a long time. And uh, I always like watching those videos. I haven't watched in a while, but I probably should go back and loop back on it and see it. And see where their formicariums have gone. Because I got a lot of the ones from the very, very beginning. And then kind of went from there. And I'm going to be building a new ant setup soon. I want to get a 40-gallon tank, a big, massive aquarium tank. Put a moat around it and then have a new ant colony and then, you know use that to give you guys a cool ant experience, which I think would be a lot of fun. Because we make a big deep, like, full of dirt, do all kinds of cool shit with it, and I think it'd be fun to do. So, yeah. Playing anything in eight? Probably gonna be Helldivers, my dude. Love Helldivers. Lazy Coda underscore nine with 500 bits said, Yacht cheer 500 hello Thor. Hello. I really need your thoughts on it. Last Sunday you were absent and the Primagon was online, which is unusual. Mm. And he said that he is okay being your backup when you're offline. And that's came to my mind, HTTPS colon Oh god, what is, what is this? What is, what is this?
Maybe, maybe this community was a mistake. Maybe it was. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Don't have enough data yet. We'll find out, though. Give it a couple of weeks. Creamulant underscore based with 500 bits said, Hey, babe. Rise oh, no. and grind. Time to get wet with all of your favorite brands. When can we play some Dota 2 together? I don't... Dota 2? Dude, I... I don't like Dota 2. I actually don't like Dota at all. Do you want to know why? And this is going to be a stupid reason. There's actually... It's a really dumb reason. I don't like Dota 2 because it has a turn speed that's different per character. Why does every character have to move like a goddamn tank? Why? That is so... You say it's not stupid, I hate it. My subjective opinion is that this is dumb as shit, and I hate it. And it makes me not want to play the game. Flavor? Worst flavor. Out of all the flavors you could choose, you choose this. Worst flavor. Dog shit ice cream. That's what it is. That's what you've done. I hate that flavor. It's a bad flavor. My subjective opinion is that turn speed feels bad. It feels bad. It feels gross. I hate it. God, it's the worst. No, I don't like it. I've never liked it. And that's my subjective... That's my subjective feeling, right? You can enjoy the game all you want. I won't play it because of turn speed. I hate turn speed. I hate turn speed. The reason why is because I don't like loss of control of your character. And when you have a turn speed mechanic, it always feels like I'm fighting the game. I am always fighting the game to control my character. It feels like, why are you putting Quop in a MOBA? That's what it feels like to me. It's like an unnecessary barrier to movement. Why? Why do I have to corner like a bistro? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. I hate it. I hate the shit out of it. Yeah, it feels like input delay. Yeah. God, I hate it. I hate it in Warcraft 3 as well. I hate it in Warcraft 3. I hate it anytime there's turn speed. Turn speed feels bad, dude. Feels bad. Feels bad. Creamulant underscore based with 500 bits said, Hey, Jiggle Jumper. Death to false horny. W what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't even... I feel like I have to understand like 15 layers of slang to un to just decipher what you just said to me. <laughs> Odorous magistrate with five dollars said, "Have you ever tried to tell a dog to make like a tree? It doesn't leave, but it sure does bark." You don't deserve it. You don't deserve this. <laughs> you don't deserve the smirk that you just got. God damn it. Tyro underscore Thunderdrone with 500 bits said I might be biased as an Australian, but I think calling someone a C-bomb, if the bed compliment ever, since not only does the real thing provide human life, but also it can take a pounding and still function. Meanwhile a male gets groin shot and every man feels it like an AOE. <laughs> Australia, everyone. Yeah, this is, this is like, we've gotten into the weird hours of the TTS. This is what happens when I get deep into the TTS. That's what happens. Proud of you. I don't know where I want to put this. Don't mind us. Good old Aussies, dude. Why is that not matching with it? Womp. That should work for that. Godot is great. Godot is fantastic. Really, really good shit, to be honest with you. Some great programmer you already have there. Thank you. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, wrong button. Somewhat underscore eccentric with 500 bits said Yacht cheer 500 hello Mr. Pirate. Hello. I love you to the moon and back. 
What does that mean? The distance between Moon and Earth is 384.400 kilometers. Okay. Times two, because of the way back. That's 768,800 kilometers. A person can reasonably walk 20 to 26 kilometers a day. The average life expectancy is about 81 years. A person who walks 26 kilometers a day for 81 years straight would walk 769,217 kilometers. Close enough. To love someone to the moon and back means it's a lifelong commitment. Hashtag math is beautiful. Anyway, have a nice stream. If that was the original intention for that quote, that's awesome. And if that wasn't and you've mathed it out, also awesome. I like that. I like that. It gives an extra layer to the narrative. I dig that. I dig it. Totem Falico with 500 bits said hi, first time chatter but long time lurker. I. I'm so sorry. You can't hit enter too early. You can't. Hello. WJ Harness with 500 bits said Thor, so did bad. you see that the latest update to Black Mesa is flagging a Trojan for a lot of people? As a game dev, what are your thoughts on the situation and the response to it? A lot of the times it's not actually a Trojan. I'll give you a really good example. Um, Windows Defender changed something recently that is changing the way that it's doing, like, it's it's looking at string copy in a way that's very odd. A lot of our in-house plugin stuff that we do for Minecraft, those started popping up as Trojans recently, and we don't know why. It's false positives. So long-standing stuff like that, it doesn't necessarily mean that the developer is putting a Trojan in. It's just suddenly a lot of our shit is popping up as false positives as well. Always look at that stuff with a grain of salt. You know, like, always do. It's, yeah, could be a false positive. Could be a false positive. In our case, it was. With that one, I don't know. You'd have to do an investigation for that. But it is super shitty. Super shitty. Unless Jake is sharing Trojans with me. I mean, to be honest with you, I believe it. Yeah, Jake's probably filling up my machine with Trojans. Yeah. Sorry, my Trojans are in route. Yeah, exactly. Admit you're sharing Minecraft sh Trojans? No, it'd be Jake giving them to me. I'm the only other person running that shit. Yeah. Long con gnoming? Jake is in the unique position that he could know me at any time out of anyone in the community and I trust him not to do it. He could do it, but he hasn't. Even though he could. Yeah. All the mods are in that position? No, they're not. Wolf, I wouldn't open a damn thing that you sent me even if you said that if I didn't open it you would die within five minutes. Because I know for a fact you would know me. I don't believe shit you sent me. Not even once. Not even a little bit. You are on the list of mods that would know me. Jake is not. You are not the same. Yep. You are not the same. Outrageous. I know better. I know better. Kronos also wouldn't know me, but would probably allow one of you to do so. Mostly because he would be in the back going, <laughs> just like that. It's true. It's true. Yeah, you can't prove it. You'd be doing this and everything, dude. You'd be like, <laughs> that'd be you. I know you, Kronos. I know. You're always in for, like, a good somebody else is doing some bad shit. That's you, Kronos. I know that. You know that. We played EVE together. We both know it. Me? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> oh. Looks around innocently. Yeah. Yeah, I'm onto your bullshit. Ridiculous. No, Kronos would never do it himself. Someone else would just bring their plan to him. And then he'd be like, oh, well, I won't stand in your way. Kronos is the Trojan, it's true. Am I innocent?
Magical Star, I feel like you would know me on accident somehow. I don't know how, but I feel like that's how that would go. I feel like that's the way it would be. And then you'd feel bad about it. I think that's what it would... Yeah. You'd feel bad about it after you... Oh, shit. Yeah. The streamer's dynamic and not in looping shorts for him? I know. It's terrifying, isn't it? Shoot one with 500 bits said found a game for you HTTPS colon slash slash store dot steam pa Morel's the hunt. What is this? Why is this Morel's the hunt 2? What was Morel's the hunt 1? Simulation game about the mushroom hunting and wildlife photography. Explore diverse range of locations spanning across the globe. Increase your hunter and photographer levels by collecting a variety of mushrooms, photographing animals, and completing weekly tasks. Dude. Look at the effort put into this. Hey. Hey. That's lion's mane. Yeah. Collect that mushroom. Shoot that bighorn sheep. Collect that mushroom. This is kind of interesting. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Oh, there's morels. You know what it kind of like reminds me of? What was that um What was that Nintendo game? It was like take pictures of stuff. It's kind of like Pokemon Snap but mixed with there was another one. There was a different one. Yeah, Pokemon Snap was a really good example of it, but there was another, like, camera-taking game. Like, picture-taking game, and I can't remember what it was. No, you know what it is? It's Pokemon Snap mixed with Deer Hunter. That's what it feels like. Stinky. I kind of dig this, dude. I really dig this, actually. I'm liking this in chat. That's cool. When did this come out? It came out recently, two days ago. 100% positive reviews. But are they real reviews or meme reviews? This game is awesome. Love coming up to a big batch of mushrooms or finding a rare animal to photograph. Relaxing and fun game. All right. Not now, Mom. I'm shrooming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Classic indeed. All right, I'm looking at the chat. That's hilarious. Brilliant, actually brilliant. Thank you for the $20 to the moderators, dude. What a boss. Thank you Creamy very, very much. underscore based with 500 bits said, "I love this stream. More refreshing than squid ink pasta on a hot summer day." What's your ETA, by the way? Squid ink pasta is actually really cool looking. I've never had it. Is it any good? Is squid ink pasta any good? Yeah, I've never had it, dude. It's crazy looking. I have never had the chance to eat it. Look at this. So what they do is they take the squid ink and they put it into the, the pasta making process. So look at that. Look how wild that looks. It's just solid black. Does it have a flavor or a texture of any kind? You need to try it? Is there any flavor or texture change? Just a briny salty flavor with it? Okay, that makes sense. That might be kind of fun, right? I think the five gifted sums. Very nice of you. Yeah, it's got a briny fishy flavor to it. I think it might be really interesting. You know, as part of the noodle. It's mild, though. Interesting. Interesting. I had squid rice. It's so good. Hmm. Hmm. They generally also make it spicy at a restaurant. Wouldn't the spiciness remove the flavor? The whole point with that? 
I think that that would kind of defeat the purpose, if that makes sense. Are those your feet? My dude. What? Are you okay? It's time to go to the doctor. If you think this is feet, it's time to go to the doctor. I'm worried about you. We're all worried about you. It's time to stop. Yeah. Holy shit. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, dude. It's incredibly nice of you. Thank you. Seriously. Gotta wait for ads. <sighs> I'm so tired today, man. <laughs> You lift too much? I've been I've been moving everything to the other house, dude. I didn't get to sleep very much last night. I think it was like an hour and a half. Sucks. How was the moving? A lot. It was a lot of moving. Today I have to take this desk and move it. And Shay isn't here to help me. So I'm just gonna move it. Is the new house awesome? The new house is the coolest thing that I have ever seen in my life. It is the most insane place I have ever lived. And I can't wait to build a ferret rescue on it, dude. I'm s You have no idea. The layout is nuts. It's broken. But that's what happens when you have three different families build onto a house. The house tour? Eventually, yeah. I don't see why not. I've got a mailbox now. I built the mailbox. There's no well children, Kronos. God damn. Yeah. There's been like three different families that worked on the house. It started at like like a really small house, and the next family added onto it, and the next family added onto it. So it's like it's built kind of weird, right? It's kind of fun. <laughs> it's haunted deeply. Alright, the ads are over. It's just weird. There's basically there's this spot in the house. Where if you go upstairs, right, you have this weird thing where they like, they added the stairs here, and then it kind of angles like this, right? And it goes out like that. Now there's an option here. This is so weird. There's an option to go, like here, this is, this is the downstairs, so that goes down. There's an option to go this way, and it kind of opens out into like an area here. And then there's an option to go this way, all the way around. And there's a bathroom door here. And then if you go all the way around like this way, this is so strange. It goes like this. And then there's a door into the bedroom. Like this. And then the bedroom has a door into the bathroom like that. And you just have this like really weird like bridge over the whole house and then there's a door here and this door goes to my office now the really weird spot is that right here there's just an open area on the second floor and on the first floor that's shay's office so shay has basically like a zoo viewing room where you can just look down on shay and be like what you doing down there in your in your office pit how's it going instead of them like extending this outwards and like making a room there they just made a viewing pit, which is really weird. And you could just walk by and throw peanuts. Yes. It's very strange. It's really, really weird. So I don't understand this. I think the most horrifying part is this over here opens up into the living room, right? And this is like a banister and it wiggles. So you can wiggle the whole banister and you're like, why is that not connected to that really well at all? It's a little spooky. So... Yeah, and then, here's where it gets very weird. There's a tiny door right here, and that opens up to a landing that looks like this. All the way across like that. And you know what that landing looks like? Let me show you something. This is the haunted part. You ready for the haunted part? Let me go grab this. That landing up there, there's another tiny door, and that goes to an a weird secret room area 
And that whole area is where the camera sits for the ferret stream. And the weirdest part about this is that whole landing area, kids ran across that because their footprints are still up there. So people just like allowed that. And I want to show you how high up that was. Now, I'm six foot two. My head doesn't touch these door frames. That's like probably about 10 feet up. <laughs> and it's only about that wide of foot space. It scares the shit out of me being up there, but that's where the camera sits for the ferrets. Yeah, yeah. It's a weird ass house, dude. I don't understand any of this shit. It's weird. It's a weird house. Really scary for tall people? No, falling is the scary part, bud. Yeah, a little spooky. It's a weird place. I can handle that after stream. Nice. Put up a railing? Nah. Nah. Yeah, falling isn't the issue. It's the uh, sudden stop at the end. That's that's the real problem. So if we can stop that part, we'll be fine. Yeah. Zelda Takahiro with 1,000 Argentine pesos said, Hey there, Thor. I just watched your short on burnout within teams. I related heavily as I'm currently in a team project in college and I don't feel like I'm helping. Even though I'm the programmer, it's a relief it's not just a me thing and people have the same experience. They do. They largely do. It's... Any issue that you're dealing with in terms of, like, team feeling or respect for yourself at work or feeling of insignificance or feeling that your work isn't good enough, it's largely been felt by many, many people before you. R0 adds many after. with 500 bits said now that we have the AI, we need the real life comparison to compare. Hmm, which AI? Oh, actually, I have something. I forgot about this. I forgot to upload the shorts, and we have four hours for them to go out. It's time, chat. It's time for the shorts. I need to go download them. The shorts! Wow, this is... Why is OneDrive a piece of shit? You ever notice how OneDrive is a big piece of shit? You ever notice that? I have to go to it. I have to sign into it. Because if I click on this link to go and pick up all of my stuff... Oh my god. Yes, yeah, send me the stupid code. My favorite part about it is I go and click on this thing so I can download all these shorts from our, our editor. And what it does is it constantly tries to re-log me in over and over again and then finds out that I'm not logged in and then refreshes the page. It just does this over and over and over and over. So the page is just constantly flipping back and forth wildly, which makes no goddamn sense. All right. Download. Mobile ads. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> oh, these shorts are great. Hold up. Oop. The uploads are happening. 
The uploads are finished. Okay, so... Oh, by the way, I want you guys to know the TTP short has almost 2 million views and it got ad... It got monetization limited. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was monetization limited. Yeah. I mean, we knew it was going to, but... It's fine. To be expected. Got almost everything done. What level is your held ever? I think he's level 99. <laughs> it's my internet connection speed. One gig up, one gig down. All right. We're going to do You Are Not Your Job. doing it all right the short is about to be scheduled if you have a membership you are going to get it early as is tradition Then we're going to play Helldivers because it's 8 a.m., which is when we start to play Helldivers. But I'm pretty happy with this cutscene now. We finished all of the extra pieces. We fixed all the inconsistencies. Everything is ready to go. I just need to build up the cutscene for this now, which is great. Feels good. Then who is Steve Jobs? Steve Jobs is your job. That's right. We all take from Steve Jobs. He's actually like an SCP. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You have a job because of Steve Jobs. It's true. Harbat is a video game? Yes. Uh, Helldiver's time. It's time. It's time. Actually, I'm going to message Mouse and see if she wants to play. Oh, she's still awake. Yeah, Jake, that's actually really neat. Hmm. Should everything set up now? Let's go do it. Yes, exit this. Everything is saved. That's good. Switch over to the other machine for display. Hey, it actually changed to the right category for once. Holy shit, no way. That never happens. My god, it worked. It's a Christmas miracle, chat. It's a Christmas miracle. I have to manually change that every time. That's bananas to me. I can't believe that. Alright. Okay, so next. Because this is a live game, I cannot stop the Bezos. It is not possible. As such, the ad overlay system will be disabled. 
I will need to put up another add overlay system. Let me duplicate this. One moment. There we go. Now this is going to work. Now we'll get the logo randomly. It'll be fine. It's going to be good. So if you're streaming, yeah, stream every day, man. All right. Where is it going to be? Hell Diverinos. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. You actual goblin. Okay, other machine is running. Should be working. Is it gonna work though? Yes. And now we wait, Chet. Why do we wait? Because we have to hear a specific line of text. One voice line that is mandatory to start the game. Super Earth. Our home. Prosperity. Liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy. Democracy. Our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> Sweet liberty. No! Exactly what we needed. We just need some of that. Remind ourselves of why we fight. Oh. Oh. Alright. I'll just take all those medals. That's cool. I've been on in a couple days, but it's fine. This, by the way, the exploding crossbow, I think sucks. Not a fan. I likely will not use it. Yeah, I used it before and I was not a fan. I'm going to try the Eruptor because everyone said that's beast. See what it feels like. Yeah, crossbows, they're always great or they're terrible. I agree with that. I really agree with that. I'm interested to see what this feels like. I'm going to do fire doing more more fire. Yeah, fire for more fire. Yeah, the true way. Wait, are we still trying to take Marfark? Never oh, no, we, we took this planet. We don't need this. Purged of the alien menace. Kill 50 enemies using the auto cannon? Bleh. Yesterday's mission was kill bugs. Hellmire. The only bug planet is Hellmire. Actually disgusting. We're going to Martel. The bots plunder this planet of every last resource. Two billion of them? Good. And reclaim our land. Initiating FTL jump to the Martal system. Two billion bugs gone. Incredible, frankly. It kind of shows you how insanely effective the Helldivers actually are. Like, the, the scale of death is enormous. Was it meant to be a six-day mission? 
There's two bug worlds? You didn't look? You're right. Do you know why? Because bots are the priority. You can fight whatever you want. I'm gonna fight the real enemy. Alright? You have fun over there. Crazy what you can do when you don't put any value in human life. What are you talking about? Helldivers never die, dude. Helldivers never die. They just go missing in action. You know that? You know why they go missing in action? Because they dig underground to fight the enemy where they come from. Core of the planet. Fighting for freedom forever. It's true. Helldivers never die. Rock and stone, it turns into deep rock galactic. That's how it happens. Why do you think they have beards, Chet? Why do you think they have beards? Because they've been down there a long time, fighting for freedom. It's true. Not wrong. Marax Zero L with 500 bits said, Hello, Mr. Software. I'm just Hello. a simple goblin looking to sell you some of my products. I have teeth, mud, and berries. Do you want to mm. buy something? And you don't have to worry. I am not distracting you so my partner can sneak in and steal your mushrooms. No, we got my mushrooms. should never do that. You won't steal my mushrooms. Wow, this gun is weird. I don't know if I like this gun. Ah! Oh, goddammit. I did all explosives and it's bad. What? How did that blow up behind me to fling me forward? This gun feels like a weird-ass cannon. No, I don't like this. Yeah, this feels bad. This does not feel right. It's super slow to aim, too. Like, really slow to aim. It's a cannon gun, yeah. Not what I expected. Jesus Christ. Alright. What the shit? Okay, well something blew me up there. Why am I blind? What? 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 It's gonna keep moving, you know? It's gonna keep moving. Gonna put that over there. Jesus. What the hell is shooting me? I don't even know what it is. It's like infinitely far away. And it just hasn't killed me yet somehow. I hate it. Yeah, look at this. Look at this, like, see that circle? The circle is actually where it's going to shoot. Look how long it takes to, like, aim this. I hate this gun. That's a horrible gun. For me. This is not my playstyle. It didn't even kill that guy. I go land on that building. That's a whack feeling, dude. It's a bolter? I mean, I guess. I think it's got three shots, too, is what it's looking like. Okay. What are you even shooting at? You can't hit me from there, you bitch. Turrets. Jesus Christ. That's enough of that. Yeah, this doesn't even do nearly as much damage as the other gun that I normally use, either. The Plast Scorch is just a better use. Okay, I'm just gonna die here. Yeah. I, I'm gonna use this Plast Scorch. The Plast Scorch is that gun, but better times a million. There's no lock-on speed, slow shit. There's none of that shit. None of it's good. None of that gun is good. That's a terrible, 
terrible feeling gun. Yeah, no, it just doesn't feel good. Say no, Thor, it's not. Use the Plash Scorch and tell me that again. Like, legitimately. The Plash Scorch is that gun times a million, dude. There's no reason for that gun. None. Medium pen? Who gives a shit? The other one has an explosion radius, so just Rex. Rex face. Explosions are not exploding correctly today, too. So when I shot that guy in front of me, the blast back launched me forward instead of away. Which is a little bit weird. I don't know why that was happening. Okay. Yeah, weird. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go back to the blast course. It's a better gun, dude. Use it when you need to destroy factories? No. It's not a good use for that either. Okay, game. Can you reload? Thanks. It's such a bad feeling gun, dude. It's such a bad feeling gun. Or up there's a bigger blast that can blow up buildings? Where can you shoot the, the enemy building to blow it up? Like inside of the little vents? It's not blowing that up. <laughs> this gun feels so slow, dude. This is not my playstyle. This gun is not my playstyle, even a little bit. Like, legitimately not. You know, it's not even about it being used to it or not. It's the Plant Scorch is the same thing, but snappy. I'd rather go with a snappy gun than have, like, a slow-moving gun. Pretty much always, frankly. There's no reason for me to ever really have, like, a slow-moving boo of a gun, you know? When there's a snappy version that does the same shit. Wow. Annihilated. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. With this kind of fast-paced gameplay, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> I don't think that worked out. The Eruptor's good for bugs? I disagree completely. I'd rather use the, um, the Sickle for bugs, like 100%. Wait. Hold up. We're gonna ban a mission with Squad. It looks like we're up for a new major order, is what people are saying. Priority alert. Yeah, cause that- I don't even wanna play it with that gun. That gun sucks. Defending against Never using that shit again? Nope. Not even a little bit. Felt conf it felt Held worse than ineffective. I felt like I was sandbagging the team. The automatons are a far greater threat to liberty what? than we were led to believe. What? Succeed in the defense of at least ten planets. We can barely do two. This feels like a scripted loss, man. And they still have minus one percent an hour. We will cleanse this galaxy one. Oh my shit, time. dude. <laughs> we're gonna lose we're gonna lose so many planets. We have we have five days to defend against ten planets. That's a loss. That's crazy. That's super freaking crazy, dude. No, oh, even this one. And Astanu again. Which 2 billion bucks compared to 10 planets? Very different. I'm on Helldivers.io. Yeah, what? What are you trying to show me from here? 
Yeah. Same thing you're already looking at. All right. Charon Prime is the easiest planet to defend. They're all the same, man. There's no difference. If you're talking about this one right here, there's no difference with this. Yeah, there's there's no difference for any of those. They're all getting minus 1% an hour. 350k HP? I thought they were all normalized for HP. Oh, I guess they're not normalized for HP. Yep, we're taking Charon. Number one. Charon, go, go, go. Ooh. Let the enemy Fun new mission type. I love this mission type. Surrender? Get that man. Ban them. Ban them immediately. Jump Disgusting. Viscous underscore from underscore FMAT with 500 bits said sent a mod ticket about censorship in Foxhole chat and good thing I did else I would have been banned from the chat. After 15 days the current War 112 is now entering the late game where 150mm artillery and battleships are unlocked. The score is still tied at 19 colonials and 18 wardens. First to 32 VPs win. A bit of trivia wardens love white ash grenade it's based on Hawkins grenade. Since it's called white ash and comes in a flask it's also called s cum flask and wardens love it. Only thing I know is that wardens eat babies. That's all that I know. That's all that I know. Changes primary? Yes, I did. Smell a gnome? It's always Plan a gnome. underscore kit with 500 bits said this is such an interesting first stream for me to catch. Why, hello. Creamulant underscore based with Warden 500 bits confirmed. said as I am sure you're aware, I'm well known as the Garfield of smoked meats. I don't think that's I've true. I've been considering changing my brand to the master splinter of subtlety sources. Any advice on making the switch? Who made you this way? Oh, I forgot to do all the defense options. This is the fully defensive map, and I'm an idiot. It's great. How the hell am I almost level 100? Because I love this game. Here, come down here and help me defend this area. We gotta close the gates down here. Not the ones up above. It's a slow fallback mission. Defend it all. Are you ready for some ye and or ha? Dr. Underscore Zeno Underscore Abyssal with 500 bits said Hey Thor I recently left my job and currently going through work cover stuff while they investigate the harassment and abuse I suffered to the point where I had anxiety attacks nervous breakdowns. I am having issues adjusting to all the free time I have now and having trouble with motivation for my art or anything in general. I heard you went through something similar when you left Blizzard to work someplace else any advice for me would be great help. Yeah, to be honest with you, it's rough to deal with a situation like that, but you have to understand that whatever it is that you went through, that stays at that place. You know, that's that's the hardest part about that, is a lot of people will carry that with them forever, and they'll feel like all other workplaces are going to be exactly the same, and that is not the case. It stays in that location, you know? Why is this so loud? Yeah! Yeah! What the shit? It won't die! Wait, I'm shooting its guns off, it's fine. Eat it! Oh, laser, dude. So them adding those robot dogs is probably the scariest part about this, to be honest with you. Nice. An eagle. Yeah, just bomb it all. Just bomb it all. Just blow it all up. Doesn't matter what it is. 
Bombs for everything, dude. I think there's dudes in there. Yeah, you have to make sure that you are separating that from your old workplace to your new workplace. Whatever it is. It's the same with relationships, too. A bad past relationship doesn't mean that all your relationships are going to be bad. You can't treat people, new people that you meet, based on how one person treated you shitty in the past. It's a really common problem. Oh! I don't know if that killed the big robot dog, but I feel like it should have. Oh god. Oh god, there's horrible things out there. It's shooting you through the wall. Look at that. Look at that bullshit. Look at it. What is that? Because it fell inside the wall. That's bullshit. We all know it's bullshit. Okay. It's dead now. Ah, shit. How is that not dead? I think we're getting gimmicked right now, dude. I think we're actually getting gimmicked. It's kind of insane. The robot dog going and shooting through the wall. I've had a tank of the wall before. That's so dumb, dude. That really needs to be fixed, to be honest with you. Yeah, one out of eight getting gimmicked. Yoink. Hey, I feel like we're gonna lose this one. I don't, I don't really know, but I feel like... I feel like it's not doing so well. You know, Chet? You know what I mean? I just feel like... Maybe it just an inkling to my bones. Might just be a problem with me. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Got him. Requesting orbital strike. Freedom never sleeps. Nice. gonna keep shooting stuff into the mist. You gonna run out of hell divers? Nah, we never run out of hell divers because hell divers never die. Where is that even shooting from? Is there a tank in the wall? I feel like there's a tank inside the wall. Again. Oh, hi. Hey guys, I need your help. You shoot that thing? Thanks. Thanks for that. It's gonna, it's gonna do that, you know. I'll fire a big old laser through them, it's cool. You should probably stop taking the perch. We gotta go to the doorway. Doorway bed. Get another rocket off. Why do you have smokes? Smokes do not kill the robots. Well, that thing does not want to die. And there's a ton of enemies shooting us through the wall.
Jesus. All right. What? What? It was a sinking robot body. Reinforcing. My God, lads. My God. Yee. This is fine. We're democracy. Oh. Hey guys, I feel like the objective was failed. Feel like we may have failed the mission. So next time, I think we have to be full defensive. Mortars for everyone. And no smokes. Because the smokes are literally worthless on this map. And do not function. Yeah, it doesn't work. Smokes do not work. You need all the mortar turret types. Yeah. Gas does not work. Smokes do not work. Don't use those. Yeah, EMS is super broken on this mission mode. Yep. Hey, Celestial, what's up? Yeah, we're doing the new Major Order. We just failed the first mission, though, which is fine. Check to see if you got an email from PAX Day. I don't know if I would. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. We can never have too many heroes fighting for peace. One moment. No. Greetings, Helldiver. A Galactic Corps awaits. Oh, wait a minute. I got into the PAX Day Alpha. I applied for PAX Day ages and ages ago. And I was super, super into it. And they did the beta and I never got an email. <laughs> and now I get an email for the Alpha and I'm really excited for that. It's on April 23rd, it looks like. Shit. Okay. Alright. We're gonna have a blast doing that, dude, for PAX Day. It's a social sandbox MMO, which is my favorite kind of game. I've been waiting for Pex there. Like, a lot. It goes from April 23rd to April 30th. I already have an April 23rd partial stream set up, but not everything. So that should be fine. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're not doing that one. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a full defensive setup this time. Not... Not stealth. Full defensive setup. Mortars, mines, the whole shebang. Looks overhyped. Anything can be overhyped. I'm excited for anything that's going to be a social sandbox game. Yeah, no smokes. None of that shit. You and hissing cockroaches. Yes, I do. Creamulant underscore based with 500 bits said how's the moisture, Celery Batman. Please listen to Molecular Lionel and Nash by Longmont Potion Castle. I will. Never heard of them. Celery Batman. Creamulant dude. underscore based with 500 bits said please senpai please. Free me. Just ban me or make me a mod. Release no. me or drag me to hell. Either way, please, set me free. I refuse. I refuse to. 
You are entertaining. I'm glad Earth you're here. Trades with 700 bits said at Parade Software just wanted to let you know there is a regex for checking town names in the config.yml just control plus F regex. Yeah. By yeah, the way, that, so. I develop a custom Minecraft modded client and you're absolutely correct. Most of the work is getting Minecraft not to poop itself. It's awful, but I love it. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes, too. It's just like a whole bunch of Minecraft shitting itself on a daily basis. All right. All right. This is it. Wait a minute. I need to make sure you guys are actually taking things that make sense. Bring your mortars, dude. Shizuka, bring mortars. Over bombs. Legitimately. The mortars are going to have way more uptime. Like, dramatically more uptime. And mines. A billion mines. Mines. The mines. Odorous magistrate with five dollars said, "Do you know that the going price for a key lime is some gentle, sellable goods?" Which means you're the question and answer. Pirate softwares. You're the worst. Nomadic God, teddy bear with five hundred bits said at Parade Software, "Hey Thor, I have a question. What would be better to learn to make first if you're an absolute noob like yours? Truly, a two D game or a three D game?" Either is fine. You have to understand that, like. 2D versus 3D isn't really the issue. It is scope of game. You can make a really small 3D game and that's fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. You just have to understand that it's it's like all down to the features feature sets that you're putting in this. And sometimes it can be really big. You know, it really depends on what you're making. Can you not shoot my mines? Can you not do that? We need those. We need those mines. Leave them alone. Literal goblins, everyone here. Calling down a sentry. Deploying sentry. Requesting sentry. Yeah, there we go. It's like bubble wrap though. Are you seriously that bad? Reinforcing. You deserve to stay dead. Reinforcing. There's not even any enemies around. Get away from my minefield. What's the matter with you? Why are you like this? God damn it. Why? Why? 100% skill issue. Kami with 10 pounds said, Hey man, I wanted to let you know I taken your job interview advice and I want to say I managed to get to my second stages, thank you, and also I managed to get my level 3A plus for game dev 2. Dude, that's awesome as hell. You get to the second stage? What's the next stage? I don't even know. That's kind of a deep interview at that point. Took that one down. Throwing supply beacon. It's gonna shoot that tank up there until it dies. The hell is that thing doing? Okay, it's dead. Nice. I feel like this is going way better than last time. You know what I mean? Also, if this gigantic death cannon on my back can snap that quickly, then why does the Eruptor take 50 years? That's my big question right now. Broke that tank. Did that... It survived the fall and then flipped the ship off of itself. Okay. Very cool. Requesting fortification. Deploying minefield. Go my mines. Go my beautiful mines. Okay, we have to go. Going down 
Sending down a sentry. Sending down sentry. Requesting sentry. All right, it's good. Sending in an eagle. This is good. fire deal less damage to the bots not really i haven't seen any difference for that to be honest with you and plus i have the 25 percent bonus right now look at all these freaking mortars man like it's insane frankly like mortars are just so op look at this Yeah, I'm the host, so, like, it's definitely going to work for me. Diamond in the rough 429 with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500 hello Thor. I am looking into making a 2D game and am struggling to decide between Game Maker and Godo. I know I would want to make a 3D game later, but don't know if I should focus on Godo or use both. If it would help, the idea for the game is a top-down roguelike and all my previous experience in game design is Unity and that's very little. Got it. Yeah, to be real with you, if you're trying to look into making a 2D game and you're struggling to decide between Game Maker and Godot, you really need to look at those, those tool sets, right? If you're making a 2D game, then I would use Game Maker. But you're not. You're making a 3D game. I would not use Game Maker for that. It's not really well suited for 3D games. It'd be cool if the reticle was correct on that. That'd be great, I think. I feel like it'd be awesome for me. Let me know if I can get over there. There we go. Well, he's mad. Couldn't do that shit with an eruptor. Ooh. But yeah, to be real with you, I would not use Game Maker Studio for a 3D game, generally. It's really good for 2D, though. It's highly specialized for 2D. How are we jammed? Uh. It's an ion storm? Son of a bitch. It's an ion storm. You gotta be shitting me. Calling in reinforcement. Calling down a sentry. Requesting sentry. Calling down fortifications. Go, my beautiful mortars. Go, my beautiful mortars. Go forth. I don't even know if I hit it. I have no idea, actually. Will I kill it? After this long reload sequence? Yes. Maybe I will. It's dead now. Good. All right, it's time to dual wield. Is that dead? Is that alive? Sir? Sir? My dual wielding quasars? I feel like they should be dead by now. You know what I mean? Those doggos have a shitload of HP, don't they? Dual wielding quasars! I think it's dead now for real.
Oh my god, there's another one. Shit, 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 shit. I don't know if I blew it. I blew it up. I hit it in the vents. I hit it in the weird tubes that came out of its back. Fulf Kitty with 510 bits said some of your music super reminds me of my days in marching band in high school. <laughs> That's funny. Marak Zero L with 500 bits said something that I have find very interesting as of late is how a game can basically come back to life after getting something like a movie or a series. A yeah. good example is Fallout with its new series. It really yep. shows an interesting side of a player's mind and the power of nostalgia. Yep. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like Todd Howard. I won't ever believe Todd Howard. And I don't think anyone else should either. But if Todd Howard is on stage and Country Roads is playing, I will buy whatever that man is selling me. It's not a weakness. It is life. There's nothing I can do about it. My bones! Yes, yeah, several times even. Even for Alexa, maybe. You know, it's normal. Hey guys, we got we got baby enemies coming up the front door. Need your help. We need small arms. We need baby arms. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but I'm shooting it. Okay, we got five out of the eight rockets now. This is good. Got it. Nice. Yeah, we're setting mall, dude. Three and four fifths with 500 bits what? said is getting SYS admin on stream the same as getting known. No, no, it's not. Getting sys admin on stream is probably the funniest part of the day. Because it means you get to make fun of a sys admin and they hate that. Gets them all ruffled. Best part of it. 100%. Koneho387 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I just got fired a couple of weeks ago from a company I worked for as a front-end software engineer for 7 plus years, web development, I don't want to return to that world, I want to be a game developer, but I have the pressure to put food on the table, I'm married. I've saved money for this kind of scenarios to last like 4 to 6 months without a job. I feel lost and unmotivated to keep going, what should I do? Get a day job. Keep that four to six months of back of back pay, that like nest egg that you have there, hold on to it, and use it to make stuff while you have a day job. Like, you should be focusing on getting new income streams for yourself, not on following your passion project currently, because you have obligations. I would get that day job, I would try to work for that to get that income set back up, and then I would start working on your side projects. And make sure that you put into your contract that you're allowed to do this. Like, this is not easy to do. For anybody who's trying to say that it's easy to do, no, it's not. It's difficult as shit. But to be real with you, the right solution here is to take no risk. Or take as little risk as possible. You got a family relying on you, it's time to get rid of risk. And for a little while, it's going to be harder for you to work on that stuff on the side. It is very difficult to do so. But you can't do it. Adulting is a scam? Yes, it is. It's a scam for the rest of your life. Being an adult is sad. You're gonna be one. If you're not one right now. Yeah, financial stability first. 
Passion projects come from other things. We use our day jobs to fund our passions. All a paycheck is is cool shit and waiting. Ah, oh, shit. Cool. Got him. That's a... What? Calling down fortification! Calling down Put that infantry. over there. Put that Request one there. You know, I don't like... Okay. That seems a bit egregious, don't you Don't you think, you know? Seems a little bullshit right there. Just dropping that right there instead of my house. Very cool. We got one rocket left. We just got one left. Jesus, actual Christ, dude. How did that just go through him? Whatever. Don't care. We love to multi-track drift. We love to multi-track drift. It's almost dead. Got it. I just kept pummeling it in the side with no armor. You love to see it, Chet. Now, once its armor's broken, you keep shooting it wherever the armor's broke. Hey, L3, can you not stay out of the way of the giant cannon? Thanks. We did it! We get to escape. We get to escape. Can you have one more than one active mortar? Yeah, you can have a basic mortar and then also the EMS mortar. I don't know if you can have two of the basic mortar if they're they kind of overlap. I'm not sure, frankly. Switch apparently turned off your sub here. That's a little bit weird. It's like an auto sub. Odd. Should be Lil level. underscore Ember with 500 bits said good morning Thor and everyone else. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You kick ass, dude. D3 live with 1000 bits said hi you pirate. I've watched Hello. some of your stuff of Twitch and this is my first time watching a stream and donating hey. to one. But I was wondering if you could say hi to my friend Mobboss. H is a really big fan. I think it'd make his day. Hope you have fun fixing your code. I feel like this might be a very complicated ligma. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Hello, mob boss. That's right. Your friend had me do this, and I want you to know, mob boss. Even if they say that they don't, they smell. It's true. Your friend smells. Your friend smells. Yeah. And now you have this as a clip. And you can remind them every day. Your friend, D3 Live, smells. I know. Yeah, it surprised me as well. Horrifying, is it? <laughs> D3 live with 500 bits said, Hey, a pirate. I've watched some of your stuff off of Twitch, and this is my first time watching a stream and donating to one. But I was wondering if you could say hi to my friend Mobboss. H is a really big fan. I think it'd make his day. Hope you have fun fixing your code. Well, I would, D3 Live. I mean, you did just donate the same message a minute ago, but unfortunately, when I tried to get near your friend Mobboss to say hi, uh, the overpowering stink from Mob Boss. Your friend, your other friend, D3 Live, your friend Mob Boss is now the one that smells. Yeah, I know. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. I don't know how this happened. Depressing, even. I know. It's, it sucks. It's like, who could have known? Who could have known? Yeah, what a twist. What a twist. 
Stephen Medley with $10 said can be filtering everything you're checking. It can be filtering? What? Yes? No? Maybe? Robo underscore Psycho with 1000 bits said thank you for inspiring my friends and I to go after what makes us happy. We've started making games as a result of your inspirational speeches that you give. So thank you so much Thor and team, from the bottom of our hearts less than three. Thank you very much. You're awesome as hell. Little Otaku with $5 said I think it's super cool that you always encourage people and give tips on how to pursue their passions, but how do you find your passion? By trying everything. You won't know what you like at first and that's okay. You need to learn about the person that you are. And you don't know who you are. As much as people go like, oh I know what I like, I know what it is. No. You know which things you've liked that you've been exposed to so far. You need to try things. You need to do stuff. And then eventually, you will find, hey wait a minute. I found a bunch of new things that I like that I didn't even know existed before. You just keep doing that. You never stop. And eventually you get to a point where you're like, wow, I can do all this cool stuff. I know so much about all these different things. And you find the things that you like the most. You just kind of run with them, man. You finished the move to the new house? No. Not at all. There's so much left to do, dude. I think the worst part about it is I can't even fully move. I have to keep commuting to this house. Because the new house doesn't even have internet yet. Not real internet. <sighs> it's running on 5G. It's grim. How long to the internet set up? Unknown because of bureaucracy. That's right. We have to wait for the county to approve the build project. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it sucks so bad, dude. What's wrong with 5G? Have you ever tried to stream on it? Now put like three streams on it. What about five streams on it? Yeah, it's not the best. Plague Tech with $2 said I cast manual breathing. Thank you for all you do. I cast manual blinking. Yeah. Blizzard with 500 bits said you talk so much about your love of bugs. A democracy officer is on his way to ask you some questions. I... Shit. Don't worry, I escaped. It's fine. Don't, uh... Don't go looking for that democracy officer. He's... He's busy. Oh, that's good. This will only go well, right? Hey, it did. I thought that was gonna kill me. Sick. Oh! Somehow not dead. Tell me again how the Eruptor is a better weapon. Just wondering. Man, I was hoping that rock would work. The Eruptor just can't aim the way that it was doing it. Yeah, it's just not a better weapon. It's not a better weapon. All boom? Yeah, no, it doesn't work. The bigger explosion isn't good if the damn thing can't aim. Did I not kill either of those? Shit. I landed right between them. That also landed right between them. But in a good way. Is this where I died? Get out of here. It is. Thanks, past me. Ah, oh, God. Jesus. How did I not die? Skill. You'll have to get some of that. Unfortunately, we're fresh out. I've taken all of it. I know. Upsetting, isn't it? Seems to be a lot of dudes here. This is not good. Oh, Dianus. I mean... You know, I feel like this ain't a fair fight. Calling in 
How about, how about we just... How about we just do that? That's fine. I didn't need those legs. Worm strat. Worm strat. Always live, never die. Alright, we're good. We're good, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no thanks. There's a lot of bullshit over there, and I don't like any of it. You know, I'm not really a fan of that. But I'm gonna let it turn like that and just ignore me, that's fine. Man, they're really good at shooting, you know? Jesus, Jesus. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. They can't really shoot me from this angle. That would be physically impossible, which means they can shoot me from this angle because this is Helldivers. Alright, there we go. I think we're good. I think, I think we're good. Nano underscore underscore 2K with 500 bits said hi. I've been a software Rocks. engineer for 10 years and noticed in the recent months that I'm mentally absolutely drained after work. Okay. Even though I have a relatively low stress enterprise job without overtime and take short screen breaks each hour. I just want to get away from screens, even though I'd like to game or work on personal projects for a bit. Do you have any tips about managing mental capacity and screen fatigue during work days? Yes. Oh, oh, okay, hold up. Out of stims. I'm out of stims. We're jammed. Fine. Blow up later. Yeah, to be real with you, it's really difficult dealing with screen fatigue. You may actually be having a problem specifically with blue light. Have you tried getting blue light filters for your glasses? They can be really helpful. It depends on certain people will have problems, certain other people will not have problems with this. That may actually help you a lot. You may want to look into blue light filter. Yeah. And that's that's a big deal. Also, get up, drink some water, move around more often. That's a big one. And if you're dealing with, like, your office just feeling like shit, it may also be the lights. The lights, the long tube lights, make me feel like ass. I hate those. They make me so pissed off, I can't be around them. And I don't know what it is. It's like a frequency thing, or like a vibe. I don't know. I don't know. The lighting does something where it pisses me off. So I get it. I super get that. And it, it's going to come down to, like, changing some stuff about your general environment. Until you get to the point where it makes sense. And that's not easy to do. Especially if you're inside of a job. And they don't let you change anything. 1,005 or 100% agree on the tube lights. The tube lights suck ass, dude. They're the worst. If you're in an office where they make mandatory tube lights, why? Why do you hate me? Rude. That is deeply rude. Where do they even show up from? I feel like they should take off out of that thing, like, slowly, but they just kind of appear. Just out of goddamn nowhere. We love you, Thor. The robots are wrong. That's fine. Thank you. Do the best. They're deeply rude. They are. Little underscore Otako with 500 bits said, I think it's really cool how you always encourage people and give tips on how to pursue their passion. But how do you find your passion? It's this. I already did. This and running the ferret rescue. My whole p hope is to make sure that the internet that I grew up on can exist again after I am gone. And the more of you that are creative, the closer we are to attaining that goal. Literally. And I feel very accomplished in that. I feel very happy about it. Also, it means the internet's going to be cool as shit. Is that a dupe? I don't think it's a dupe. Unless it's like a long time ago dupe. No, I don't think that was a dupe, dude. No? No? Was it a dupe? From when? Was it a dupe from a different day? Mm hmm? I hope you're right. I think the internet is crappy from other reasons, but alas. Well, who gives a shit about those reasons? The internet's dog shit the way that it is. But it doesn't mean you can't have a good time on it. It's not the same internet I grew up on, but my god, can you make it feel that way? 
Go make something on White Team and D. Do it. Who's gonna stop you? Nobody. Didn't need those legs. They were holding me back. Undemocratic legs. Cool laser. Yeehaw! God, I love this gun. And this is why the Plaz Scorch is God. Best goddamn gun in the game. Oh, oh, oh. Got anything else here? No, we took it out. We're good. Yeah, towers? What towers, dude? Yeah, I use the sickle when I'm fighting bu uh, bugs, though, because it just rips hunters to... Juggled. Pretty good. I'm just gonna limp a moment. It's fine. I'll I'll walk it off. Yeah, I use the I use the sickle when I'm fighting bugs, dude. It just rips hunters to death. I tried to dive and it was it was not enough. He shot me in both legs as I was jumping. <laughs> Which class is the big iron pistol? There's no classes in this game. You're all one class. Old diver. It's pretty pretty good class to have though, to be honest with you. Dropping a pin. Northeast. Far. I'm gonna go take out those dudes. Calling down a support weapon. Give me my big gun. I wish for the big iron. Want to see something cool? You shoot that with a quasar? Oh. Fine. Fine, take it. It's yours. I didn't want it anyway. I didn't want it anyway. Yeah, the reason... The reason why I like the Blast Scorch is shit like this. You can actually just shoot directly through the armor on these. And the explosion will shoot through those shields. It'll shoot through the armor of those walkers. It kills everything, dude. It's inconsistent damage on the small targets for some reason. I don't really know why. Blah. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying. But it's great otherwise. Fantastic. And see that? Love it. Ridiculous. Actually insane. For prosperity. But use the eruptor, they said. It's amazing, they said. No, thank you. This shit is red. Honestly, the best goddamn gun. Loot. Rare sample acquired. Rex slips. That's useless. Sample collected. I just hate reloading all the time. I mean, you're going to be reloading all the time either way. One of them has a lot of downtime. The other one doesn't. Got it. Nice. We make a good team. You know what? Hey, do you think it really needed to drop all those dudes like that? I don't think it did. Oh, 20 kills out of that. It's your favorite gun in the deck and Helldivers? The arc gun, but it gets very little use against the robots. It's my favorite. Arc throw is just amazing, dude. It's just fun. It's a fun gun. Feels great. Shits on things. 
I also think it's rather overpowered. I'm moving in. If I don't make it back, then I... I didn't die, because hell divers never die. So you just don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Nice, Hellbomb. Defend the Hellbomb, Chet. It's your only way. You and Chet, you have to defend the Hellbomb. Rally yourselves around the Hellbomb. I got the terminal. Oh, God damn it! I lit the bomb. But someone has to stay behind to make sure it goes off. L3, do your job. I believe. I'll always remember you, L3, because you're not paying attention. I'll always believe. Well, we did it. Proud of you, L3. You will be remembered. L3 mission successful. I don't know what just happened there, but I didn't like it. That was, uh... I think what happened is I got knocked slightly under the ground. And when I got knocked slightly under the ground, what it did was it hit the water plane that was there. And then caused me to swim back out of it. Oh, shit. Shit. Well, I'm gonna die. Maybe not. Nice. That thing's dead. New Damn it. Drop ship. Got it. Sick. Alright. Time to go do this. Let's get the hell out of here. Grenade pistol and stun nade looks com good combo. Honestly, the grenade pistol is freaking insane. It's just not that good against bots. I find it to be really, really strong against bugs. Like, closing bug holes, it's just OP, dude. The one problem that I have with it is ammo reloads. It only gives you one bullet back. So it's like one of those weapons where, like, you use it and then you die, right? Yeah, the bug hole closing pistol. Bingo. It's amazing for that. It's like absolutely freaking incredible for that. Hook 0076 with 1000 bits said 3DFX Voodoo 3 is life. I've never actually had to use it. Never have. Don't know anything about it. Only things I've ever used is like Maya, 3DS Max, and Blender. I've never actually used Voodoo. I don't know anything about it. None at all. Unless you're talking about like not a program of some kind. It was a graphics card? Yeah, I don't know shit about it then. I thought he was talking about a program. That's how little I know about that. Yeah. Literally don't know shit. Oh! You ever just miss? Let's not talk about it. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. You're too young for it? <laughs> how old do you think I am? Too young for it. Jesus, dude. Was it a discontinued card series? Definitely under 40? Barely, but yes. At least 18, yes. 55, how dare you? Let's start printing dudes. Alright. Start printing dudes. Guys, get down there. Go, go, go. 
It's from 1999. Okay. That's cool. I think it was 12. Yeah, it was 12 at the time. Should before I started giving shit about hardware. Yeah. I was born in 87, man. Careful about using the shield of Quasar. I've never had a problem with it. Is there some kind of new issue? Yeah, 87 kids, dude. How long do you think we can print dudes before the enemy finds out? How long do you think we can do it? Lux Archangelus with 500 bits said Yar cheer 100 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 have a nice day Thor. Aww. Very nice of you. You have a nice day. Thank you very much. JTXRD with 500 bits said Yar cheer 500 Hey Thor, I am a 3D artist developer on Fallout. I always wanted to make a game but I always quit as I feel it does not develop the skills I need for my career. Okay. I do not know any 3D artists that created good indie games. To be honest with you, so you're a 3D artist developer on Fallout. Which Fallout? That's the biggest question. 3D developer, 3D artist developer on Fallout. You're talking about Fallout 1? Are you talking about... Because that's not 3D, is it? As far as I know, that's just sprite work, isn't it? You can do Vegas? You Fallout 76? Like, what do you work on? We're going to follow. It's a lot of different stuff there, right? Yeah, old school stuff. Yeah. So, like, to be real with you, if you you quit as you feel it doesn't develop the skills you want for your career, well, what skills do you want for your career? And to be honest with you, there's no real reason to quit a well-paying job right now. Keep your well-paying job. I wish you hadn't quit. You can use your job for money and then develop your skills in your free time. Because you can. It's like a totally normal thing there, right? Album color for cover for Fallout Boy? I don't think it was that Fallout. I think it was. I didn't think it hurt you because you don't have to print 50 dudes no more. I mean, we're going to keep printing 50 dudes. This is the wrong mission. The, the 50 dudes mission is a different mission. And it will still be 50 dudes. <laughs> they have not changed that one since and it is overpowered and obnoxious. Not fun. So yeah, to be honest with you, it's really going to come down to that, man. Like... You should use your day job to fund your passion projects. If you're trying to get your fulfillment and your money in the same place, it is largely rare. It is possible to do, but very, very rare. Incredibly so. If you manage to get both in one job, keep that job no matter what you do. Keep it. Because it'll be 100% worth it. That shit pays dividends. Usually, that is not the case. Usually. Yeah, let me just delete whatever that is. There, it's gone. Boop. He's dead. Standing in an eagle. Print more dudes. Print more dudes, Chad. That's a little bit weird. Oh, that's fixed. Dudes. Print the dudes, Chad. your sharpness setting? I don't know, dude. I think I just set everything to ultra. Dude printing is the best part of this game. It's true. You think I could shoot through this metal fence? I totally can. Cool gun. Lower team dude printer. 
Would you like the honor? Very risky, worth. Dude, printing is the best part of real life, too. I'm out of you. Man, when are we going to get enough dudes for this? Attacking map, southwest. Nice. Please don't print chads or brads. Why are you like this? Who made you this way? Big Rex 12 with 500 bits said I bought the soundtrack. Why nice. is it such a bop? Uh, it's such a bop because Stein, our musician, is actually a wizard. And they use dark magic to summon the cool music from the netherworld. It's kind of freaking rad, frankly. But uh, we don't want to know who they're sacrificing for it, so don't get on Stein's bad side. It's important. It's important. No other dudes. Yeah, Stein's cool, dude. Stein's freaking rad. Stein is uh from the Netherlands and makes amazing music. And they're a musician. Sacrifice two billion bugs, I know. I heard it was done in like fifteen hours. It was a five day event. It's just destroyed it. It's freaking awesome, man. I didn't even get to be a part of it, frankly. How'd you find them? I held up money on the internet and I said, I would like to pay someone to make music. And Stein was like, I would love to make music on this. Yeah. I recently made the decision to start Python. I'm having trouble on where to start. Is there any free course or websites you recommend? It depends on what you're trying to make. Like, Python is a really versatile language. It's used for a whole lot of different shit, frankly. And the biggest thing that I like Python for is automation. Most definitely automation. And a good book for you, if you're trying to go down that route and do automation shit, look up Automate the Boring Stuff with Python, which is a No Starch Press book. Which I love No Starch Press. They're awesome as shit. But if you're trying to do something else with Python, there is a shitload of literature for it. An insane amount, frankly. Alright. This should work. All right, good. Let the cycle begin. Let the cycle begin. Alasta 359 with 500 bits said, Hi, you Thor. I recently fell face first into a career, not job, career, as manager, gambling industry, with duties such as setting up local networks, troubleshooting proprietary hardware and software issues, and just so keeping up on poisonous. basic maintenance, POS, small local service. Okay. Are there any certs you'd recommend to stay relevant in the field? I don't want to go back to factory if this specific job doesn't work out. Okay. I think the biggest thing there, and it's it's the one that I the, or the two that I always recommend. If you're in the IT industry, Net Plus and Sec Plus are the two biggest ones for you. Like, they're so goddamn useful. You'll learn so much shit from this. You learn so much shit from that, dude. Yeah, Net Plus, Sec Plus, and CCNA. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with any of that, dude. That's really useful shit. I would like this to very much stop. God damn it. You know, a building is supposed to be cover. Not a liability. Why was he the only one who got in? What? What happened?
The ship took too much damage? Well. No, I just jumped on the ship. Yeah, people say that when the ship gets too damaged, it just leaves the moment someone touches it, which is kind of dumb. It just feels like a bug. Yeah, it feels like a bug when that happens. Dude, we've landed like 50 500 kilogram bombs on a ship before, and it doesn't do that. I don't think it was the 500 kilogram. It feels like a bug. So brunch. It does. Skull Queen Studio with 500 bits said hello, Thor. Also, happy birthday. Wanted to ask if you have heard of two games. One is Bramble the Mountain King, and the other is Inscription. Yeah. Daniel Mullins is a dude that I got to meet at um, Dreamhack ages ago. He's an awesome guy. Really, really nice dude. And we talked a lot about Inscription when he had it kind of like internal. And I, I got to play it at Dreamhack in the beta format. And then I got to play it on stream once he got it finished. And I've always been very impressed with his work. Like insanely so. Crazy, crazy impressed with this stuff. Because he's just freaking rad. He's a nice dude as well. Yeah, Inscription's badass and, and Dan is an awesome dude. Which is rare. You know, you get a cool game developer. A lot of game developers, many times when they make a banger, they uh, kind of get their own up, like up their own ass about it. I find it's really hard not to, because you're like, I made this thing. Everyone loves the thing. It's it's like that with anything, right? Anytime you make something creative, you can turn into like a big shitty snob, and he absolutely didn't. And he's just a phenomenal human being. Cool guy. Yeah, really cool guy. And he takes. Very experimental twists. I think it's the biggest thing with it. He takes incredibly experimental twists, which is rare in the industry. It's awesome as hell. Auto cannons a support weapon? Yeah, I don't like using it. Would be amazing to meet you one day. Go to PAX West. Or go to TwitchCon EU. Or go to Open Sauce. I'm going to be at all of those. Or DEF CON. I'll be there too. Yeah. Have you played Pony Island? Yeah. Open sauce. That's right. I'm going to go there and I'm going to open sauce. Better than Dug Dug, who says he's going to do it better than Point Crow, which means I'll be better than Point Crow and Dug Dug. By association. That's how much sauce I'm going to open. You'll see. You'll see. It's open sauce, dude. The spaghetti festival? Sure. That's it. We'll have a lot of spaghetti. Be good. Got a this could be fun as hell, to be honest with you. Isn't Def Cut cancelled? I know. Sad. Hi. Jesus. Here, I'll give you one of those. You can, you can have that. It'd be cool if they died to that ever. You know? Man, it'd be cool if anything died. Jesus. This is getting insane. I'm getting out of here. Just gonna let them have it. Hey, we got the escape pod data. Let's go. I'm going over here. Ow, my bones. Tactical asset near your position. Cool cannon, dude. Look at it go. Why am I climbing this? What is shooting at me? Oh my shit. I, why am I climbing every surface? You know, I feel like this is a good time to use this. Just gonna put that over there and then call it a day. Yeah. Good use. Nice. Nice. Down it goes. <clears throat> All right, heavy automaton post dead. Now we've got this. Hell Divers 2 should introduce a Moab equivalent? Dude, that should be the 500 kilogram bomb. 
Instead, it feels like a 500 milligram bomb. Randomly. Where, like, sometimes it just doesn't do any damage. What? I'm around a corner. How did that rocket just hit me around the corner? Okay. Do jumping bugs still have iframes? Yes. Yes, they do. Do I still think it's bullshit? Yes. Yes, I do. By the way, they're feet of the weak spot. So you should know. They really don't like people knowing about their OnlyFans. Shoot them in the feet. I'm out of ammo. Holy shit. Holy shit. They just don't stop. Why do I keep climbing? Auto climbing sucks ass. I wish I had to press a button to climb. Auto climbing is like the worst feeling in this game. You can't just like parkour. Yeah, exactly. This just sucks. Oh, that was a dude. I thought that was a light. Well, shit. F. I thought it was a light. I can't tell. There's no indicator on the damn thing. I had a little bit of a moth moment, all right? It's not my fault. Oh, that's a tank. I don't like tanks. All right, let's think about this. What do we got that can blow up a tank? Could it be... a 500 milligram bomb? That sticks to the front of it like a boss? Oh, yeah. Yeah, milligram, dude. That's why I didn't kill anything nearby, just the tank. How did that not kill that? Actually insane to me. Sometimes these dudes die instantly. Sometimes they take like two full clips. It's kind of ridiculous, right there. This map is spicy as shit, by the way. What is win in this context? Shooting the missile. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the SEAF turret up. Good day to shoot missiles. True, actually. Unironic. What is this one? Okay. Mission is progressing. Requesting advanced weaponry. I don't know if this is completable because of that. Package acquired. 
Heavy armor is useless. I agree with that. It's Bing not Mar very good at all. With 500 it's bits never said, good. Have you played Minecraft Earth? No, I've never actually played Minecraft Earth. That's the Minecraft version of the um, the uh, GPS games, right? I think that is. Yeah, I've never actually ended up playing that. Never did. Yeah, is he playing with bots? No. What? Killer Why would underscore whale with nine bots, K with dude? 500 bits said before I found your hacking programming Copy content. Pack. My previous inspiration was Eric S. Raymond. His How to Become a Hacker and How to Learn Hacking were my first exposure to software design philosophy. I've noticed you share a lot of the same ethos and was wondering if you had heard of him or read any of his content. No. HTTP colon slash slash www. I've never heard of his content, never heard of him. Don't know anything about him. I'm gonna have to check him out now. Thank you for the dollar to the moderators, by the way. It's incredibly nice of you. We're doing it. The real Mergizmo with 1000 bits said thank you so much for your encouragement. I am finally getting into what I always dreamed of doing, which is coding, game design. You're a legend. Nice. No, you're a legend. Good job on that. It's not easy to do. Getting started in that realm is very difficult for a lot of people, so you're kicking ass, man. Yeah, eat it. No feet for you. No head for you. Found something. Hey guys, I found a double door. Parking location. Sample collected. Found something. Double doors. S2's Double in the way. Nice dive, dude. <laughs> Friendship door. Oh, triple rare. But no super credits. Deeply upsetting. Well, that sucked. I think that's probably the worst double door I've ever seen. Unironically. That's probably the worst one I've ever had. Yeah. Rough, dude. Wolfbane LX88 with 500 bits said is a hot dog a sub, sandwich, or taco? None. It's a disappointment. It could have been a bratwurst. What a waste. What a waste. This is not good. Shit. How is that thing not dead? I did dead on with a grenade. God damn it. Yeah, literally getting rolled. Survived. Shit. Requesting orbital strike. Eat it. Hey, buddy. Getting those legs. That got rid of that. Fire in the hole. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes on this map. Oh, dude. That's way too many dudes. It's way too many dudes, man. There's way too many dudes. Okay, got it. Surviving. Always live, never die. Always live, never die. It still won't die, will it? Look at it. Just look at it, man. It's a missile hulk. Alright, it's dead. My life for Super Earth. Why does it make the stim noise and not give me the stim? It makes me sad in my bones, Chet. 
Joseph Turnbull with $2 said Keanu Reeves is Shadow the Hedgehog. I know. Keanu Reeves is also a mortal. He used to go by the name Charlemagne. So I feel like he could pull off the role. He's been acting for thousands of years. You don't believe me? Look him up. Also look up Paul Mon like Paul Monet. That's him as well. Yeah. It's true. Dax should go look at Paul Monet right now and tell me that's not Keanu Reeves. Because it is. Thousands of years. You know the truth of Keanu? You mean the fact that he's immortal? Is that what you're talking about? Because we all know. It's an open secret. He's an old soul? No, he's just old. And may or may not have a soul. I don't know if immortals have souls. Yeah, unconfirmed. But it is confirmed that he's immortal. So that's the thing. We don't know how, but we do know he is. Yeah, Monet, dude. Paul Monet. Sending in an eagle. Yeet. Oh, perfect. Look look at it. Oh, that that's a salute. Dropping a pin. Northeast. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one right there. Sometimes it just feels perfect. Like a glove, you know? Like a glove. I've got this one. J1T1 with 500 bits said hello Thor. What percentage would you say Heartbound is it in terms of completion? The current chapter is at 98%. The um, overall game I think is at like 78%, but that doesn't really tell the whole story. Because generally the way that we calculate percentages on total overall and different areas of the game take different amounts of time, so that's just based on total number of tasks. The next chapter is probably going to take me about three months. The current chapter has taken me years because it has been a lot of delays and a lot of other shit, frankly. It was also probably the most difficult writing I've ever done in my life, so that's fine. Dish is bugged for you, won't turn. Let me go try it. I've got this one. Lurk for quite a while. Can a new player still get into Helldivers? Yes. Absolutely. In fact, we always need new Helldivers, dude. Get into it. You know how to write? I'm the programmer, writer, and designer for Heartbound. So, I'd hope so. You gotta get off the terminal so I can hear it beep. Oh, I guess it beeps anyway. There you go. Yeah, I didn't know if it beeped or not. Attacking map. North. 300 meters. Thank you for the five dollars the moderators. You kick ass, dude. Sheenus with 500 bits said they could have done something like, e.g. have call modify the custodes process, as well as the ASTARTES process, like he did with the Primaris Marines, but they didn't. I agree with that. Yeah, no, we were talking about this earlier. I don't understand why they went the direction that they did. I think it's only going to piss off the community and kind of turn people against each other in a way that is negative for the game. It's You should never retcon. You should always add to the story. And I, I don't understand why they've done that here. It's just going to make people mad. Very odd. Really, really odd decision. But, you know, that's what they want to do. They're just going to cause a problem. Here we're talking about Warhammer 40k. Yeah, Warhammer 40k. Man, it'd be really cool if this was not a problem. He can't shoot me from there, surely, right? Man, it'd be really cool if that chain gun machiner would not be doing that much damage. What is shooting me? You? Sit down. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Are you there? No, are you there? Hello. Down he goes. It's fourth dimension in Warhammer 40k. 
<laughs> it's actually Warhammer 401k, because you have to take out of your 401k to play with the minis, right? That's how expensive they are. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Best part, you don't actually have to shoot the battery directly. It's got to shoot anywhere along the back half of the thing. When you're using this gun, anyway. Oh god, there's even more. Dropping a pin. East. 200 meters. Hmm. I hear something shiny. Rare Sounds like required. loot. Affirmative. Yeah, plus Scorch, dude. Shit's amazing. I love it. Brookabunid with 1000 bits said, Hi, Mr. Awesome MF. I'm a dyslexic trying to learn coding, GML, and I suck. Haha, ha, still waiting on my drink question I sent you a few days ago. And what the deal with the Norwegian name on your mic stand? Viking oh. Steel in your house, hooray. Yeah, it's just the name of the company. It's funny because this doesn't come off. <laughs> it doesn't come off. Which has made it sort of funny. Yeah. I think of the $3 of the moderators. I don't actually remember the drink question, though. I actually don't remember what your question was. If I don't answer it right away, it's, it's probably going to turn into potato. Yeah, blow it all up. It's going to let that beam of death do its job, you know? Put black tape over it. That would require me to go buy black tape. I don't really want to do that. Let's see. But if you're trying to learn coding for GML, you can definitely do it. Yeah, you can definitely do it. It just takes time, man. And if you're dyslexic, I don't know if there's... I think there's options to change the font, which may make learning GML easier for you. So do keep that in mind. Wubit Do with 1000 bits said if you ate 600 bananas in an hour, you would die from radiation poisoning. Then I'll eat 599, it's fine. See? Immortal. No problems. Adamame69 with 500 bits said I'm close to graduation like six months away. Major in IT with a focus on cyber forensics, security. I feel like I've learned nothing I didn't already know. I used to use a code learning app that was like Duolingo for fun a few months ago and feel like I've learned more from that than I have all these years. The only thing it's given me is paranoia about my system security. I'm running VPN and Tor more often than used to. Is that a normal feeling or am I just freaking out for nothing? Tor like more often than used to. So you're downloading torrents and you're worried about your security. Choose one. Choose one. You don't get both. You choose one. Yeah. Stop downloading torrents. Legitimately. Like... Oh. Is it not saying torrents? He meant Tor, the Tor browser? Dude, what do you... So let's see. I'm running VPN and Tor more often than, than used to. Okay. Number one, running Tor is not going to make you secret. Let's, let's get that out of the way. 50% of the exit nodes for Tor are owned by the FBI. Number two, a VPN is not a security product. It is there to change your geolocation. I feel like people use these things because they think that they do things that they don't. And they don't check up on them. They don't make any sense. No. No, no, no. No. No, no, we can... Don't say F to which. We can wait. I can talk about it. Let them know that I'll talk about it after the ads are over. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going to talk after the ads. 
The ads are not over. We got 59 seconds. There's still people behind it. Yeah, NordVPN and other VPNs marketing from YouTubers. I'm aware. They're not security products. VPN is not a security product. Never has been. Never has been, never will be. That's why I don't... There's a reason I don't accept VPN sponsorships. And they've come, come across our table many times, and I say no. I'm behind 17 VPNs. Good luck. I'm behind 17 VPNs. I feel like there's a little bit of blastback on that. What do you guys think? Okay, 10 seconds left on ads. Alright. Ads are now over. We'll get back to this. So, number one, Tor... 50% of the exit nodes on Tor, or more, are owned by the FBI. It is not a hidden network. It has not been a hidden network since their takedown of Silk Road. Stop using that and thinking you're a cool, clever hacker man that no one can see. It is largely honeypots and bullshit. Yeah, don't. Don't. That's dumb. It's really dumb and it's a great way to get arrested for doing stupid shit that you think you're being secret about. Number two, if you're trying to use VPNs as a security product, that is not what they're for. VPNs are not a security product. They don't make you inherently more secure. They make you exit in a different geolocation. That's all that they do. What is this? Premier 2. Thank you for the cyclothon. Oh, dude, absolutely. It was absolutely my pleasure. Yeah. That's such a cool goddamn event. What's up, dude? Thank you for the raid. You're awesome as hell. How's it going? Did you have a blast? I hope you had a blast, man. I had a blast. Watching that whole thing was nuts to me. Like, completely wild, man. I barely get up out of my desk. And then seeing... Like... Biking all the way across Japan? Please. Insane to me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Seriously. Glad to even be a small part of it? Dude, I think it's rad as shit. Hey guys, do you think this is gonna go well? Wow, you ever just stab yourself in the neck with a stim, it makes the full noise, does the whole animation, and then you dive and you get nothing out of it? Sending in an eagle, requesting air support. It's great. Request reinforcements on the way. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels real good. Anisha Nova with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I just Hi. lost my grandmother who I lived with growing up. Okay. Watching your long plays has been such an amazing distraction from everything. Thank I'm you really for glad. being awesome. Thank you for being here. And understand something? Even when someone like that leaves your life, it's okay to sit down and feel shit about it. It's okay to cry about it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And a big one, and I know this is going to be one you hear a lot, there's going to be a lot of people that say it gets better. It doesn't. It doesn't get better. It's different now. And that's okay. I think that's a really big one that I've learned over the years. It is okay that it's different. And you'll get through it. And you'll keep kicking ass in a different way than you were before. And that's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to go back to the way that you were. You could learn stuff from this and change. And that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, and it's okay to not be okay. It is. As long as it doesn't destroy the rest of your life. You gotta give yourself some, you know, you still have to take care of business and do all your other stuff. But, take your time. And there's no correct way to be during this shit. No matter what anyone tells you. You're going to adapt and it's okay? Yeah. It's okay to change how you feel. I agree with that. I'm going down there. There's a big giant beam of good shit. I want that. No Whatever it is. No underscore daddy underscore not underscore the underscore belt with 500 bits said how do you manage burnout? I'm a web app dev and love what I do. But when it hits, it's a struggle to find the passion to march on. To be honest with you, you need to find out where the burnout is coming from. Burnout is caused by different things for different people, but largely I find that it's caused by a lack of understanding the impact of your work. If you can't see how your work is affecting the end of the product, or the end of the business, 
if you don't see a point in what you're doing, it's so easy to burn out. You just feel like shit. You're like, why am I even doing this? Why do I go to work every day? What's the point? I'm just sucking up a paycheck. What does it matter, right? And that's a really, really common problem. It feels really bad all of the time. So number one is I'd talk to your boss and be like, hey, man, can you show me the benefit of my work? How is this impacting the company? That, that can be one. Another one, it might just be the environment. Maybe the people you work with are jackasses. Maybe you have to work retail and you have to deal with the public. Sometimes the public is, treats retailers like shit or customer service like shit. That sucks. Shouldn't be that way, but it does happen, right? So if that's the case, then when you get home every day, take a 30-minute shower, right? Just be like the sluggiest, most shitlord shower you can possibly take. Just take the fattest shower you can, right? I used to do that a lot, all the time. Love taking the long shower. And to be real with you, you can also take an hour-long nap. Give yourself a buffer between your work and the rest of your day, and effectively what you get is two days every day. By splitting those two things up, mentally, you give yourself a completely separate day, which is really, really useful. Why won't you die? You're so big. It's ridiculous. Okay, now you die. Okay, you just had to turn around and fall over looking at me? That's fine. Shit. Jesus, dude. What the shit? How many of those were there? Oh, it's like four of them. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I vicious mockery that guy to death. But no, to be real with you, give yourself a buffer between those two activities, man. It helps to mentally split those things up, and then you don't have these problems. It's super, super useful to do that. And, honestly, at the end of the day, many of these things may not work for you. Part of finding out what's giving you burnout is introspection. You need to give yourself the time and the breathing room to investigate why you specifically are feeling like shit. And no one's going to solve that but you. I can give you ideas, but ah! Sorry, my bones were coming out of my body. They're back in now. I've replaced them with stim. It's fine. But that's a question you're going to have to answer. I'll just give you the path for it. Ideas for it. Potentials, you know? I didn't need those bones anyway. It doesn't matter. All right, I think we're good. Let's get the hell off this planet. This planet is bullshit. You know? Just a little bit of bullshit, this planet. Have you checked out No Rest for the Wicked yet? No. Sounds cool, though. The Trissus with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I'm currently waiting for a US work permit, but I was a tier 2 SOC analyst with four years of experience at a military intelligence agency before moving here. I want to work in anti-cheat in video games. What can I do to increase my chances while I wait for my work permit? Do you think I can realistically start applying when I get the permit? Yes. I have a lot of imposter syndrome. Thank you, you for can, being awesome. Love you your can content. Absolutely start applying once you have your workers permit. Before that, the only thing you do is start applying and saying, I am in the process of applying for my workers permit. But many companies are gonna have a problem with that. They'll want you to already have it before you start applying. That's a pretty common thing. So, like to be real with you, your background, you're fine. You will get those jobs. If you don't, I would be really, really surprised. Enough so that I'm gonna punch this robot to death. That's fine. I'd be really, really surprised if people don't pick you up with that background. Legitimately. Neither of those robots just died in like a point-blank 500 kilogram bomb. That always feels bad. I wish the 500 kilogram actually hit things, you know? Because sometimes it just doesn't. Hey, we gotta actually activate the term, guys. Can't just keep standing around. There we go. Let it rip! Look at that Beyblade spin, dude. It's great. It's my favorite. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. I don't like that. Reinforcing! Hey, that's a really big dog. Can somebody pet that? I'm gonna pet that. I pet it. It didn't die. 
It's not good. I'm gonna pet the dog again. Oh, you pet the dog. Okay, it's good. We're fine. Nice. Did I just... Did my gun just misfire against this wall? Range dog petting. Well, this is not good. Yeah, I'm just going to throw that there. We're going to call it a day. I didn't need those bones that were holding me back. It's fine. Hey, ammunition. I need that for shooting. All right. All right. All right. Oh, that's ours. I don't need to shoot that. It's fine. It was moving, and I thought it needed to die. I'm in. Oh wait, L3's not up. Oh, but we don't have any more Collins, do we? We're out of Collins. Oh, it's fine! Who did it? It's not often that the streamer's voice mismatches their body face so much. What are you- what are you trying to say over there? I mean, I can- if you'd like, I can talk all the way down here. Is this better for you? I could just- This could be the rest of the stream. I could just sound like Jesse Ventura for the rest of the entire stream. Does that make you happy? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Where's- <laughs> Oh, it's the best. All right, let's go to the next one. Knuckly Kong with 500 bits said, "Is Heimdall Please available no. for others They're to right. purchase, or is it something you made specifically to help the mods?" No, I'm just making it inside a streamer bot to help the mods. That's not a that's not a distributable thing. It's kind of a meme, frankly. Plague Tech Games with 500 bits said, "Zero X Zero asks, Hey, for I have been struggling with making levels for my games. I keep getting all the core elements together. Then when I get to the level making part, I just switch off. Any advice?" Hmm, so you keep getting all the core elements together and get the level making part you just switch off. I mean, if you really don't like making levels, if you don't like building at all, do you know why you don't like making levels? Is there a certain aspect of it you just don't enjoy? It's, I mean, at that point, you're going to have to hire someone to do it, right? If you're struggling to make levels for your game and you don't enjoy making the levels, you likely enjoy something else. This is why we have teams. Distribution and delegation of work is kind of, kind of the whole point there, right? So, you'll have to analyze, like, what it is that's bothering you about it, if you can overcome that in any way, if you want to do something else, and if you are willing to hire someone to do the work at that point. Because that's, that's really what that comes down to, is, like, are you willing to hire someone to do the work? No? Well, then you have to do it yourself. And that's just how that goes, frankly. Why are we not killing Char on Prime right now? Oh, this is not good, is it? Oh my god. Are we just defending bug planets? Why are we defending bug planets? You fools. Okay, let's take a look at the galactic map. One moment. It's time to look at the galaxy map. Active players, empty. Let's see what we got here. This is 400,000 max HP. 500,000 max HP. Do you see these two planets right here? You see how they have more HP? You see that? Then we go over here. 350,000 max HP. 400,000 max HP. 450,000 max HP. It's almost like these planets over here are intentionally harder to kill. And we should be killing the tiny baby planet first. Go kill this planet. Go kill this planet. 
Feels like another scripted loss. I agree with that. I actually really don't like that it's a scripted loss. Ten planets in five days is kind of insane, frankly. I, I honestly I honestly think it's insane. I really, really do. Automatons are so much more difficult, though. I disagree. I don't think they're more difficult at all, frankly. Two billion bugs in ten hours was insane, too. Yeah, I, the objectives seem really imbalanced recently. Like, the two billion bugs in, in five days or whatever the hell it was set up to, like, that was just... You just melted it. You just melted it. Yeah, I cleared it in 14 hours. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, you've got that on that side of it. It's just way too easy. And then on this side of it, it's like... This is kind of an absurdity, frankly. If you look at this mission. Major order. Both the Terminids and Automatons are attacking. Defend our territory on both fronts. In further the proof, let's see. Waits for no one. Are you ready, Helldiver? We've got all of these major orders, right? Valiant work, Helldivers. Thanks to your noble efforts, millions of tons of Terminid biomass has been rendered safe for collection and is being processed into Element 710 as we speak. The surplus of fuel will enable the transport of weapons, equipment, and personnel to the front lines of the Automaton fight. We now have the logistical means to enable and sustain an effective counteroffensive against the Automatons. Soon we'll take back the lands they stole. In further proof of their elite training and irreplaceable value, the Helldivers reached the target set for terminated biomass production far faster than anticipated. While additional destruction of the Liberty's enemies is always beneficial, E-710 refinement pipelines are full at the present time. However, there will be ample opportunities for additional biomass production in the future. Super Earth High Command commends the Helldivers for their boundless enthusiasm to destroy the enemies of freedom. Freedom is under attack once more in an act of sinister syn synchronicity. Both the Terminids and the Automatons have launched their large-scale assaults. The Helldivers mount now defend our citizens on two fronts. So, like, I, we couldn't do five defenses in five days. Now we have five in ten days. Or no, we have ten in five days. Which is just... I don't even know about that, man. That's ridiculous, frankly. You're getting into the realm where it's like, I don't even think this is possible. Mathematically possible. That's getting a little bit weird. Hell Commander. Hell yeah. I'm a Hell Commander now. Hell Commander. Joel's a bit of a cruel god. I agree with that. Weekend coming in, though? Yeah, I mean, weekend coming in, sure. People like killing bugs. I can agree with that. They do. They do like killing bugs. Ugh. I just like doing this defense mission. It's probably to buy time. Things have progressed too fast. They need a delay. Maybe. Could be that. How do they get players united on a planet? Instead of spread out, you don't. You give them an objective and players organize themselves. You'd be amazed at what players want to do together. They will organize themselves. You just incentivize it. Always incentivize it. No matter what. Alright, defensive mission. We need mortars, we need big boy mines, and we need quasars. Hmm. It's time. Level 100, yeah. Shaggy underscore Bagums with 500 bits said I painted some orcs purple once. No idea where they are now though. <laughs> Nate Daddy 88 with 500 bits said yard cheer 100 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 I'm 36 and wanted to start something new in life and always loved video games. Because of you, it's not a terrifying task to learn, it's something I believe I can actually do. Thank you and keep it up. Thank you very much for that. That's incredibly nice of you. Calling down support weapon. Calling down a sentry. Calling down a sentry. Support weapon inbound. 
Is this a different map? Oh, this is that other map. Yeah, this is the other map. Did they fix the... They fixed the rocks. They used to show all the, uh... Did you... Did you take my freaking dude? You did. Rude. Yeah, this map is different. We need to go out here and actually close these doors. Yeah, they fixed the red blocks. This one is rough as hell. Oh. Cool mines. I'm going to take these mines. Yeah, this one's crazy hard. I enjoy it, though. It's fun. Calling down mines. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Gonna put that out there. Just gonna, gonna call that one a day. It's good. All right. Got it. Landed on all my mines. That's pretty good, right? Hey, that dropped the tank over there. That's... That's fair. Wow. Look at this really cool emplacement the game gave me. Isn't that... Isn't that gr good? That's a really good... Level design. Alright. I'm just going to get away from here. Blow up the wall? How? I don't think it's a destroyable. Hey guys, I blew up the wall. Cool wall. It's a cool wall. Oh, 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 oh. Mortars. Yeah. Yeah. Requesting sentry. Calling down a sentry. Check on your mortars, make sure they're not coming back up. Pet the dog. Everybody pet the dog. Pet it. Pet it. I pet it. It looks almost fully pet. Almost. All right. How much dog petting needs to happen? You know? That's one ridiculously good boy. I feel like it's done. But it's still moving. Requesting fortification. Oh, 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 the dog has been pet. I repeat, the dog has been pet. I got it. Whoa, that thing jumped up into the sky. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, I need this gun. I need this. I need this. I need this. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sick. Down supplies. supplies are going up behind us. Remember to get your turrets back up. Heavy. 
All right, good deal. I love this level, dude. There's a tank inside of that tank. Might be your favorite game mode. It's mine, too. I love it. It's very Helm's Deep, you know? I bet the tank. Yeah. A little bit of tankception. Naruto underscore AMV underscore from underscore 2007 with 500 bits said hi Thor, love Hello. your streams. Even though I know nothing about coding or programming, food scientist by trade, and just wanted to say pizzas is vegetables. Dude, I remember when I was a kid and there was all this discussion about how they were trying to make it so that pizzas were vegetables under the eyes of the state. And they were trying to do that specifically. What is this? They were trying to do that specifically because they wanted it to be counted as a vegetable for, like, some, like, state or federal funding shit. And they're like, yeah, pizza's a vegetable because it's a, it's a tomato. A tomato's a veggie. It's, it, yeah, how do you not understand this? It was just, it was ridiculous, frankly. How do I... How do you shoot from the inner wall? I guess you can't, right? There's not, like, a way to do this. Calling down fortifications. Mines it is. Calling down a support weapon. My beautiful mines. Oh, yeah, look at them go. Look at them go. They're the best. I love mines. Nutritional grease triangle <laughs> vegetable, yes. If you head over to the right, there's a platform. I I mean I guess. But that's down below. You know? I don't know if that actually like solved the problem. Or not. I think you created a new problem. You're awesome. Keep it up. Dude, you're awesome. Thank you very, very much. But will it die, Chet? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Clearly an upgrade. I think we just win this one. Damn it. No, you don't. Not that close. Well, I feel like he died from an unknown cause. I don't... I don't feel like I had anything to do with that death. You know? Could have been anything. Could... Could it... Could have been anything. It's uh, completely unknown. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get. Get out of here. Get your, uh, get your mortars back up. Farther in. Got that ship. It's down. Got 11 minutes left. This is not good. Oh, shit. Well, there's another dog to pet.
throw some mines out there. Nice, nice. This is good. I think the dog has been pet. And this is fine. I think somebody brought smokes again, but they're just not useful. It just obscures the shit out of your vision. It's not good. No, nobody brought smokes. I wonder what that is. It's not good, whatever it is. Might just be terrain dust. Yeah, it may just be terrain dust. Detective underscore Corbo with 500 bits said, Greetings, Thorium. I have Greetings. ADHD and have many hobbies, as I hobby hop a lot. Any suggestions on organizing my hobbies in a small space? Lastly, when is the demo going on sale? Love from another InfoSec dude. Uh, I mean, the demo is free. So putting it on sale would just make it more free. Yeah. Oh, yes. I don't know if that's good. You want a dust storm? Maybe I do. Maybe I do want a dust storm. Might have been a smoke grenade. Could be. Oh, we're jammed. That's a good thing. I got that one. Oh, wait, no, I don't. It went behind the wall. I got this one. Got it. It's down. Oh, shit. Got you, S2. Get your mortars back up when you can. Wow, that missed. We got bad shit coming in. How about a nice cup of liberty? Go forth, my beautiful mortars. Uh, no, we need that open so we can keep shooting. Please do not close this. Please, please do not. Please do not close that. Thank you. <laughs> I would like that door open so we can keep firing upon enemies. Please do not the cat. Calling down fortification. Go forth, my beautiful minds. Go forth and do me proud. Calling down fortification. Got it? Yeah. There's just a pile of ships over there, by the way. There's a dog, pet the dog. I think if we keep shooting in the same spot, it'll die. Just punch through that armor on its side. We're petting the dog, Chet. As you can see, dog is currently being pet. Requesting advanced what? Weaponry. What? You know, fine. I'm getting out my secondary dog petting device. I'm gonna pet the dog at range. It's a very great deal of range. There's new things to pet, not good. 
That's not good at all. Shit. Okay, we did it. We did it. It's fine. Where's our ship landing? Oh, it's all the way over there. Shit. This is Pelican 1, preparing for touchdown. Uh, hey guys, you should run away. We should get out of here. Yeah, pile of Quasar Strat, dude. Cool dog. Nice. Look at that dog. Nice. We pet the dog. We had to pet the dog before we left, otherwise it'd be rude. Where's our fourth? Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. Is everybody on? Yeah, we pet the dog, dude. It's good. Another victory for the right side of the Proud of it. ITG Man good 23 mission. with 510 bits said, Hey Thor, did you know Green Heart Games, the studio behind Game Dev Tycoon, is releasing a fantasy tavern manager game this year? Check it out. Yo https colon slash slash store dot steam powered dot com slash app slash four three six seven eight zero slash tavern underscore keeper slash question mark curator underscore planet equals three two nine seven four eight four zero. Tavern manager game this year. Greenheart. Studio behind the Game Dev Tycoon. Really? Game Dev Tycoon is fun as shit. So that sounds really fun. Got all that type? No, they just they copy pasted it. It was just the it's just the URL. But no, dude, I didn't know that that the people behind Game Dev Tycoon were making a new game. I actually really love that. Yeah, they're really good. Immediate re wishlist? Yeah, I'm gonna go look. Oh, but this is a curator link. We hate a curator. Yeah. One moment. Liberty is victorious once more. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. You truly are one of Liberty's greatest heroes. Hey, this is good. Ready for another mission, Helldiver? There we go. Boop. Boop. We did it. Thank you very much for those gifted subs. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Why bucket blood splattered? Well, as you can see, that's actually... Well, it's not my blood, because I, I couldn't bleed that much. And... That democracy... Officer from earlier is definitely not missing. Don't ask any questions. I won't be taking any questions. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's not treason. There's no treason happening. Yeah. Yeah, don't ask any questions. That's treason. Why in the free why is the freezer in the break room padlocked? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We need to make sure that you're not eating all the democracy ice cream. It's fine. Just don't think about it. Yeah, don't think too much. You might hurt yourself.
Oh god. Oh god. Alright, we're going in. We're going in, chat. This place is hell. Didn't need those bones anyway. Oh, that's not great. Any other places I can go other than this hell? I'd like to go to a different flavor of hell. None of this is good flavor, you know? Oh, okay, we just gotta put them right on me. That's fine. You can have it. I just wanna look at him explode. Great. Fantastic. Time well spent. Yeah, Joel just tried to murder me, dude. I'm not a fan of that, Joel. I know you're here. I know you're always watching, Joel. I know you are. Are you doing it again? Now that's just not playing fair there, Joel. It's not playing fair. But I got a bigger laser to pet the dog. Alright, fine. You might win. You might win. I'm still petting that dog. With a big death laser. Why, hello? Cool robot, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. They've surrounded me with robots, guys. They've surrounded me. My bones World's falling Kiss out of my body. with 500 bits said, Hey, first time seeing you live. You keep popping up on TikTok and YouTube and you always have pretty good insights. Well, thanks. I have an interest in gray hat hacking and planning on getting a Google cert. Sure. Any advice you can give? I'm a little mm nervous I will be stepping into a dangerous field. It's not a dangerous field, it's a very fun field. You have to understand that being an offensive security specialist, being a hacker like I have been for a long time, it is largely about solving puzzles. Our job is to, well, research a shitload, stay sharp, and then write a goddamn huge amount of reports. You will be writing reports 99% of your life, the rest of your life, if you go down this route. And you'll be researching things as well at the same time. It's all report writing and research. And then sometimes, very rarely, once in a while, you get to execute on it. Oh my god, when you get to execute on it, and whatever it is you're messing with is in scope, and you're like, oh, oh, I actually get to break something for once? I love breaking things. You get to solve the puzzle, and it is great. Best goddamn feeling in the world. So, with that in mind, there's a section of our Discord up at the very top called Channels and Roles. Go and select the hacker role. From there, go down to the hacking section that you've now unlocked, and then go into the resources for that and just go ham, man. You can learn all kinds of shit. The whole idea of this community is free and available knowledge for you to learn anything that you want to learn so you can go have some fun and do some cool shit. I want you to succeed. That is the whole idea. And to be real with you, the world needs more of us. There's not a lot of hackers around. So more is always better. Wow, those are really far away. Wow, that's awful. Um, you know, I feel like I feel like doing one of these. Let's just get him off the board. That one's done. All right, good. Well, isn't that annoying? That's dead. Holy shit, dude. Hey guys, I'll just be over here, you know, whatever, whatever's going on. It's cool. It's cool. That thing's dead. I hit the tank, so that's cool. 
I'll just stay over here. It seems for the best, you know? This is- it's fine. It's fine. New mag. It's good. We got our ammo back. Everything is good. That thing's dead. Alright. We've killed them all, Chet. We have murdered them all. West, 100 meters. For Super Earth. Why can those see me? That seems a little bullshit, right? Like 50 miles away suddenly shooting at me? Why? You know? God damn it. Yeah, too many dudes. They're just sniping me from the opposite side of the map. It's kind of obnoxious. I don't know why either. I don't actually know what drew aggro on that pack. That was very weird. Yeah, really, really weird to be honest with you. Yeah, they have an uncanny aim at an insane rage. It's not really about that. They aggroed me while the pack that was closer didn't. Which was like... But... But why? Right? Like, what did I do wrong? That's kind of how it felt. It was like, what did I do wrong at this point? Because they, they aggroed from, like, an absurd distance. I can't get past this thing. There we go. Hello. I have brought you a toy. Requesting orbital. Engaging orbital laser. Spot out post spotted. Package acquired. Dropping package. Max empty. Boop. Thank you from YouTube. Love your stuff. Well, thank you. Thank you very, very much, dude. You're awesome as hell. Fira 302010 with 500 bits said hello for are we allowed to paraprogram, in essence backseat, if you mention some part of your code isn't working if we see the likely cause of the bug. Figured I'd ask since I am brand new to your stream and this the first stream I have caught at any length with a chance to interact. Cheers. Yeah, I have no problems with that. People always shout that stuff out anyway, and sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. And it also adds to like teachable moments too where someone's like you have to do it this way because this is the standard and I go well this is why I did it this way because this is why you break the rules and sometimes you need to break the rules because I think sometimes people they know the standard but they don't understand why the standard exists and they don't understand when it's better to break that standard for more efficiency if that makes sense I break the rules all the time and I do it specifically because I know what the rule is and I know when that rule applies why that rule applies and then we can break the rules you know and when you break the rules, you you do it for a, a gain, some kind of a reason. Map. No. Always do that. Oh, okay, we just we're just attacking little old me. Is that what we're doing? Supposedly, you can shoot these down with this gun, but I've never seen anyone do it. All right. Tagging map. Southeast. Far. All right. It works. You can shoot them down. It just takes a shitload of bullets. Near your 
The explosion damage must cut through it. Wow, dude. All right, that robot is shroud. Fun. I understand. I understand. I understand. I was literally trying to stim myself and I died. I don't know they hired Shroud to play a bot in the game, but it's fine. Calling in a hell bomb. Calling in a hell bomb. Requesting advanced weaponry. Ooh, minus our supers. Engaging terminal. Son of a bitch. I blew up your gunship facility, get wrecked. All your friends are dead. Ah. Alright, good. We've killed all of the robots in this area. There are too many more of them. Dropping a pin. North. 200 meters. PvP bonspers versus divers with the bonser players? That'd be fun as hell. Although, to be honest with you, I feel like the bots have aimbot. And also, somehow, the rocket bots survive quasar hits, which is terrifying to me, frankly. Like, it's actually terrifying. Rocket Devastators are insane, dude. I think the big thing is, like, they have no business being as tanky as they are. They seem like they're really, really tanky. How do you like the crossbow? I actually think it sucks. It might be really good against... Wow, dude. Okay, it might be really good against bugs, because the AoE on it is huge. But I, I think that otherwise it just sucks ass. I think it's, like, a really bad weapon, right? Man, it'd be really cool if we could get away from this corner of the map instead of constantly being resummoned back into this corner of the map. Please release me from this hell. Holy shit. Just gonna zap that out of existence, thanks. Gone. The shit. It's fine. They can't stop us now, Chet. It's too late. We've become too powerful. Robots will never know what hit him. What armor and grenades does he use? I use the basic grenade, and I use light armor that gives me more throw distance because it works for stratagems and grenades a lot of my gameplay is around throwing down stratagems in ways that are precise and helpful for the team sometimes at very long ranges actually That might be close enough. We'll see. Yeah, see that 30% throat distance? It's awesome, dude. It's metal as hell. Thirty percent throw distance is huge. Yeah. It's really, really good. And it gets overlooked. Plus you get fifty percent bonus limb health, too. So your limbs break less often. Which is really nice. Feels so much more than thirty percent? Yeah, it does. 
because you gotta arc it correctly. The throw distance is just enormous, man. Sinister Cupcake one with 501 <laughs> bits said take number two smiley face. Hey Thor, if you had to become the DevOps guy for your team, what CICD tool, programming language would you focus on? Depends on what your team is managing. Like, you have to understand a lot of this shit, a lot of the stuff that you'd be working on with this stuff, it's all going to be down to what your team is working with, what your infrastructure is like. Like, I'll be real with you, people would be like, what databasing stuff would you use? Like, what logging solution would you use? And it's like, dude, I don't, I don't know what the rest of your infrastructure is like. I don't know what the hell you guys are using outside of that. Holy shit, man. Why am I suddenly the center of attention? Just going to burn that a little bit. Just burn through it, please. Wow, that does not work at all. Laser cannon feels like garbage. Seek was the answer to all of that. That's funny. I mean, it can be, but like, to be real with you, there's so many other solutions for different things. And you have to know exactly what it is that they're working for the rest of this. It is garbage. The cannon, laser cannon doesn't feel good. I wish it felt better. Okay. Gun is stuck on nothing. Did you see that? Gun will not reload. Gun was snapping around like this, and I don't know why. Yeah, it was really weird. It's base you didn't use in the right way? Okay, so how about this? Any time that your gun requires you to sit far in the back and be untouched, because it wildly shoots all over the place if you ever get touched by anything, it's not going to work in a rank 9. Just doesn't. There's just too much shit going on. So you use stuff that fires fast. Stuff that doesn't have any problems with, like, knockback. Quasar Cannon's pretty goddamn good for that. Because you can pop out of cover and then blast something. Whoa, dude! He hit every shot. He landed every shot. I have never seen that. That's wild shit. Yeah, tell me when the laser cannon would work there. Yeah, exactly. Ready to liberate. So I'm telling you, you just get, like, meatloaf sometimes at this level of, of gameplay. Down and you don't have time for this damage over time shit to affect. You need throughput, you need punchiness. And there's not really any other solution, like... So that's why we use the weapons we do, because they work the best at this gameplay. And different weapons will work differently at different levels of gameplay, for sure. Empty. Interesting. Sending an eagle. I need to go kill the bat. So I'm gonna go kill that. What the hell? That was pre-fired. Goddamn robots. That's just rude. That's just rude. That's just rude. That's all it is. It's just rude. He's over there meleeing and somehow shooting missiles. Ridiculous. You make use of it against uh, hulks? I don't think it's very good against hulks. Not with the level of hulks that we have, to be honest with you. I've never found a really good use for it outside of shooting down gunships. Gunships, it's really nice against. That's pretty much it. His arms, bro. Max 
Love this goddamn gun. Hey, we really should go pick up those samples and get that last one. We got 19 minutes. We really should not extract. Current gun that I'm using is the Plaz Scorch. It is awesome as hell. It is off the first war bond. Gives you everything you need. That is when I can shoot things with it, which I'm currently firing like garbage. God, there's so many of them. New mag. Throwing grenade. Frost fabricator, southeast, 200 meters. There's so many, dude. Is that good? Holy shit, man. Well, that's not good. I thought that was like a little ledge. Instead, it's a big ledge. This feels bad. This is not good. We gotta get the hell out of here. Oh wait, I can kill that. Where are you? Maybe not. Maybe this is a lot worse than I expected. Maybe their aimbot is tuned up. Jesus, dude. Wow! Getting sniped so hard by these freaking robots. I swear to God that I. Hi. We need to get those samples. Ready to liberate. But I landed right on them. So it's fine. We're good now. Let's head to extraction, I think. I'm gonna go see if I can't pick up this last pile here, and then we'll go. I'm really surprised you decided to engage those. Five hundred milligram bomb did nothing. Very nice. It's my favorite. All right, let's rock. Tagged it. Didn't kill it. Should be down. Shit. Calling in orbital. I got the Hulk down. God damn it. I didn't see the mine. I didn't see the mine until the last second, dude. Oh, it sucks. It sucks so bad. Freaking mines everywhere. We gotta do a better job of clearing that shit, I think. I try to shoot them anytime I can, but like, god damn, there's so many of them. Dropping a pin. Northwest. 50 meters. Yeah, it feels bad, man. 
It's all right. Proposter with this 500 time. bits said I'm just here to say that I get recommended your YouTube clips a lot so I've inadvertently fallen asleep to your voice more times than I care to recall so have some bits as thanks. Well thank you very much. XX4 Fingas XX with 500 bits said good day to you Goblin King. Today I finally come home to the PC Master Race and I was wondering if you had any must play recommendations for someone who's been out of the PC game loop for a while. Other than Helldivers of course. Warhammer 40k Darktide. Darktide feels so good on PC compared to cons like to like to anything on console. It is just so visceral. It feels awesome as shit. Darktide feels so good, dude. Yeah, Darktide. Definitely Darktide. Like anything on console, because you just don't get that explosion. You just don't get it. Yeah, welcome home. Welcome home, where games look good. Yeah. Where games look good, and you, uh... You don't have to have a controller to aim anymore. You can use a mouse again. But you missed it. Is shrimps bugs? Shrimps is bugs. They're delicious bugs, by the way. Yeah, Dark Tide is great. I remember for a while, Dark Tide kind of sucked. And they, uh, they worked on it very heavily. They iterated it very, very hard, and then they made the talent trees, and I love the game. I like controllers. You'll learn one day. One day. Vermintide 2, if you want a more melee-oriented one. I mean, to be real with you, play Dark Tide and just play the, the priest or whatever the hell they are. That dude is crazy melee-oriented. Zealot, I think is what they are. They just wreck face. Oh my god. Why... Well, that's a terrible place to be. It's alright. We're good. <laughs> just brushed me with the fire and just, I'm out, dude. Just meh. Just meh. I must have breathed it in, right? You know? That seems fine. Jesus. What a death. Food 1002 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I just hey. graduated in computer science, but it's definitely been a shock since I haven't picked a real direction to go since computer science is so broad. Yeah. I'm thinking of cybersecurity since it's interesting and I'm also not sure how I feel about the brain power required for software dev full time. If I picked cybersecurity to focus on, then what should my roadmap be? Feeling pretty lost career wise, so any advice is appreciated. It's interesting, also not sure how I feel about the brain power required for software dev full time. I'm gonna be real with you. Hacking stuff is also brain power required full time. If you're interested in going down one of these careers, I would honestly go the IT route first. I would go IT or software dev route first. Because, yeah, it's. Software dev doesn't take a lot of brain power, I do it. Uh, but I would. Oh, oh, I mean, like. To be real with you, you're in an industry where you're you, you're being paid to use your brain. Legitimately. You are. That's You're being paid to solve problems that are difficult problems that will make far more money than they pay you. That's how that works, right? You're not being paid for muscle. You're not being paid for brawn. You're being paid to solve problems. You're using your brain the entire time. That's how it goes. My husband routinely gets brain fried? Yeah. Governance risk compliance for foothold and then go to specialize. Bingo. IT is generally seen as the baseline and then you, you, you know, specialize into other areas. So if you want to go into offensive security, that's prestige class. Usually. You usually start IT and you go, you go hacker, right? I mean, that's, that's pretty normal stuff. So if you're worried about brain fry, I, I would honestly sit down and say like, hey, are you brain fried because of this scenario? Are you, do you not like solving puzzles? Do you just want to do kind of like a rote task every day? Because to be real with you, you're not going to get that anywhere in the tech industry. At all. I could take a jab at sysadmins, but even they have to solve things some of the time. Usually those things are, well, us, the red team. So, solve it. <laughs> Full stack is easiest. Leave us this admins alone? No. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna have to. 
Red team doesn't solve? Yeah, we do. You know what we solve? We solve Warning. you. Synchronized. Yeah. yeah. That's what we solve. And it's true. As long as you're in scope. Gotta be in scope. Not in scope, we don't get to solve you. We solve you is unbelievably menacing. Yeah. Is DevOps just easy, says Admin? None of this industry is easy. We all like to ruse each other and make fun of each other, but at the end of the day, everything that we do is difficult. It is based on pattern recognition and analysis and memory management, like understanding all of your little pieces of everything you've learned and coming up with clever solutions to difficult problems. In that way, we're all very similar. Like, the tech industry runs this way. It is not easy. And let me tell you, no one's getting paid as a prompt engineer. That's... <laughs> I swear to God, dude. It's a nightmare. What is a prompt engineer? Hopefully you'll never have to know. Love this gun. Why? Why are there so many robots? Joel is with us, Chet. You know how I know? Because they're dropping robots all around us. Look at them. Joel is here. I can sense his presence. We have to kill everything to show him who's boss. It's the way. Why am I climbing this? Why did that land over there? Oh god! It's fine. It's fine. You can't kill us this way, Joel. Helldivers never die. Well, may maybe they die a little- Maybe- Maybe a little bit. Worm mode! Damn right. Got him. He didn't need a face anyway. He wasn't using it. Hell divers never die. Never. Oh god, there's more. Found something. That's fine. Hulk's dead. Damn it, can't shoot him through that. Not today. Alright, there's some bullshit over here. We're going to go take it down. Oh, who's Joel? The bastard running the game. Joel. Dropping a pin. Northwest. You don't know who Joel is? Yeah, the game is actually player versus Joel. Joel is the well, it used to be one guy, but now it's the dev team. It's a dev it's a team of dudes. Running the game balance. We fight against Joel. Because Joel is making all of the narrative go. Requesting orbital. Requesting air support. Excuse me. Requesting air support. Max empty. New man. This is good. Everything here is good. It's gonna blow up this base. And I'm going down south. Think the raiding party at nine. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm here to blow up dudes. We're doing it. Did we not get the last? Well, that's not good. Tagging location east. Sending in an eagle. Fly. God damn it. Perfect landing over there. It's pretty good. 
right, let's get the hell out of here. Any advice for new streamers? Yeah. Biggest thing is to give yourself a, a, like, a regimented schedule. Because you have to think about it like this, and this is something a lot of people don't remember. Especially when they're just starting out. What you're doing is a TV show. If people tune in, and they have a routine of watching you, and suddenly you decide to just, you know, kind of shit the bed, have no schedule, just stream at random times, how are they going to be able to tune in? Imagine if your TV show started at a random time every day. That sucks. You wouldn't watch it. Probably give up on it, right? Or you'd watch the VODs. That's a whole thing with that. Need to have a schedule. Schedule's huge. Really, really big part of it. You won't realize how powerful that is. It's why I have a regimented schedule. In fact, my schedule has been shit lately because I'm moving, which is not the best. Requesting air support. Boop. That mission's done. Oh, he's sidestepping. Look at him go. The wiggly guy. Eagle one Throwing supply beacon. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait. I threw it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, well, that's not good. Hey, buddy. Nice dropship you got there. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, almost. I need some ammos. No, I don't want to climb it. Thanks, game. That's not good. Let's get out of range of enemy artillery. Nope. That dude would have landed right on me. This is not good. This is not good. Alright, listen here, Terminator bro. What the hell is that explosion? The one that knocks me forward when it hits from behind. That is so stupid. Eat it. God damn. Alright, enough of that shit. A lot of dudes. What's in here? Quasar Shield Gen. Nice. We got it. We got it. It's good. I do need to take this down over there, and I have an orbital laser for it, so I'm going to use that. I guess I'm the only one out here. That's probably bad. Engaging terminal. Spot outpost spotted. Requesting air support. I got the terminal. Shit. One. Orbital inbound. I'm on it. It's two. Rare Calling down a support weapon. I'm on it. So three. Tagging 
Looks like we got it. Yeah, we got a new major order. It's a hell of a major order, too, to be honest with you. It's like freaking insane. I don't know how we're going to do it. We're going to be doing captures to hack things in the future. That is the oddest and most absurd statement I think I've ever heard in my life. You, you might as well have just said, we're going to eat ice cream bars to hack things in the future. Like, none of the things you just said made any goddamn sense. Are you talking about in-game? Is that what you mean? I think the biggest part about this is effectively the world that you live in in this game is idiocracy. Like, everyone is a huge dumbass. You... Like, the whole thing is like, oh, these are like the most heavily trained, most incredible dudes that exist in the universe, and they're like, oh, I could get the puzzle some of the time. <laughs> like... Helldivers are not smart, dude. They're very funny, but oh god, they're not- they're not good. They're not good. He trains how to- you know I'm right. They don't even train us how to swim, man. None of us know how to swim. Requesting air support. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, I have to watch. That was wonderful. That was- that was- that felt great. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, well I got hit by a bus there, that's fine. Alright, down you go. Yeah, if Helldivers were smart, it might cause treason. I agree with that. I don't think Helldivers should be smart. But I do think that they're hilarious. I do love the, I can almost solve the puzzle. You know, like, it's very funny. It is, it is my favorite thing about it. You know who swims? Bugs? Mmm. Mmm. We can't swim because our suit is heavy, especially the cape. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah, Iron Storm sucks. Okay, I'll take out the, um... I can take out the... This, dude. Don't worry about it, A4. I just... I have a laser for it. Or rail cannon or any of the shit that I have. Oh, that's really not good. This is the worst possible spot we could be. You know that, right? Why did you do this? You must hate us. You must hate democracy. This is... Well... Can't get me now! How am I surviving, Chet? They'll never get me now inside of this mountain. <laughs> They'll never reach me here. Hi. Yeah, you can't get me now, can you? I'm just too powerful, aren't I? So anyway, uh, this was going well. And then... And then it stopped going well. So, now it's not going well. But, it's going considerably more well for me than it is for them. So I think I'm just going to sit here for a minute. And continue doing what I'm doing right now. It's pretty good. It's a good moment for me, I think. It's kind of like a lot of, lot of experience. Oh, I'm dead now. 
Yeah, robots can't aim down. We've learned this. That's pretty funny shit, dude. Did we get that, uh, did we get the tower? Is it dead? Point me to the enemy. We did not. Let's go get that Time tower, boys. Why has there been an insane increase in the number of enemies in these maps? You notice that? Joel is watching the stream, dude. Maybe he is. Maybe Joel is, like, testing level 10 difficulty, you know? He thinks my win ratio is too high? Likely. Because Helldivers never die. We usually don't lose, either. Ate it. That's not gonna hit. That's not good. I threw it too far! It looked cool. Not today. Alright, that one's dead. Maybe we should just extract. I do feel gross not taking out that tower, though. I may just run over there and suicide. Just so I can... Oh. Yeah, you know what? It's time to take that out. I'm going over there. I'm blowing it up. I don't care if I die doing it. This is it. I'm sacrificing myself for the greater good for democracy. Is that... Is that a floating battery pack with no robot on it? It is. Look at that. It's a Hulk battery pack just chilling out, dude. They're stealth robots. They're invisible now? Eat it. You eat it. Enough of that shit. No more seeing me from across the map. Sick of you. Bro. Alright, we done? We good? Alright. There's like dude shooting me from the other side of the actual map. Alright, there's a whole lot of nothing be between me and the tower. If you guys make it to extraction, I could die out here. In peace. And then, after I die, you could bring me back gloriously. Which is the way. And dropships? It won't matter. For I have already won. Requesting orbital. You fool! Requesting You've fallen for one of the most classic blunders. Letting me throw things. That's right. That's right. Shouldn't let me throw things. Shouldn't let me throw things. Mistakes. Marking location. Now I'm gonna get greedy. Now it's greed time. Because if you look down here, we got a whole lot of samples over here. Literally throwing. True. What's the point of this game? Throwing stuff at red things and let it get blow up. It's my favorite. Arky underscore Ash underscore RP with 1000 bits said, Hey Thor, been hey. watching for a bit now. You have great advice. I have Aww. a question. I'm 28 sure. and want to get into streaming. My question is, is 28 a late age to start streaming and really try to build a community and try to make it a full-time career for the future? By the way, congrats on all your success. I so started streaming at 29. So no. Oh, no age is too old to do things. No. 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 What is this shit gun? Alright, I've got all my stuff. There's an ion storm in progress. I'm being shot by garbage. Enough of these random snipers everywhere. Jesus. Alright. I am surviving. Out in the ion storm wilderness. You guys can start the extraction on my way. I've got a lot of materials, and I've blown up the last objective. Calling an extraction. 
Yeah, it'll be a review. I, I started streaming at 29. 28? No, you're not too late. There's none of that shit. That's never going to be the case. Put your all into something. Have fun with it. Do everything you possibly can. I mean, it's gotten quiet. Yeah, it's calm Stay away United with $4.99 said my friend just had her baby. Its name wow. is Thorin and will be known as Thor. Who raised you? Because they did an excellent job. Love ya, dude. Thanks. Honestly? Mostly my dad. And he's... He's... He never thinks he did a good job, but he, I think he did a pretty good job. Usually. Unless I screw up, then it's not his problem. <laughs> That's how it works. When the dog shits on the carpet, it's somebody else's dog. Huh? Just gonna throw a bomb in the middle of that. That seems appropriate. Nice. Hey, do you guys think hell divers get vision insurance? I can't see shit after that. Whoa. Hi. Freedom forever. No more. No more robots. Cool beam. Calling down a support weapon. All right. Here they come. No, maybe not. Man, it'd be really cool if these weren't so bright. There we go. Your injury is not considered service-related, F, dude. That is rough. Can the Pelican 1 be shot down? If it takes enough damage, it will leave the moment someone touches it, which is sort of lame. Yeah. All right, guys, we did it. Let's get over here. Let's do it. Huh. What? Getting in. A4, get in. Get in! You fool! A4, why? Meg's hearty with 500 bits said good day, loaded long lemon Lord Thor. Did you hear about the woman who loved making archery supplies? Every day she went to work, she quivered with joy. I would be sorry for the archery pun, but I used to be an adventurer till I took an arrow to the knee. Whoa. It really knocked me off my high horse, but I finally got the point. Whoa. Lucky tries with five Canadian dollars said hey Thor, I'm a tech hey. artist and been learning engineering for last two years. Got cool. my first engine interview with an algorithm test next week. Any tips? First engineering interview with an algorithm test next week. Any tips? Yeah, I mean, in terms of your technical ability, you should have that shit down, right? You should. If you're a tech artist and you've been learning engineering for the last few years, you should be in a good position for that. And I don't think that would be a problem, frankly. The real thing that I like to give people advice for, for the interview, you are interviewing them as much as they're interviewing you. You are interviewing them as much as you are interviewing you, right? And that is something that people don't remember. You need to make sure that you're going to a, in a position that makes sense, that it is it is managed in a way that is appropriate, that you're not walking into a basically a garbage fire, right? Outside of that, a really good question that you ask at the very end that I always tell people to ask is when they say, hey, do you have any other questions for us? Say yes. If you were to hire me today, how best would you utilize my skill set? If you were to hire me right now, what would I be working on? And it's a really interesting question because it stops them from thinking of you as a potential candidate and you start they start thinking of you as an asset to the company and how they would start using your skill set. You're already hired at that point. Yeah, super useful. And also, we have found out that other people who are hiring people watch this stream and they know the trick and you'll get bonus points for that as well because they'll know who you watch, which is very funny. <laughs> It's, it's the goblin sense meter. That's what it is. It's it's checking to see if you're a goblin now. Wow, we're losing Char and Prime. This is bad. Are we winning any of this shit? No. 
What are you guys gonna do when we lose every one of these planets? <laughs> oh, this is so bad, dude. We have to get ten planets and we're losing, like, all of them. Yeah, I can't wait to chill on Super Earth. You wanna know something funny? Super Earth isn't just Super Earth. Did you know that? It's also Mars. And this is the interesting part. These have percentages just like everything else. Yeah. It's really interesting. What about Supermoon? Um, well, my guess is that we actually took the moon and absorbed it to create Super Earth. Yeah. We lost Super Earth and held Evers 1 a few times? Wait, really? Really? That sounds horrifying. What's about the red team other than suits? Generally, it doesn't work that way, right? It's not a hierarchy for that. The red team and the blue team work together to make the company better. Even if they're adversarial, they do so because they care. Because their job is to care. They are there to protect the business from itself. Protect the business from making huge mistakes. And to put them in a position where they have to make changes in order to succeed. Red team and blue team work together. Always. Always, always. Team Purple all the way. It's adversarial, but to be real with you, the way that it works is you run red team until blue team catches you, and then you all have a party and eat pizza and talk about what you found. You know? You talk about mobile game development? What do you want to know about mobile game development? It's good for a solo dev? I mean, yeah, if you want to make a video game, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Random sectors have people in them? How is it devs? I don't know. Like, there's one person in here that's got to be... Joel. I bet that's Joel, right? It's one... Oh, no, I guess that's someone on my friends list. How can you be in the soul system? Is it just like this? Just mouse then? That's the only thing you can think of is that you're moused in. Could be the tutorial. From the of bug and bot tutorial takes place on Super Earth? Really? Where's the sun? That sounds like questions. Questions lead... to the Ministry asking you questions. So I don't know if I would have those. I don't know if I would have questions. Questions not a good idea. It leads to treason. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of traitorous action. And the Ministry of Truth coming to talk to you, you know? Let's play. What was this about mobile dev? I'm asking if the mobile market is too competitive and saturated for a solo dev to make a successful game. No. When would that ever be the case? I'm going to be real with you. There is no such thing as a saturated market when it comes to games. We deal in entertainment pieces. We create things that people can enjoy or not enjoy on a subjective basis. There's no saturated market. No platform is going to make your game famous. No platform is going to sell your game. That is not how it works. You sell your game. You build a community, you talk to people, you show them what you are building, and you go from there. The platform Steam is not going to sell it for you. Google is not going to sell it for you. Even Twitch isn't going to sell it for you. You have to look at analytics. You have to analyze where you are in the market. You have to see how you're doing. And you have to run in the direction that makes the most sense. You make a bunch of educated guesses. You test things. And over time, you get better at making those guesses. And you get better at testing things. You will make it, eventually. But it takes a long time. No oversaturated market. It's never been a case. Otherwise, it would be like that forever. Because we've been making games out in the wild now for, what, 50 years? Something ridiculous? You think the App Store or Apple is a good platform? No, I don't. I don't think it brings a lot of good value to the developer right now. I think the Apple iPhone App Store does, but I don't think it's a good thing overall. I think Apple's in a really weird position, frankly. I don't think it's a good thing at all. Like, I'll, I'll give you a good example of this. iOS is mostly good because it's trapped a bunch of users inside of a big walled garden. 
I don't think over time that that's going to be sustainable. I think it's going to be torn down. And when that happens, well, what's left, right? They used to have some of the best hardware around. They had the longest battery life. That fell away for a while, but they're just now starting to get back into the point where their laptops are actually going to be really good. They're good shit, but they have to regain that title. They lost that title. That's not a good thing to have. Yeah. No ill social engineering intent. What city is where your parents met? What's your mother's maiden name? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Uh, no ill social... Hey, this isn't a social engineering question, but I'm going to ask you a social engineering question. Is that okay? Is it, can, I, can I just have a little bit of a data farming question for a minute? That's fine, right? No. Yeah, what's the pin number to your credit card? Is, you know, it's just... I just want to see if it's the same as mine, that's all. It's fine. Yeah, who's your childhood hero? Can I have your social security number? I lost mine. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to borrow it, you know? It's fine. Let's need it for some documents. I'll give it back. Don't worry about it. Ridiculous, to be honest with you. What about here? It's the color of your first car. No, to be real with you, though, those kind of questions are just digging for digging's sake. Whether you are social engineering or not, it just comes across as SE anyway. Enhanced Gaming with $49.99 said, Hey, keep up the good work. You're one of the most underrated streamers out there. <laughs> I was wondering, Erring, if after this explanation you would be willing to explain bottlenecking WPC builds. Depends on what you're trying to build, right? When you're talking about bottlenecking? I mean, at that point, it's going to be hardware throughput issues at a certain point, right? But in today's age, I... There's no real problems now. Like, and it's funny because you say underrated, but I feel like I'm overrated 99% of the time. So thanks, man. Yeah, that's ridiculously nice of you. Yeah, no, it's really, really nice. But like, to be real with you, when you're talking about bottlenecking PC builds, are we talking about hardware bottlenecks? Are we talking about software bottlenecks? Because you're always going to have like weird problems based on optimization, based on what hardware is available, based on power throughput, because you can actually have a power bottleneck where it's like you just don't have the right power supply for the machine that you're building, you know? All kinds of shit. And to be real with you, when I first started building my own machines, I run into a bunch of those because I didn't know what the hell I was doing at first. That was always a huge... Oh, shit. Getting wrecked. That was always a huge problem. Got it? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're getting out of here. This is not a good spot to be. And uh, that down there is a good spot to be. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do this, and then that base is gone. We don't even have to look at it. We already know it's dead. See that? Gone. Beautiful. Jesus. They've got really good aim this time. This is not good. And I'm getting stuck on every rock on the planet. Shit. There, I'm just gonna put that there and run past you. That's fine, right? Yeet. Well, I got stuck. Oh, God. Punctured through the chest. That's fine. Fill it up with stim. Doesn't matter. Hey, that's kind of cool, right? Hey, where'd your friend go? Be the bullet. Be the bullet. All right. I think we got him. Not today, Joel. Not today, Joel. We will win this mission. 
You can't stop us. Ooh, piece of shiny. I love it. There's so much candy on this map. Oh, no. Okay. We got problems. We got a lot of problems out here, and it's not good. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sneak up on this dude. I'm going to get real sneaky. You know? I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do... There we go. Yoink. You know, I don't feel like I should have aggroed everything within a 50-year radius, you know? That doesn't seem fair. Gonna drop that over there. Nice. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, 50 year, dude. That's how much time it takes me to crawl over there with half of my body missing. 50 years. Okay, it's one hit. Oh, god damn you. You are bullshit. Your whole faction is bullshit. Everything you do is bullshit. How did that... Okay, fine. You can just have it. This is fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Hi. Nice giant robot body you got there. It's a shame what happened to him. Let's get out of here. Ow. What even are you? You done? I got the terminal. I think I'm out of ammo almost. Shit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make you a bullet. Just be a bullet for me for a moment. God damn it. Oh, you bitch. It knocked me at the last second. That's so annoying. Shit. All right. Well, I'm out of stims. I'm out of HP, but I'm still alive. And there's another one. This is bad. Yeah. Shit. No, it's over. <laughs> Why, dude? Why is there so many? The flinching sucks ass. Yeah. No, it just feels bad. It feels so bad, man. The booth man with five dollars said, "Is there a reason you put the purple and yellow heart in your title?" Yeah, cause I will say it does make your vid stand out from most of my notifications. Yeah, uh, the purple and, and gold heart is actually from our game Heartbound. It is our main logo, and the reason that it was chosen is because our artist is red green colorblind, and purple and gold together work perfectly under any level of colorblindness, regardless of which kind it is. So it always looks distinct. To, like, regardless of what kind of color deficiency you have. Which is nice. Works out really well. Our whole game is actually designed around having color blindness options built right in without having them explicitly chosen in a menu. Yep. How did that not die? Okay, now he dies. That's fine. As long as he dies eventually. Yeah, Heartbound is built that way specifically. I'm colorblind and can confirm. Yeah. It is made that way on purpose. It's funny, too, because I've even had people come and attack us, and they're like, why don't you build any, like, accessibility options into the game? And I was like, because they're in the game already. 
And they're like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, I drew the whole font. It's a mono space block style font specifically for people with dyslexia. Uh, we put in an option to be able to turn off wiggling text for people with dyslexia. And then all of the colors in every single one of the rooms are chosen specifically for anybody under any level of colorblindness. So you don't even need to have... Rude! So you don't even need to have an option set for it. It's just part of it. It's part of the game. Yep, font's super easy to read. That's the whole idea for it. Drew the whole thing. For every language. Except for Japanese. We use JF Shinonobi for that one. Wow. All right. There's something all the way over there shooting us. Do you see that shit? Insane to me, really. Is today Fishing Friday or something? Constantly. Dude, there are so many bots on this one, it's insane. Like, this is, like, actual bot hell now. I feel like as the stream is going on, this is ramping up, and I'm sort of enjoying that. More stim than Helldiver? I mean, yeah. You mean... You still have Helldiver left? Look at the two giant robot dogs over there. There's two petable dogs at the same time. Brought that thing down. Sick. Okay, we gotta get rid of this goddamn robot shit. God damn it, dude. Are yeah, you done? Cool. Anyway, let's go get rid of that gigantic tower of bullshit over there. Don't worry, I got rid of them both. You're good, S2. Zap, zap. What was that grenade? A cooked basic grenade? Fun thing, you can hold down the button and it'll cook a grenade. Damn it. too damn many of them. I'm trying to be a pro and I'm trying not to die, dude. All we do is play level 9s. This is like the most difficult level 9 that I've ever seen. Like, absolutely most difficult level 9 that we've seen so far. It's frankly insane. That's good. This is where we want to be. Come on. Come on. God damn it. Calling in a hell bomb. I think I got it. Oh, I totally got it. I've got this one. Feels good, man. Tagging map. 
Northwest. 100 meters. <sighs> Helldivers is so freaking cinematic, dude. I love the shit out of this game. It's so much fun. A basic Chris it's just with so 500 much fun. bits said as a chief product officer at a software company, keep giving out that good advice to your viewers. Always. Yeah, anytime, dude. Anytime at all. Honestly, I'm really glad. Whoa! Whoa, juggle mode. What's happening here? Why am I stuck? Shit. Oh, hey. Thanks for letting me reload, bud. Off we go. I got one more laser, so that should be doing it on that one. Can you guys go- Oh my god, there's two more gun drone towers on this map? Are you kidding me? Jesus. That's awful. That is an awful map. There's a double tower one as well. God damn, dude. The only thing you can think of is we gotta hit it together. We should probably do the ICBM first, though. But Jesus, dude. You wanted Helldive? It's gonna be hard. This is probably the hardest Helldive map I've seen in a while. We always play on Helldive. That's the only thing we play. Like, hundreds of hours in just Helldive, dude. Yeah. This is why it's the most difficult nine we've played. Yeah, likely. To be real with you. It's just a lot of... I guess a lot of cross-traffic on this one, too. There's just been a huge amount of enemy cross-traffic here. Oh, we got an ion storm. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Really? You saw me in an ion storm. Okay. Very cool. Cross traffic is in, like, uh, packs of enemies moving around the map. Also, a lot of, like, super long-range visual on enemies, which is pretty surprising. I'm gonna get my Quasar back. Got it. That's not going to go well. He went around the other side. This is not good. Hi. You know, I feel like he should just die with that. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like he should just respect me enough to just blow up. That time he did. That's good. Thanks, bud. Tagging map. Southwest. 300 meters. Requesting okay, that's done. I don't think there's anything over here. Can we get some stims or anything? Anything in here? There's nothing. We just got no, no anything. Okay. This is not great. We're gonna using. I'm using the plasma scorch. Game. Okay. Very cool.
I know there's a big lad in there somewhere. I just don't know where he is. Out of ammo. Well, I'm out of ammo, so that's probably good. You know, I'm just going to do this. You eat it. And we're just going to let that thing do its job. Reloading! Not out of everything. I got stims. Oh, I got uh, stratagems, rather. And that's enough. Alright. We're good. Everything is good. I'm doing my part. Alright, we got one more bot tower towards the bottom. We also got a couple of bullshits running around, which is great. I need stims, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nope. <laughs> just a wall, dude. Oh, just a wall. There's no way around it. I couldn't call for resupply. It was on cooldown. They had called for it. I was like, there's no way out of that one. Ready to liberate. I'm gonna go get my stuff. I mean, the last Helldiver stuff. Look, look at all the shit they dropped on me. They knew my power. They feared me. For good reason, too. Deeply horrified. El Mary 52 with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500. Hey Thor, I'm going to be making a practice fan comic before I make an original comic. Any advice? Nice. Um, I wouldn't see it as a practice one. I would see everything as a practice one for the rest of your life. Anytime you're making stuff, man, anytime, that is the best you can possibly do at that moment. And the next thing will be better than that. So don't ever see it as like a throwaway. See it as the best thing you can do, right? Best thing you can do right now. Do it. It might be shit. That's perfect. Because it gives you a, a goal, right? And when you get better, you'll look back on it and you go, Wow, look how far I've come. One of the worst things you can do is kick yourself and be like, Oh man, all my stuff used to suck. Yeah, it did. Used to. Now it doesn't. Now it's better, right? It's always, always onward and upward. Doing newer and cooler shit. So put your all into it. Don't call it a practice one. Put everything into it. Excuse me. Is it? Is that a bomb? Okay. Now head to the extraction point. Requesting orbital strike. We should not head to the extraction point. We should actually go and blow up that last stupid tower. Max empty. Because to be honest with you, I hate gunships. You know what I hate more? Not having the map cleared. It's time to blow up the gunships. Enemy elite. Tagging map. Patrol. South. 100 meters. Tagging location. East. Hey, I got all my stuff. Huh? Nice. Like a glove. Dropships. Follow me. Alright. Wish you could make that map always active? You can, with a bug. If you get inside of the mech, the walking mech, and you hit tab, it'll actually open it. Like, open up your, uh, your map, and then you get out of the mech, and you can now run around with your gun, and have it open. It's been like that since launch. It's pretty great. How would one go about getting a Thunder Fury Blessed Blade of the Windseeker? Well... If you're talking about Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. But I, I have to make sure, if you are in fact talking about Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. Are you talking about Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker? Just to confirm. It's important. 
Raven 54 uh, with 500 bits said, Hey, oh, Ovaltine man, it's been 64 days since I called you Ovaltine man and no Ovaltine endorsements yet. True. I drink it every day. I don't think they'll ever sponsor me because they know I'm just going to drink it anyway. I would 100% allow an Ovaltine sponsorship. I would, I would shill that shit so hard, dude. There'd be overlays. I'd be rolling my face in it. I'd wear an Ovaltine t-shirt every day of my life. I drink that shit every day. What's Ovaltine? Delicious. It's like Milo for Australians, but the American version. Ours melts into the drink. Yours guys is, turns into a brownie on top of it. Jesus, why is, why is the weather so full of lasers today? This is ridiculous. I didn't... I didn't see any lasers in the forecast. This is absurd. Someone better fire that weatherman. Because it's definitely his fault, right? Oh, I'm so dead. Holy shit, dude. Their aim is too good right now. And I'm two under fire. Got one? Just need a little bit of cover. Got two. Three. Four. All right. Oh. These guys are bastards. There's a lot of bastards out there. Let's go this way. Is that a big dog? You think we can pet it? I feel like I just pet it. But like, it didn't stop. Wow, it really didn't give a shit about that, did it? Oh, I tried to hit one of the vent things on it. Rude. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi. I'm gonna pet the dog's head. I don't know much about killing these yet. That should sticky it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. I didn't even kill it, did it? I hate them. I'm gonna be honest, it's a little bit bullshit. It didn't give a shit. It didn't give a shit at all. I want to blow this thing up. Go for the belly? Nah. That would require me to be under it. Can't see shit. Ran right into a wall. It's fine. Thanks for waiting. It's really courteous of you. Oh, you as well? Yeah, thanks for staying in line there, bud. It's always good when they wait, you know? Shit. Shit. 
This is not good. Shit. Oh, come on. It showed it over the top of that. That sucks. That's fine. I'll die with honor. On my own terms. Damn right. No! <laughs> worth. Oh, worth. Worth. Best way to use kill chargers? Shoot it in, uh... Shoot it with something that breaks the leg, like Constance with the bubble orange, and then shoot it in the leg with Slanky basic Slanky dog with 500 bits said, how do you obtain a queen? The feds aren't listening. Are you ordering them online? I have always no. wanted to have an ant farm and build some elaborate colony, but it's illegal to order ants. It's hard as heck yeah. to find a queen, etc. So, you need to look up when nuptial flights are for certain species in your area. Never ever get out of state or out of country ants. Never get invasive species. Only care for ant species that are local to you, number one. And you go and capture one in the wild. During nuptial flights, they go out there and they fly, and they build their nests. And I just capture like 10, 15 queens, and maybe one of them will be fertilized, and we kind of go from there. And it's good to go. And I have my queen. And I'll keep them inside of what are claustral cells. I can write a whole write-up for you guys, actually. It's something I want to do, because I'm going to be having the ant stream. Am I stuck on the ground? I was stuck on the ground. Cool. So there's an ion storm. I'm basically unable to summon you. No one can summon you right now. It's an ion storm one. I'm on fire. Okay. 